I forgot how to unmute. I forgot how to unmute chat. Hello! Hi everyone! Welcome, welcome to the stream. Wait, am I quiet? Is the music loud? Is the music quiet? Am I loud? How is the audio? I can't hear myself, by the way. So if I'm gonna, sc if I'm screaming, I'm sorry. Um, Hi, uh, Nikini, uh, hot you love. Hi, hello, wizard cat. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, everyone. By the way, um, and thank you for all the subs. Oh my god, we already have ten subs. What the hell? Uh, uh, uh let me. S where, where does it start? Chat. I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous? Every time, every single time that I take a break from. And I come back, I get so nervous. <laughs> uh, wait. Nine. Let me make you guys this big. Um, and then let me start. Let me look at the dashboard. Random songwriter, thank you for the six months. Uh, Vika, thank you for the 12 H -I -I months. Nikki. Um, months. I hope you're well. I'm Mika, thank you for the nine months you. for the Twitch baby. Question, if you were animal, what animal would you be? I don't know. I don't. MG a year. Hey, thank you, Juan. Uh, Mika, thank you. Chat. That I'm gonna I'm gonna put that question back to you guys. If I was an animal, what animal would I be? Um, Wild Star Race, thank you for the seven months, Juan. Thank you. For Hello. Twelve months. I think Hello, I already said that. Nesquik, thank you for the three months. Brower, thank you for the five months. Appreciate it. Um, G, thank you for the four months. Um, I'm Chuck, thank you for the ten months. Tired. Oh, KP, Hi, thank you for the four months. Welcome Linda, back. thank you for the three I months. Oh my so god, well. chat! Well, <laughs> thank I am you. I'm so excited for the Subathon and can't wait to hear what you have A planned. cat or a bunny? Also happy five months. I can see that. Than three. I wish I would be a cat. I wish I was a cat. Let me make four months, me um, TPS a little bit quieter. Oh, uh, b -b 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 uh, the realist, thank you for the six months. Swiss Lee, thank you for the 12 months. Oh my god, it's a year now. Let's go. Uh, Mr. Zoe, thank you for the 13 Hello. months. Thank you. Riley, thank you for the nine months. Arcus, thank you for the three months. Elizabeth, thank you for the four months. Oh my god, chat. Artist Wolfie, thank you for the prime. Liv, thank you for the two one. Oh my god. Uh, Gemma, thank you for the two months. Um, Elliot, thank you for the 16 months. I am so going to miss a few people. I'm sorry. Chenli, thank you for the 13. Ah, thank you for the prime. That's how I'm feeling right now. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Zidia, thank you for the tier one. Uh, Pokey first book, thank you for the nine months for the Twitch baby. And Meep, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate it. Hi, everyone. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, chat. Oh my god, it's been so long. <laughs> That's okay. I hope you're doing good too. Thank you. Um, first of all, who remembers this boy? Who remembers our good old sad Poro? Do you guys remember him? He's back. He's back and I'm taking him with me. He's going to be back so now. I finally have some time Thank to you. watch. Love your hair. Appreciate it. Thank you. It looks a lot more blonder on camera than it actually looks. It's more pink. Uh off off Hold camera. But Nihachu, and what a that's year fine. It has been. Thank so you so much for the amazing content over the past year. You're such an inspiring person, and here's Thank to you. many more months. I Less than three. It. Thank you. Um, okay. First of all, chat. How have you been? As always, months. I hope you all have been well. Love me, hot you. Love me, hot you. Um, I'm. I need to make this a little bit more quieter because I'm going. Because I can't hear myself, so I feel like I just scream over them. You guys have a been good. Has been born. Me, hot you, pop. Love you, Nikki. Hell yeah. Less than three. Thank you. Um, volume is good. Okay, okay. You guys are good. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys have been. I've been okay. Uh, I've been, I have been managing. That's really sweet, though. I appreciate it. Um, I have been struggling to get my passport for the last two and a half week. Four months pause. I like Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank you. I'll show you. I'll show you. I talk about my hair in a little bit. Okay. I just. I just want to say I've been away. I know. I'm sorry. I. I. I know. I say every time. Oh, I'm gonna be consistent again. But then something new happens, and it's new stress, and something else happens. Um. But with a little bit of luck and and lots of praying, I'm going to get my passport next week. Um. So. 
we praying we praying and once i have my passport everything will go back to normal i can go back to the uk i can stream again i can i can do everything the subathon will still happen even if i'm here thank you Gemma. i appreciate it uh but yeah it's been it's been stressful being like uh, brexit's really hard brexit's kind of like um if you're not a citizen of the united kingdom you you are you are not having fun <laughs> um so yeah i'm praying we're all praying thank you jesse i appreciate it thank you um but yeah we're praying um and and yeah that's that's all i can say for now uh i'll obviously let you know if you gently um i'll obviously let you know if anything else comes up um but for now if i have luck if i'm lucky uh i will be able to go back to normal um otherwise i will because marisa is gone now she's uh in the uk now actually um and because of that she le she's so sweet she left me her apartment she let me stay in her apartment um until i get everything sorted so um i will probably stream from here more now um up until i can travel back uh so yeah even then uh streams can be more consistent now which is very cool very nice uh piece of fab book oh i already i already thanked you but thank you again i appreciate it um oh my god thank you for the gifted subs uh uh Thal Thalti. i appreciate it thank you for the five gifted um yeah jack's gone now jack visit me over the weekend um but he is going back to the uk now because he's busy tomorrow but that was very sweet um yeah it's been it's been rough <laughs> um but but we got this soon i am praying uh to be back but anyways um artistry okay um i had to postpone it twice now i was supposed to have it oh my god i was supposed to do it like ages ago when i was supposed to do it the first time um the first time i was supposed to do it thank you jerk uh georgia georgia i appreciate it um and kitty thank you for the 10 gifted subs i appreciate um but yeah i was supposed to do it on the 26th the first time and uh something family related became uh, came in between couldn't do it thank you to all the artists by the way again for being so patient i know this one has been a long time in the making and it must have been frustrating and i'm really sorry uh and then we, we wanted to do it yesterday but um i didn't really want to crash with the george street because i figured i want to give the artists the exposure that they deserve and i know like for a fact which is totally fine and i'm not like you know mad or anything like any i don't have any negative emotions towards this but i know for a fact that i will have less views uh when when joy is streaming obviously um so i i moved it to today so we have you know so yeah <laughs> the artist can have more exposure my mic is cutting out oh really let me change that thank you melly for the 14 months uh blah, 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 no um Let me see. This might be better now. Hope you're having a great day, Nihachu love. Now you can hear the background noise. I, that's what I try to avoid. I try to I, I put on a noise gate so you can't hear the background noise. Is it loud? Is it like loud humming? Or is it okay? It's not. It's fine. Okay. Let me know if, if it is. Uh and let me know if I'm still cutting out. Crazy. Have a great stream. Thank you, Gaina. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. It's fine. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, ooh, my hair. Chat. So. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm happy to be back. Do you think you will make a meet up for all the people in Germany? I probably won't this time, mainly because the COVID restrict, like the COVID laws, are still quite, um like strict here and i don't want to you know i don't want to anything do anything to you know annoy someone or piss someone off so i'm not going to do it this time but because i'm now getting my passport and obviously my family lives here my friends live here i'm going to travel back very soon and very frequent frequent um so i will 
probably definitely do something in the future and i'm going to conventions so you know conventions are open again and i'm definitely going to different conventions i already have my tickets to a few um so yeah you will you will be able to see i will that able to see me then <laughs> thank you phoebe i appreciate it thank you for the three months um the text speech is very quiet oh is it you know what what if i make it quieter on my headphones wait no oh <gasps> wait can you not even hear the music wait chuck can you hear the music oh my god two months less than three. Oh <gasps> no Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, I'll make it like, like this, maybe. Oh my God, no music. That must have been awkward. I'm always awkward when there's no background music. How's this? Is this better? Now it's good. It's very quiet. Good. Okay, okay. I'll leave it like this for now. Um, my hair. I wanted to. I want to talk about my hair because it's very exciting. Because you know how in lockdown, I I, I usually so I I usually used to dye my hair um, at home and then bleach my hair at the hair salon and then obviously cut it at the hair salon. Sometimes I cut it myself. Uh, I've been doing that for like ten years now, <laughs> but. Um, Recently, I've decided because because uh, mainly more hairdressers are starting to have more like alternative hair colors, like not just blonde or brown or or black or something, but also like so happy pink to see and you. And blue and Less than you know, all these colors. Um, so I, uh, I, you know, I'm now going to more hairdressers and trying new different hairdressers out. And I went to one in Brighton, which was Hello, fine. They Nikki. were really sweet. It's been one whole year. That's crazy. Hey, Hope you had a good Bryant. day and that you have a great stream. I, I missed you less it. than three. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I went to one in Brighton and they were really sweet and I, w I was really happy with them. Seven but months, yay. what How I didn't really like was that they didn't bleach with Olaplex. Uh, for the people who don't know what Olaplex is, Olaplex is like, um, I think they are specifically for bleach damaged hair but don't quote me on that they might just be for damaged hair but they are a brand that specific that, like that works with like that has even bleach and that repairs your hair and everything and i've been using olaplex for months now uh which has really made an impact with my hair but i wanted to have a hairdresser who dyes or bleaches with olaplex uh so i looked for someone here in berlin um and tamina uh, recommended uh a hairdresser to me um and they were so sweet oh my god when i if i tell you it was it was such a cool like i i i, I like going to the hairdresser because it feels like you're doing something for yourself but they specifically they were like so welcoming and so nice and they work with a lot of content creators and musicians and influencers and like people in the scene which means if i tell them something about my job it is not just oh so you are so so what do you do you just sit in front of your pc and play games no it was like a good conversation and it was very tts and music are just a bit loud now they are loud okay i'll make them a little bit quieter um sorry i can't hear myself that's why um but yeah um it was really nice um uh, it was a really good experience and the hair color I have right now, actually, um, underneath my hair is white. They dyed my hair white and my hair doesn't feel damaged at all. Like it's very, very soft, um, but it's it's white underneath and it looks very like it, it looks very orange on camera, but it's very like strawberry blonde. Like it's very, no, it's still pink. I'd say it's still pink under my underneath uh, uh, in real life. Um, and what it is, it's my, the color that I have in is a conditioner. So it's like a conditioner that you put in for like a few minutes and then it, it dyes the hair to that. And they gave me that conditioner with me. So I could just, I could just dye it myself at home, which I think is so convenient and so cool. Like, like three months pause. where do you get that thank you ninja i appreciate it thank you for the three months like like it's so cool it's i i love it i i was very impressed 
um, this is not an it's ad or something, but um, Eight months, love I, the hair, it was very cool. Free. It was very fun. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to tell you, like while I was sitting at the hairdresser, I was like, I want to tell this to chat. This is very cool. Um, haven't been able so to yeah, catch you live if you're lately, ever in Berlin so that and you need to dye your hair, to. go to Risa less Hair. Three, less than uh, they're less quite expensive. Than three. Not gonna lie, they are quite expensive, but um, it's worth it. Definitely. Nice hair. Thank you, Morley. I appreciate it. I should have done an IRL stream. I, I've i been trying to find the time. I feel like at the hairdresser, because there's other people around you, like even if there's a lot of people who Can't wait for the know, artist work stream. in the online Hope you're having a great area, you they love. don't always want to be on camera. And I would have felt quite rude to just be like, can I stream here? Um, so yeah if i ever stream doing Hi, my Nikki. hair i'd probably Hope do it you are privately. having a great day like i think that george did where he just had one hairdresser and they were, were alone and stuff i think that's way better um but yeah i've been trying to find time but every time Key. i show us the white i can't i don't i i don't think i can just the color um why are people saying corpse is corpse here hello corpse I hope you're well. We haven't talked in so long. We should do something soon. Um, but yeah, I... Um, what did I want to say? Oh yeah, if I ever do something like that, I would want to do it. H-I-I-I, Nikki. Seven months have gone so fast, yet I don't regret it one bit. Thank you, Frops. Love you, SM Nihachu. Love Nihachu, I love. I appreciate it. I know, it's been, it's been, a, it's, it's been so quick, -I -I, right? You look I feel so like pretty. time just moves quicker recently. I don't know. We are already in, in March, which is so crazy. We're already mid-March. What? <laughs> you look so good less than three. Thank you, party. I appreciate it. Um, what else could I tell you? Hmm. I don't Yo, know one else. year. It feels like no time at all. Eily, Nikki, have a Thank good you, day. Jay. Smiley Thank you, Jay. Thank you, year. I appreciate it. Hmm. It's because of Berlin. I mean, yeah, to be fair, I have been here since like the 22nd Two months. or 23rd. Laughing face. Thanks for making Thank my you, bad me. days good. Thank you. It's March already. I know. You love the cardigan? Thank you. Um, I think I just got it from like H&M or something. I needed a new cardigan because my other one I had to wash and I needed a cardigan. So I quickly went, went into a shop and got one. Um, hmm. What else? I went to my old apartment and picked up a few things. I sadly couldn't find my teddy bear. I've been looking for my teddy bear for a year, like for two years now. Um, and I'm pretty sure I left it in the apartment, Less but I couldn't three. find it. Which is sad, but I'm sure it's there somewhere. How do I feel about the MCC teams? I'm really excited. It's gonna be so fun. Um, when I like got the message of Scott, because every time before uh, he like ma finalizes the MCC teams. He asks everyone if they're okay with their team, um, and I and I saw it and I was nervous at first because I was like, ooh, you know, Sapnap and and CPK. I don't know how good um, thing he is, uh, Eret, but Sapnap and CPK are like really good players. So I was like, mm, oh no, but um, I'm actually really Nikki excited. Five months, like yeah. we already talked in the team chat and everything and gonna be fun it's gonna be fun we're gonna do a lot of mcc practice on the subathon because if my subathon goes as long it's got the the mcc months, is going yay. to be love your hair nihachu um, heart during the subathon which uh you guys will see my training arc beforehand <laughs> which I, it's gonna be fun i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited i love your hair thank you johanna i appreciate it Thank you, thank you. It's not styled at all today. I just washed it and air dried it. Um, I didn't even blow dry it, so it's kind of flat. <laughs> but yeah, Four months. I like it too. Any vlog or video plans? Nihachu heart. Um, yes and no. I don't have a video on my backlog yet, but I have a certain time uh, when I'm going to start Nikki. making it's videos very good again. To see I'm you definitely again. going to start making videos How are videos you doing? Again. I have missed watching streams. Thank you, Rose. I am still writing stuff and was wondering if there was a spot I could share in your Discord. Um, yes, my sub Discord has. Uh, blah, 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 where is it? Where is it? Sub Discord, where are you? My sub Discord has. Oh no, that's the wrong one. 
it has the art channel where you can post your art and obviously writing it's is been also a year. art thank you so for being you nihachu love Beiko. thank you anna i appreciate it thank you for the year mm. um you love the mini fridge in the background may i ask where you got it it's not mine um i'm still at marisa's this is not my background chat um and not my house <laughs> um i'm still at marisa's um i don't know where she got it from but i'm sure you could find it it's just a coca-cola mini fridge when's the sabbathon oh yeah i always oh my god i'm so bad with this i always think like everyone like follows me on social media and like keeps up with me which is such a stupid thing to think i'm just like oh yeah i told you guys that but i don't know um i'm doing a sabbathon i'm planning to do a sabbathon for the people who don't know yet um on the 21st i'm going to start it and i'm going to cap it on uh, for at a week uh, i'm going to stream for maximum a week because it's my first sabbathon and i don't have like i don't feel like i have the enough equipment for a long sabbathon i really want to once i've moved uh because our our um like like apartment contract is running out soon and once i've moved i want to have like a big setup where i can switch between different rooms and do like cooking stuff and 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 do all of these these fun things um and i think then i'm going to do an uncapped sabbathon but until then today uh, not today that week the, the 21st is going to be our test our little test sabbathon our our first double into sabbathoning um but yeah i'm very excited i have i oh my god i have so many things planned i have like a huge list of it and i have so many people like so many cool people reaching out to me and being like yo i will be in your sabbathon and we can do this and that and i'm like oh my god <laughs> i feel so blessed <laughs> so yeah i'm very excited it's gonna be very fun hmm. when is the german stream um the German stream, thank you, Finn Flowers. I appreciate it. The German stream didn't uh, work out while we were here all the IRL because um, everyone had to do things on different days, so we couldn't manage to do them. But um, Nopify, Tamina, and I are always like sitting on Discord, usually when I'm home, uh, and just like playing games and talking. So we're we're gonna do it over Discord, like with the little face cams and stuff, and. Um, like I said, this is not going to be the, f the last time that I'm traveling to Germany. I sadly just traveled for like an unfortunate reason that like didn't make me able to work much. Um, but next time I will have like everything figured out and, and I'm not here for stress. So um, there's going to be a German stream uh, online first and then there's going to be one in person soon too very cool i'm still so confused that i can't hear myself oh my god <clears throat> can we call the sabathon wait what do you want to call it nikki thon i was thinking about niha thon <laughs> Pomo! 15 Hello, Pomo. months i'm oh looking my forward god. to today's artist stream cheeky yeah. smiley face yeah cheeky smiley face that's funny um i'm too i'm too Pomo is going to be one of the people on it for the people who don't know what the artist streams are, thank you, Yuna, for the sub. Um, the artist streams are um, like, a, a, like streams that I do. Like I try to do them every month, but like I only started doing them again, um, like last month. Uh, but I try, um, and they are uh, streams where I'm taking artists from the community and I let them talk about their art show off some of their art talk about their experience so if you are looking for some inspiration or for some tips uh, then this is One the year. place Thank and you also for making this the best you guys will be life. able Less to ask three. them questions um, I will first have all of them in a big call and ask them question questions myself so we can get to know, know all of the artists and then I will have everyone in separate calls um, for about 45 minutes to an hour and you guys will be able to ask some questions they will be able to share their story and their improvements and all of their artworks and talk about whatever they want um and yeah it's very fun very nice <laughs> i always enjoy them <laughs> 
what's a subathon? Ooh, okay. For the people who don't know what a subathon is, um, Tabo just did I one, can't for wait example. to see all the beautiful uh, art Nihachu Tabo. heart FPAM. Thank you, Junie Guys, I appreciate it. I'm really excited too. I am so excited. Um, I, I always get so so like so impressed by all the people that I, um, pick out, uh, that I pick out. Well, that, that apply, <laughs> and then I'm just like. They're cool. <laughs> they seem cool. Let me message them. And then they reply. And they feel blessed. And I'm like, oh my god. They actually want to be... Hi, bear. Thank you for the sub, bear. I don't know how many, though. It didn't say. Uh, 15 months. Thank you for the 15 months, bear. I hope you're well. Um, yeah, subathon. P uh, people who don't know what a subathon is. Um, it's basically... If you subscribe, like you, the streamer is going live. And if you subscribe, the time that the streamer is going to be live... Um, will be at, like the, the sub will add onto that time um, so the more people sub the longer the streamer is going to be live uh, but I'm going to cap it at a week so I'm not going to be long, uh, live longer than a week but I might be live shorter than a week who knows um, but yeah that's basically a sub -a and then we're going to do cool things like um, I have some I have some ideas of like um, you guys can redeem some like challenges or um I don't know like stuff that like my guests can do or or, or yeah i have i have a few things fun but i don't want to spoil too much you know like we'll see but i have some things planned and i have a huge list of of games that we'll play and things that we'll do so it's very fun hi georgia um oh no oh no i couldn't see that oh no oh no Oh no, Georgia, what did you say? I'm so sorry. Something with the off. outfit and the fridge. Ah, I'm so sorry. How much time for a sub? Um, I will probably make... Um, I will probably make it 30 seconds per sub at the beginning. And if I realize that that's too much or too little, I'm going to change it um, after a day or so. But for now, for the beginning, it's going to be 30... One sub, 30 seconds. What eyeliner, eyeliner do you use? I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It's actually, as you can see, um, it's drying out. Um, the the eyeliner itself. Cause it's Thank been, you, Nihachu, it's for going live Thank every you, time. I almost get a panic attack. Oh, I love I you for okay. that. Less than three. Soon. Um, yeah, <gasps> I had a really weird dream today, chat. So, I don't know what it is, but sometimes I get like, I get scared of the weirdest dreams. You know, when you like dream something really like normal or something weird, like something that shouldn't be scary, but your brain is still like, this is scary now. I am scared of this. Um, I had a dream today <laughs> that my eyeliner started whispering to me and it whispered like really weird things. It whispered things like, you betrayed him and stuff like that and i was like who is him who did i betray hey, hi, and like and face. like why is my eye like it was so weird but i woke up really scared for some reason <laughs> i know it's so it's so weird <laughs> but that would be so scary imagine your eyeliner whispering to you oh no <laughs> I should have whispered back to it. True, I should have. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what was what was wrong with me tonight. <laughs> Maybe some like dream analysis can analyze my dream of my eyeliner whispering scary things to me. <laughs> and who him is. I wanna know who him is, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Evil eyeliner. Maybe that. Maybe it's just I betrayed my eyeliner and it's time to get a new one because that one is so dried out and it's just mad. It's like, please, please, end my suffering. I finally want to. I finally want to be replaced. <laughs> Am I okay? I'm fine. <laughs> I just sometimes have weird dreams, you know. Oh, chat! We already reached a hundred subs. Oh my god, that's crazy. Woo! Eleven months. Thank you, Squidney. I appreciate it. Thank you for the 11 months. Thank you for the 100 subs already, chat. I appreciate it. I know I haven't been live for ages, so a lot of these are resubs. But even you resubbing, I appreciate it so much. Woo, because three months, less than three. Thank you for keep supporting me. I, I appreciate that. 
that's um yeah i will never be not appreciative of that so, so thank you everyone and fuzzy snow thank you too for the 50 three months for the three months and sarah for the 50 months there we go thank you guys hmm. um did i already meet some fans i did a fan meet once uh, for the people who don't know, uh, through Guild and Selfridges, that's like a big shop, uh, a big mall in, in London. <gasps> I did one there a few Yay. months ago, which was really fun. And then like on the street here and there, I sometimes get recognized by people. Um, and uh, that's always, it's very fun. But I think I'm a lot of the times more anxious than the other person. Like I try to play it cool. I'm always like, yeah, you can take a picture. Of course, in reality, I'm just like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> but it's always nice. You guys can always come up to me. I appreciate that. And you guys are always so so sweet. It's very nice. So don't be scared to come up to me. I won't bite you and I won't judge you or, or be angry or anything. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm probably more nervous than, than you are. <laughs> nice day, Thank you, Leela, for the three months. I appreciate it. Mm. I'm reading chat. Um. Am I going to TwitchCon? Yes. Uh, I'm trying to go to both TwitchCons. I am 100% going to the one in Amsterdam. Um, and I am hoping to go to the one in San Diego too. But yeah. Yes, yes. You should definitely meet Tina. I'll meet her if I manage to get back before she leaves. Um, if not, I'll, I'll go to America anyways soon, and then I'll meet her. Um, and once if I go to TwitchCon, I'll go any like I go one hundred percent. So, um, yeah, I'll I'll meet her. I will meet her in the future. It's just a, it's just the thing of will I get back in time? Will I get my passport in time? Um, if yes, I will be able to. If no, it will happen a little later. <laughs> but yeah, uh, thank you, Lee, for the 103 subs. I appreciate it. Uh, bits, not th subs. Oh my god. Bits, I appreciate it. <laughs> and thank you, Izzy, for the seven months. I appreciate seven it. Seven months, yay. <clears throat> um, if no, I need to fly. I will. I will fly anywhere to be Tina. <laughs> Who I really want to meet is Emma. Queen. Um, I already talked to her about it because this that's like my 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 highest priority. My highest primor priority is to meet Emma in Hi, all, Nikki, all I really life, love your hair life and I hope areas. You're doing well. Every time, always. I always, yep. <gasps> Hi, Ori. What a cool room. I know, right? Nihachu Pat. Wait, wait. If I if I move, sorry. If I move here. I will have the Saikuno background. I'm Saikuno now, guys. Thank you, Molly. Hello, Nihachu. How are you today? Less than three, 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 three. Is the thing on my wall Spider-Man? No, that's. I'll show you. Naruto. I don't know. I can't. There we go. It's Naruto. Very cool. No, now you see the top of the I don't want to see the bathroom.
Joker. There we go. I'm back. Thank you, Jelly Bean in it. And Molly for the gifted sub. There we go. Cool. Yeah, it's Naruto, guys. <laughs> That's all I needed to show you. It's Naruto. Um, and here you have, uh, like, above me, there's like two... Um, is it Itachi's eye? Yes, two of Itachi's, like, like two rugs of Itachi's um, sign. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry, it's been ages since I watched Naruto. Um, but yeah, she has a lot of carpus. Sharingan? Yes, exactly. The Sharingans, like the Sharingan icon. They're here. Very cool. Thank you, Young Falco, for the sub. I appreciate it. Wait, oh my god. Chat. Tamina has the cutest dog. His name is Falco. I don't think I have a picture of my of him myself, but I met him and he is the most adorable little boy. And when I was there, it was so cute. So Falco loves this toy, which is like a, a little snail that you can like pull out and then it's like a long, a long stick. Not, not a stick, but like a long toy. Um, and when I visited her the last time, so I visited her twice, uh, and when I visited her the last time, um, Falco, Falco sat on the, f on, on the front door when I arrived and like showed me his toy and was really excited. And then we went to the living room and every time when someone came in, t like in through the door, he would jump up, walk to the door, realize he forgot his toy, go back, get his toy, and then go back to show it to the person. And he would always hold it up high and just like walk really proudly. It was the sweetest thing ever. I wish I had a video of it, but this dog is so adorable. I love him. <laughs> oh, you saw him in the last stream. You saw him in the stream with Tamina, if you watched that. Um, yeah, that was Falco. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I will steal him. Not if I do it first. Cory <laughs> um. said she'll steal my pillow. No! No, Cory, you can't steal it. I, I, I washed it. It was in the basement for two years and I washed it with my own hands. Well, I put it in the washing machine and I called my mom to ask me for the directions, but it smells good now. And it's iconic. It's iconic. From where, this is, this is true German Nikki stream. This is true, true German era. You know, he was always there. Well, he was in the, it was back, back like there in the second apartment, but he was always here. It's iconic. Yes. <laughs> this is two years ago, Nikki era. Yes. <clears throat> I'm just reading chat, guys. I'm just reading chat. Um, how is Luko? He's well. I miss him. Nikki, I, I find soon. it funny that because it's your first subathon, you will cap it at a week, as if a week isn't very long. But yeah, I anyway, I hope I it all goes well and you enjoy week, it. You know? Just like remember, I, I will be it able easy to, throughout, but I don't so you don't burn out in case it goes long. Thank you, but I don't know how, if it, if it even goes for a week, you know. Um, but I figured like. Capping it at a week is a good point. Have I, have I seen my old German roommate? I have. I saw Lucas twice. Um, Hi, and Nikki, I went to the I old love apartment. I love artists' streams so much because I draw and the tips they give are super helpful. 
I'm glad. I'm so glad. That's why I do it. Well, part partially why I do it. There are multiple reasons why I do them. Reasons why I do them. Um, but I'm glad you do. I'm glad you enjoy them. Thank you, Jubilee. Um, am I going to Insomnia? I'm not going to this Insomnia. Uh, like next month or something. But um, I know there's a second Insomnia like later this year, and I'm going to do my best to go there. Um, because I always wanted to go to Insomnia, um, but I've never been. <clears throat> Let's stream more Sims 4 Stranger Will. Yes, uh, 100%. Um, I'm going to try and get it working on this PC. And if not, I will play it once I'm back. But I will 100% play it. I've, I've missed it. <laughs> What's Insomnia? Insomnia is a convention. It's, it's like TwitchCon. A lot of people are asking if I'm going to meet Sapna. It's the same answer that I can give you with meeting Tina. Um, if I manage to go back to the UK in time, I will meet them. If not, I will meet them later once I can travel again. Mm -hmm. When's the artist stream starting? In about 20 minutes, guys. In about 20 minutes. They're all already excited. Oh, what's Ori saying? Hello, Ori. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I remember. I messaged Ori uh, earlier. Um, um Sorry, I can hear the keyboard. Okay. <clears throat> Is Wilbur still your bestie? Okay, chat. Actually, um, I don't know where this misconception came from that Will and I are not friends anymore. Um, yes, Will and I are still friends. Um, people don't need to do everything online all the time to still be in each other's lives and still be friends. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like every t like because I like stopped doing stuff with him online, people just kind of like figured we're not friends anymore. Yes, we are. We are, we're, we're, we're still friends. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Tommy said that during MCC 10. Tommy says a lot of things. You know, he he sometimes doesn't realize, like, he, or maybe he, he does realize that, like, his jokes sometimes come off as serious, but Tommy jokes a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Sugar Cube, for the tier one. I appreciate it. So yeah. Um. Tommy doesn't think when he talks. Sometimes. Um. Yeah. But you know, I feel like it's also a thing of like. Seven Thank months, you, yay, love I you and chat. It. So much hope you all have a great day, less than three. Thank you. I think it's also a thing of like, you know, it's just a joke, you know? Like, I feel like if Will and I actually would have fallen out, I don't think Tommy would have just said it on stream, you know? Like, I think, I, I think as long as people are like just joking about it, you can pretty, you can assume that we're still friends, you know? I also don't see why we wouldn't be. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it comes from, but I just wanted to say that because I've seen it around a lot. Um, and I was just, I thought I'd just make that clear. Oh. 
same with like any other people honestly like i am still friends with everyone <laughs> Thank you, Jana. I appreciate it. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, did you manage to get your English? How did you manage to get your English so good? Speaking it. I've just been speaking English for so many years now. Um, and I still look good. Like, I'm still... I think my accent... I think I managed to get my accent high... Like, not high. Good. Um, very well. But I don't have a good, like... What is it called? Like, vocab vocabulary? Like, I don't know meant like all the words i know how to speak english casually and on a day-to-day -day basis but i think i ask what a certain word means at least twice a day when i speak to english speaking spe people you know be just because you know there are words that you don't learn when if you don't ask <laughs> so yeah and don't be afraid to ask i feel like I'll, I'll, ex ex especially at the beginning uh, when I was just when I just like started speaking more English and like I started streaming and everything I feel like especially then I was I was very scared to ask what a certain word means because I wanted to prove myself I wanted to be the best at English and I wanted to get those compliments of oh your English is so good but um but that, that wouldn't bring me any further <laughs> you know um so yeah don't be afraid to ask and speak a lot of english thank you uh kypress uh, you're making a texture pack um and you're asking what item you would want me to represent um fish make a nature fish <laughs> jack just messaged me sorry jack just messaged me because he is um currently at the airport um hi tiktok hi hi tiktok why is everyone saying hi TikTok? Three months well, I hope you're doing well, Nikki. You look every pretty, but thank when you. do you never? So excited for this stream, smiley face. Oh, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, no, Jack's currently at the airport and he just messaged me and said, I can't believe I almost left Germany without trying German beer. So I think he's just at the airport getting drunk or something. <laughs> he's not getting drunk, but he's just drinking. <laughs> <coughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> True. He does like his beer. Jack, Jack Manifold likes his beer. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> what country do I want to visit? I want to go to America. I've never been to America, and I really want to Nikki, go to America. Nikki, I mean, I have never commented on you looking up English words ever. No, no, as a joke, by the way. Also, you're probably going to hate me for bringing it up, Nikki, but speaking of old classic Nikki things, do you still have your Pikachu onesie at your old place? I do! I do still have my Pikachu Six onesie. Six months, less than Thank 33. You, Robin. Um, I actually saw it when I when I was looking for... So the reason why I got this is because I was looking for my... Um, what is it called? Like, capture card? Like, like game capture card? I was looking for that. Um, and so I just went through my old stuff and I found this. And I saw the onesie. I do still have my Pikachu onesie. Yep. I got that when I was like 13 um, from one of my friends and I have it till this day. Yup. I should wear it during the Sabathon? Definitely not. I have not worn that thing in years and I'm not planning to wear it in a while <laughs> because it's warm um, and I don't even know if it fits me anymore. <laughs> but I still have it. But I think I would suffocate if I if I wore it during the subathon because it is so warm. 
It is so warm. <laughs> Thank you, Jana, for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. Mm, have you visited any Asian countries? No, I've only ever Nine been months, we. in like the Europe er area. I've never been outside of Europe. Um, and I want to change that this year, definitely. Ooh. I think if I had my passport at this point, I probably even would have gone to Korea with G because I've always wanted to go to Korea and I've always wanted to go to Japan. My ex-boyfriend ex went to Japan for I think a week or two and he called me every night and showed me through Japan and it was just it was so cool because it's so different and I want to experience I want to experience all these things so and and ooh, so there's this youtuber I haven't watched him in a while but I used to watch him during lockdown he I think he lives in I think he lives in Vietnam I'm not sure though. He lives in one, like uh, somewhere in Asia and he um, he travels. He always travels to find like the most interesting food. And like he travels like he, in, in during the lockdown he traveled in his country because obviously you weren't allowed to leave your country so he would like travel around and like see where the food comes from and how it's produced and what kind of food it is and he just tries different food and that looks so interesting too i would love to do that too just like go to different countries and try their food that would be really cool is it that dumpling guy i don't think so i oh god i wouldn't even know how to look him up it's been so long since i've watched him um um let's see let's see if i can find him maybe like if i'd like do a quick search there it's this guy best ever food review show this guy he's so he 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 just seems interesting um he like yeah he like just goes around and tries like interesting food um and he always wears like this bandana that's like his thing you know him you watch him sometimes yeah he's he's fun right it's fun to watch him and it's it's very like i it's i feel like it's also informative hello nikki welcome back because it shows you like all the different like cultures and the different foods in the cultures and i, I find it very interesting thank you hello anto welcome back too <laughs> thank you for the five months mm. have i ever gone to sweden i used to live in sweden for like not that long though i lived for, i lived there for like three months When's the new two world tour? Maybe one day. Maybe one day, chat. We'll do a world tour together. We'll we'll st we'll IRL stream it. I would love to do that. I would I want to do more IRL streams anyways. Um so I would love to like do that. What's the weirdest thing you ever ate? Hmm. I don't know. Because I've been vegetarian and then vegan for like half my life. So I feel like the weird things that you eat are animals. You know, like not animals in general, but like there's different animals that can be considered weird. Um, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Oh, weird animal parts. Yeah, like not animals, but animal parts. Like, I didn't eat it, but I remember once when we were when we lived in Spain, um, my stepfather he bought 
chicken hearts and and like cooked them and ate them and i thought that was so disgusting nothing against people who eat chicken hearts they can might taste very good but I, it's not for me <laughs> it wouldn't be for me oh no you know what the weirdest things th the weirdest thing that i ever ate and that might not be that weird because it's a very like it's popular in other countries and stuff it's just weird for me personally is snails i tried snails once it wasn't for me at all but i'd say like that was like the weirdest thing for me sorry <laughs> sorry you had to eat snails it's fine you know i made the experience snails are a pretty popular dish in uh portugal yeah i ate them in spain they they are quite popular in spain too um that you can buy like huge like sacks of snails on markets um and just like bring them home and eat them which is so crazy because i guess snails don't really have that many nutritional like that much nutritional value so you have to eat much or something i don't know not for me <laughs> and i don't know much about it either i don't remember the taste either i just remember it not being for me <laughs> Have I ever had clams? No. Clams are like, like, what are they called? Like the things you find on beaches, right? Yeah, no, I don't, I never had those. What's the weirdest thing you guys ate? Don't make it weird though like you could uh, obviously it's weird but don't make it like nsfw please urchins what's an urchin i know there's sea urchins in stardew valley and i have no idea what it is oh there's a lot of people who ate snails oh i knew i wasn't alone <laughs> i knew i wasn't alone in this squid tentacles i feel like octopus and squid are like quite popular too like in like spain and stuff uh because i i knew a lot of people who ate those obviously again i was vegetarian throughout the most time so i have never eaten them i ate that I, I never ate them also this is nothing against people who like like this food and eat it a lot like not at all um it's just like you know I, I never ate it. Dog food? Someone ate dog food? Fair enough. Fair enough. You know. If you're curious. Cat food. Fair. A leaf. Okay. Okay. My brother once ate a spider. Uh, when he was a really young child. He was like three years old or something. And my mom was tying his shoes um, and he was just sitting there and you saw the spider walking along and he picked it up and took a bite of it. And my mom obviously like screamed and freaked out and made him spit it out and stuff. But I think that's a very, I think that's very funny. I love to remind him of that because I think that's really funny. <laughs> Ooh, chat. Okay, artist stream is starting soon. Sand. I once fed my brother sand. He seemed hungry. I was three. Then two. I, when I was three, I did a lot. Um, I fed him with sand. I bit him in the butt and said he wasn't himself. Um, I... I think I once hit him with a golf bat. But obviously I was still young, so I wasn't that strong. Don't do that. <laughs> chat don't be rude to your siblings okay they are human too 
I was a dumb child and I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> These are also all retails. Uh, I, I actually don't remember those. Actually, I do kind of, I kind of do remember walking outside of my, of, um, like the room and being like, he bit him himself. I do remember that, but, <laughs> um, yeah, I also, I, do you guys know like the Bobby cars? Like the little cars uh, you drive as like a toddler um, with like your feet. You sit on it and you drive them with your feet and you can like steer them. Um, I, f I, I once drove that off the staircase. And that's why I have a scar like right here. <laughs> <And> <laughs> so there you can see I was a stupid child. <laughs> I, I had my fair share of trials and errors and um yeah <laughs> wouldn't recommend it <laughs> anyways chat i think it's time to call the artist are we ready to to meet the artists yes yes call the artists okay 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 I'll call them, I'll call them. Hello? Hello? Oh my god, I can't hear you. Wait. Wait, chat, I can't hear them. <laughs> oh no, oh no, voice on video, change. Um, default, change to default. Hello? Hello? <gasps> there we go! Now I can hear you all. Awesome. <laughs> I'm watching your stream at the same time, and it's so weird with the delay. <laughs> oh yeah, is it much? Is it much of a delay? It's a bit. Okay. Wait, I want to hear the delay. I'm curious. <laughs> oh god. How are you all doing? Good. Good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm glad. I'm glad. How about you, Nikki? I'm good. I'm very excited for this. I'm sorry it took so long. Oh, no, it's good. It's good. It's yeah, fine. it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, all right. Is it okay? Are you guys okay if I share my screen? Which means it will be possible that your messages will be shown. Otherwise, just start streaming and I'll share the stream. Whatever okay. you guys want. That's okay. It's fine. I will share my screen. All right. I will share my screen as well. Perfect, perfect. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, wait. There we go. <gasps> oh my god, did it change? Yeah, Discord changed a little bit. It's like down here now. Oh my god, the, the light mode Cliff Studio paint. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, who was that? Who was being called out like, right now? Like, who was being... <laughs> Ghostly! Wait, no! <laughs> I thought pain. that was... I thought that was Clip... Clip... F freaking... Painful Sigh. Painful Sigh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, same. It does look a little bit more like Painful Sigh. With the light mode. I think, like, every computer art program somewhat looks like Painful Sigh, though. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Like... <laughs> that's where it comes They're from. They're all a family. Yeah, yeah, I think the paint tool size should be like a standard. I'm so sick of Photoshop. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I use I didn't have the money for paint tool size, so I used um Fire Alpaca <laughs> whenever I used oh, my yeah, like, yeah. computer. But I used Photoshop for an art class once, it was terrible and I hated it. Aww. Yeah, I don't understand Photoshop either either. Which it's kind just of sucks a... because, like, for so many jobs in yeah. the designer art industry, they w usually require you to be able to use paint. Uh, I mean, uh, Photoshop. And then I'm just here, like, haha, erase background. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The the thing about it is just that Photoshop and Adobe uh, Suite generally has a stranglehold on the market. So even if there are other programs that are much more viable and uses less money, uh, it's not very good for us to work with those programs, which is a shame. Because uh, honestly, I think that we should be able to kind of diverse and decentralize mm -hmm. the the things that we work with. I completely yeah. agree with that. True. 
Because also, because like the Photoshop, like, is it monthly for the subscription? Because I've only oh, had yeah. it like once monthly. Yeah. yeah. I think like monthly subscriptions for an art program, especially for artists who aren't working under a company, it's just kind of like, why should we pay this amount for a program that we're using? Like, all the time. Yeah. Please. Why is it true. so expensive? Yeah, yeah Adobe in general, thing. I don't understand it. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's, it, it also forces people to, like, upgrade to newer programs, even if there's, like, zero benefits to doing so, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, because I feel like so many, I yeah, I feel like Sorry. so many artists use Clip Studio Paint, you know? Like, the majority of the people who have been on these streams here have been using Clip Studio Paint. Mm -hmm. Which obviously means, you know, there's a good reason for that. True. Yeah, I I like Clip Studio. Last time I used it, it was good. Mm -hmm. But um, I didn't have the money to buy it. And I have an iPad, so I just use Procreate because it's like... Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on it sale right now, I think. Is it? Do yeah, it's on sale right now. Yo. They have a version for iPads, yeah. I think that has, it's like... It's a uh, more subscription based though for iPads, but I'm not so sure. Yeah, because like but one thing I liked good. about it was the brush library, like you could get a mm. bunch of free brushes for. Mm. Guys, do you want to introduce yourselves? Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah. oh no! That's the oh thing. All right. <laughs> oh no! It's all good. I I just realized. Like, wait, chat chat might not know who you guys are. Hi, so. Nikki and Artist. <laughs> Happy <laughs> seventeen months. Nikki. Um, Less should than we three, do it hope in you're well. the way that Discord is showing you? So we do Tiki, Sopa, Sozu, and Ghostly. Yes. All right. Yeah. <laughs> um, wait. So I I'm first, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, hi. I'm I'm Tiki Timely. Um. Oh god. <laughs> I am a 22-year-old visual design student from the Philippines. I am genderqueer, so I don't mind um, any pronouns you use for me. That's totally okay for, with me. And I, I mostly do character design more than like background stuff or animation. Although I do like to dabble sometimes, though I'm not the not the best at those but it's okay everything's a learning process and you know we learn every day so pog champ for learning <laughs> but yes that is me thank you um one second i guess i just got a raid thank you olivia for the raid <laughs> hello everyone we're doing the artist Ooh, hello nikki for the people how who are don't you know what that, it, what that is we have four wonderful artists here um you came to the perfect time because everyone's introducing themselves right now uh next person was soap up uh hi i'm soap so or soap app um i use she they pronouns but i don't really care what people use for me it's generally like a a whatever type of thing um and that's it i do a lot of character design i think um, sometimes I do background, sometimes I don't. Mainly it's because I'm lazy. Uh, how, what else? Uh, I'm 19. I have to think about my age for a moment. Um, and I'm in university, which takes up most of my time, so. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, so, so, do I call you Zozo or Pomo? You can call me either. Uh, a lot of people just call me Pomo, which is easier, like, more accessible. But yeah, I, my, a lot of my friends call me Sozu, which is fine. Okay. Um, so I'm a 25-year-old... Uh, uh, should I say this? I'm a lead character artist in a multimedia studio currently. Uh, I graduated uh, with a, a degree in 2D animation. But lately, I have been doing mostly assets work. So, like, anything... It's a small company, and usually the thing that we do is that we just, like, sort of check of all trades. I do storyboarding, I animate, I do UI design, uh, character design, I write scripts, etc. So, 
Yeah, uh, I'd say my main thing is I, I like to draw dy <laughs> dynamic characters. So let me pull something out, like maybe stuff like this would go Ooh. very well. But um, nowadays I haven't, I used to be more active in the MCYT uh, fandom, but nowadays I've been taking a, a break from it. Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ghostly. What about okay. you? So first, I'm sorry for the light mode. <laughs> but <laughs> that's that's how I've been drawing recently. So I'm Ghost. I am almost 22. I'm currently an illustration student, and I'm gonna be focusing on visual uh, design. And I mostly just like drawing characters, specifically uh, pretty girls. So that's just mostly what I do. Nice. Well, it's nice to meet you all. Um, very cool and I'm very thankful that you that you took the time today. Um, if you want to, I can move on to the questions right away, the ones that I sent you in Discord. If you don't have anything else to say, if anyone wants to say anything before, just let me Oh, I forgot my pronouns. Oh! What are it's pronouns? Uh, she, her, but uh, people can call me anything, to be quite honest. Fair, fair. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll just go to uh, back to Tiki um, and ask, how long have you been doing art for? Oh god, okay, so how long I've been doing art for? That is a complicated question. <laughs> because I the cliche answer would be I started when I was a kid when I could barely remember but um, I kind of took it seriously on my third grade after my mom bought me this um, manga called um, Dream Saga and then I stopped and then I picked it up again because the person I liked liked drawing <laughs> so I, I, it's not exactly nice. the best reason to start drawing again but it became a passion for me and i'm i'm glad that i i'm doing it until now because it's it's really it's really uh fun and it's a nice way to express myself and my thoughts and my ideas and just my general emotions and it's it's really nice and i'm glad i'm still doing the art thing until this day and also, because if I didn't do the art thing until this day, I wouldn't have, you know, met all these wonderful artists and you, Nikki. <laughs> so, yes. Cool. Um, so, how long have you been doing art for? Uh, I started drawing whenever I was in sixth grade, I think. I'm trying to find a color. Um, yeah, sixth grade, because my friend was drawing and i was like that's cool teach me um my schools the school i went to didn't really have an art program so it was like i didn't know anything until i started like doing this and then i got serious about it um like in seventh or eighth grade because i started doing digital art super early like because I started doing it like a year after I started really drawing. So it's like, I've oh, wow. been doing this forever. <laughs> um, I don't have any of my original stuff I did on my like computer. Because uh, I think I deleted them all. <laughs> Which is a really bad thing to do. Don't delete your old art. Um, you'll miss it. It's a really good check for your progress and to see how far you've come. And stuff. But then my sophomore year i took an ap art class and that was like the most changing thing for me because it like taught me how to oil paint and i learned like skills that i couldn't teach myself like a lot of like with color stuff i learned more of that and like backgrounds and like anatomy that's like one thing it teaches you is anatomy and my teacher was like taught me how to draw stuff from my like eyes which is like super good to know whenever you're like looking for new stuff to draw yeah oh that's really nice 
Um, Pomo, what about you? Um, my answer is going to be similar to many others before. Is I just started drawing art since forever. Mm -hmm. uh, I and I think that like my family has always boasted, like, oh yeah, she likes to draw since she was like in kindergarten. But I think serious, I I, I got really serious about it. Um, uh, I guess around eighth grade. And uh, thankfully, my parents are very supportive, and I got to go to art school because of that. But uh, I didn't have a digital tablet until, I think, uh, when I was 16. And uh, yeah, before then, I was drawing mostly using like a mouse <laughs> or like uh, the, the touchpad <laughs> on, a, on my laptop. Oh my god. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, and, and I could... Hello? <gasps> Hello? Can, you, can anyone hear me? I can. Oh! Is, yeah. is Pomo just gone? So so die. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Wait, I'll, I'll add her. Um, in the meantime... <laughs> Um, wait, who was the next ghostly, right? Yeah. Do you want do you want to answer the questions uh for now? Uh I guess. <laughs> uh so I've also been doing art since like I can't remember. But when I was like 12, that's when I decided, "Hey, I want to do art for a living." Cuz I really liked it. I've always been drawing, so I was like, "You know what? I want to I want to take it seriously. I want to I want to draw, and that's basically it. Thanks to like cartoons and stuff, I was like, "Hey, I really want to work on cartoons or like anime and stuff." So that's just oh. how long I've been doing art. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, I'm back. I'm Hello. Sorry. Welcome back. That's all yeah. good. Okay. Is that is that all? Ghostly, sorry that I think that interrupted you. Yeah, yeah, that's all. It's just yeah. for most of my life. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, uh, Pomo. Um, you stopped at your. You were you were talking about how you were talking. Uh, how you were drawing with your touchpad. Oh yeah. Uh, I think that was all. Like I was just about to say, and yeah, that's it. And then I I cut off. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's good then. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, next question is, what got you into art? Um, and Tiki, I think you already said a little bit about it, but if you want to talk about it some more, if you want to. I can talk a bit more about it. What got me into art, actually, was... Honestly, just how pretty everything looked in art. Um, <laughs> how things lo can look chaotic while also looking harmonized it's it's so cool to me that all these all these aspects of art like shapes uh, form all types of just elements in general can be put together to make something so freaking cool so so beautiful sometimes scary sometimes um ethereal but yeah, just the general idea of being able to create something that I find inspiration in that made me want to pick up art as as much as I do now. No, so yeah, there's my answer. That's really nice. I like that a lot. That's a that's a good answer. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, what about you, Soap? Um, like I said, my friend was doing it. And I thought it was cool because I I was a music person. My whole family kind of was. I was playing flute at the time. So it was like a, just another form of art that I was trying to do. And I really liked how stuff looked visually. And I don't know. I started by drawing mermaids a lot because I'm also a big fan of the ocean. Aww. So it's like... I just liked drawing things that came to mind, um, and then I stuck with it, uh, 
and then I started drawing a lot of fandom work, um, and drawing for fandoms I was in, which me, which then like got me friends in the digital space, which was super cool. And I think that's like why I really stuck with it, is because of the friends I made by doing it, because I almost did stop my junior year of high school because there was just a lot going on, and then like. I really think that like getting into MCYT brought back my love for art and like has me where I'm doing what I'm doing now because like I don't know how to say it but like I stopped making art um and then like over the summer like in quarantine and stuff I found like Dream SMP and that like kind of like I kind of like remember that I can draw <laughs> and so I started making fan art and it kind of like I've gotten like, to a place where I'm, like, happy with my skills as an artist mm -hmm. and stuff, which is just super nice to have, and it's, like, something that, like, a lot of people, that I really took for granted, I think, whenever I just stopped making art, is, like, how much I lost, I think I, like, lost myself a bit whenever I stopped making art, is mm -hmm. what it was, so, it's nice to have it back. Aww. Yeah. So good. Um, Ozu, Popo, what about you? Uh, I guess it's because it's so, I've always liked art. I was a TV kid. Uh, I grew up watching a lot of cartoons. And so, um, I'm, I think I got really serious once I realized that it's a viable career and I have a lot of things to say. I guess, mm -hmm. and uh, given the opportunity to go into the industry and being able to um, kind of like learn what really goes on behind the scene, like I wouldn't say that I love it as much as I do before. There's some kind of like the death of your hero thing going on, but I think that as long as there are artists who genuinely love producing art and love interacting with others and wanting to tell like a part of themselves I think that things will turn out well and that's why I stick around mm -hmm. yeah I mean to be fair like the don't meet your idols death of a hero thing I think that's everywhere <laughs> you know once you get yeah. get somewhere where you've always wanted to be you realize it's not as glorious <laughs> I guess um, yeah but it's yeah it's always nice to remember that there's good people and with that good artists out there mm-hmm um, ghostly what about you what got you into art well just uh, mostly cartoons actually cartoons and anime were the thing that like got me a lot into art specifically some of my favorite shows like the one of the reasons why I wanted to do art specifically is because of adventure time. <laughs> Aww. I used to draw a lot of Adventure Time, and it's still one of my favorite shows. So I was like, I want to work in, a, in Adventure Time. I can't do anymore, but you know, I I still continue to do art. So, and I like I watched cartoons like nonstop when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So that's really what got me into art. And You're amazing, Nikki. That's that's yeah, that's. <laughs> Do you Mostly. plan on working on other cartoons in the future? Is that like your goal or one of your goals maybe? Yeah, actually since I was I can't really work on Adventure Time, well at least the original like show. Mm -hmm. I still really want to work on other cartoons or even make my own cuz I also have ideas and stuff. Mm -hmm. But just working for a studio I feel like would be so nice and fun. So that's basically my goal, getting out of college. That's really nice. I wish you all the luck with that. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you, I'm sure, I mean, you know, from what I see, you were talented enough, or I hate saying like talented because it takes so much work. You're hardworking enough to achieve it. Thank you. Um, the next question is, what is something that you would consider special about your art? This is usually like the hardest question um, I heard, but do you guys have an answer? Tiki? Uh, hold on, let me zoom out of the chest area. 
Um, I'd say my my the thing I like most about my art is how shiny I can make things look without them being too shiny, as well as making eyes, you know, more colorful than they're they're usually are, they usually are. So I like mixing cool and warm colors when I draw a lot. So I'll do a lot of purples and yellows, and I think those are um, some of my favorite things about my art. So yeah, nice. Um, give me one second, guys. Uh, thank you everyone for the subs and bits. By the way, I'm sorry I'm ignoring you right now. Um, I will read out everything once we have like a quick break, and also I'm reading chat in the meantime. Like you guys are not ignored, just so you know. Um. But I just, I feel really disrespectful if I would just mute and think and everything. So, just so you guys know. Um, okay, next one is uh, Soap. Soap, what is, what do you think is special about your art? Um, I would, I would like to say the movement. I draw very, like, kind of fluid. Like, not so much with this one, because I was going for, like, angles with the, sh like, the jeans and stuff. Um, but, like, there are some pieces where, like, I just have, like, a lot of movement and kind of, like, fluid lines. Because I see a lot of, like, angles and stuff all the time, and I just, like, circles a lot. Um, also hands. Ooh. I really enjoy drawing hands, which, um, like, they're really easy for me to draw also, and I enjoy drawing them, which makes some people think I'm insane. <laughs> but I I like them. I figured them out. So they're easy for me now. So it's like one of the few things that I like drawing. And I, I hate drawing everything else, but hands are fun. You're gonna have so. to give us a tutorial later. <laughs> yeah, I will. Cool. Um, Let's go Paula, second month. I love you, you, Nikki. Less than three. Um, I think... For me, it's similar to soap, but I also enjoy, uh, I think my art, uh, <laughs> I think people pointed out the most is the shapes that I utilize. So something like this, uh, dynamic shapes, I think people like the most. Uh, let's see. So sketches to full work. I, I, I want to play with the silhouettes the most. Is anything that can convey mood and tone is sort of my favorite to work with. So even like this, where like the screen is very busy, the shapes can also, you can really read the shapes and the body language of the people on screen. I think that's, I think that's my best quality overall. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I'd say your coloring also. Like you have very like... I mean, like Tiki kind of, where you have like very like big colors, you know? Mm -hmm. I think that's also like a yeah a thing. Very yeah, cool. Flat colors are my choice. I'm not really good with digital painting, so I kind of hide that fact by doing a lot of comic book, like illustration, kind of like cartoony stuff. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <laughs> very cool though. Um, what about you, Ghostly? What do you think is special about your art? Uh, so I'm currently going through a I hate everything I do, so I <laughs> oh, can't no. really say <laughs> what I feel like is special about my art because I am I'm pushing myself more with what I do and trying to get better, so I'm kind of in a middle ground of everything I do is okay, I guess, but nothing really stands out for me. I like mostly the narrative of my art, I would say, because... I love characters and I love making characters, so I think the narrative that I go for is what stands out, at least right now in my art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, it's it's normal to be to sometimes be at like that point where you're like, oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. But yeah. I mean, you have you have really a really cute style. I th I think. Like your characters, your characters look very like alive and unique. That's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. That's something that I can say, um, and I'm sure you will find 
like more stuff about yourself and your art soon. Yeah, I bet I will. It's just right now it's the uh. <laughs> but I'll Hi. get there. Everybody goes through their ups and downs in art. Yeah, exactly. Um well, I'm sorry, my questions keep like bugging out, so I need to search them again. There they are. Um how much do you usually practice your art, Tiki? Mm, this is a splotchy answer because um i mean it's a normal thing to not draw every day all the time especially if you go through burnout easily it's good to take breaks and it's not just good it's important to take breaks but sorry back to the question i'd say i practice art a few times a week i try to because i experience burnout often so but at the same time i want to make sure that i'm still making things creating art and improving even just a little bit every day but yeah so not a lot but still enough you know just enough mm -hmm. yeah that's fair um what about you soap um i would love to say i practice every day but I, I'm a university student um, and I'm not studying art. I'm a history major. So it's like, I don't have all the time in the world to just make art, which sucks because I wish I did. Um, and then especially this past week, I had like three or four papers due and it was just a lot. So like, I would say every day, but it's kind of not. Um, so sometimes, like, I'll go and I'll, like, doodle something, and that will be what I do for the day. But it's, like, not every day, but at least once a week, <laughs> is what I would say. Because school. Yeah, that's also awesome. Seven pleasure. months pog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And healthy. I feel like, you know, both of you taking breaks, you know, it's it's healthy. Yeah. You need that. Yeah. I remember the last artist, last last stream, we were like, yeah, I, I practice every day, all the time. And I'm like, oh God, you poor souls. I know. <laughs> I <breaks>. know. <laughs> one of the artists on the last stream, Twig, is one of my close friends. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I know they draw a lot. I don't, because like, I, I do have... Like, outside of just school alone, I do play a sport, so it's like, if I'm not doing my schoolwork, I'm doing that. Mm -hmm. Or, like, my friends are forcing me to hang out with them, so it's <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. that's fair, and that's good, you know. What about you, Pomo? Do you take enough breaks? How much do you practice oh, your art? I wish I could say that I take enough breaks because I do work a full-time job that requires me to be creating constantly. I do go through periods of burnouts because of that, so I would say my portfolio when it comes to fandom content is a little lackluster these past years. Um, I also need to take breaks, uh, mostly because I injured myself. Uh, really badly once I graduated uh, college and once I started working. I was the only character designer and animator on the team. 15 months, oh my so, god. Uh, Hello, my Nikki. workload Hello, got Chad to the point Mihachi where love. moving my elbows and my forearm hurts a lot. Uh, to the point my boss had to take me to a chiropractor twice. Hey dude, um, Nikki. So nowadays, I don't do art as much. Even on weekends, I try to take a lot of breaks because uh, it would hurt too much. Uh, I think that a lot of artists think that they have to be constantly producing all the time or practicing all the time. I say only if you have the strength to do it, uh, try to get as much exercise as you can. Try to stretch uh, a lot because you're going to regret it so much when you get older in the future. Like, I'm only 25, but I already have aches sometimes, like, even when I'm not using my arm. So I think that that's, like, a caution for future artists, like, hopeful to be like, hey, you know, like, practicing is good, but also rest. <laughs> I think that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, yeah, for the chat, I'm doing okay now. Like I draw once in a while, so I I've learned how to pace myself, so it's good for me. But definitely before then, I did not know how to pace myself, and that's the result of <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah, I've yeah I've heard that like it's a very very big thing amongst artists who do work it in like a like a more nine to five or like a more corporate job that they get these pains and aches and that they injure themselves. So yeah, no, it's definitely very important to take breaks and to stretch, you know, and make different movements. I feel like I hope you feel better and I hope that it gets better soon. Yeah, I, I did pick up exercising uh, just like at the beginning of this year. It kind of fell off, but that was like a completely different reason. Mm -hmm. So I, I try my best to at least uh, kind of like circulate my wrists and like flap my arms and stuff like that to break up the motion. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Um, What about you, uh, Ghostly? Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't I don't really do that much art, and I know I should do more, because I go through burnouts very often, and especially since I'm in art school and I'm drawing all the time for school, mm -hmm. just burnout is just there with me all the time. But I know for a fact that I need to be drawing more, of course, to an extent, because you don't want to hurt yourself and stuff. But yeah, I probably should be doing more art than I do. Because I always start pieces and I never finish them. I like. If people have noticed, I've switched between like three drawings. Hey Nikki, three months <laughs> already. I'll thing. sadly need to leave so soon. I'm, I will be cheering for I you and Eric in MCC. <laughs> but. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. Is it more because you lose your motivation with the piece or with the art? You know, with drawing? Yeah, probably. Because I can get through a seating of like six hours of drawing one thing but if i take a little break i'm like no i don't like this anymore so i just leave pieces like that mm. so it's yeah a little bit of lucid motivation which i need to fix but here i am <laughs> i mean does anyone here have like a tip for that or does anyone like Please. experience the same thing here i do <laughs> Yeah, I I don't think that there's gonna be like a good way to come back to your art. I'd say uh, just leave it there for a while, and when you think that your mind has freshened up, then come back to it. You don't need to force yourself to finish a piece, especially if it's not of importance to you. You know, like if you have don't have any strong feelings towards it, you don't have to. That's my thing. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, because. It happens to me a lot, and that makes a lot of sense to do. <laughs> yeah, just like take a break, and then like if you if you come back and you still don't feel uh, still don't feel like super motivated, don't worry about it. You, you know, you, you're doing your art for yourself. Unless it's your homework, then that's very different. You need to finish yeah. your homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that advice. That's really nice. Yeah, it's very good advice. Thank you. Um, okay, uh, the next question and last question that I have is what would you tell people that are just starting with art? Tiki, do you have something? Oh yeah, I definitely have something. Number one thing you shouldn't do is compare your art to someone else's art, especially if that person that you're comparing your art to has been drawing for way longer than you have. And also, like, Unless it's for constructive criticism, which is something you have to understand isn't always a bad thing. There's a difference between constructive criticism and there's um, just negative criticism. So um, you need to be able to differentiate those two, especially if you're trying to judge your own art. Because you can be... you are your worst critic. And... Your art won't always look the best to you. Your art won't always look pretty. And that's okay. You need to learn that that's okay. And that you don't need to push yourself to do something that you might not have the 
skill set to do at the moment but you can work towards doing so in the future so yeah just pace yourself and don't compare yourself too much or too often and take care of your your wrist your body because you need you need your hands to draw well digitally at least or you know whatever you use to draw just take care of yourself that's that's my tip yeah i like that i like that a lot um because i think like in everything like a lot of people just compare themselves oh my god sorry my alexa just went on oh my god wait my alexa just went on one second i need to stop her i'll be right back oh my god I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, no, I agree with you. Um, that just threw me off completely. Um, what about you, Soap? <laughs> what would you tell people? <laughs> um, anatomy. That's like, um, uh, cause like, okay. So there's like a big thing in art where it's like, don't, don't trace. And I agree. Don't trace other people's art. Don't do it. But with anatomy specifically, um, there's a lot of like pose references or even people who post poses. You can do studies where you trace over and use shapes to kind of learn how the body moves. And that's like one of the biggest things because that helps so much because it kind of like it's sort of like muscle memory because if you draw it and if you do it and then like you trace over it once and you try drawing it yourself you'll it's going to be easier um and anatomy is a thing i know a lot of people struggle with mm -hmm. so it's like you have to figure that out if you want to do art and don't compare yourself to others do master studies if you want to because those are fun i enjoy doing master studies so it's like where you take a painting like the quote-unquote masters of painting did and then you kind of like redo it which layer am i on okay um and you kind of study how they do colors and shapes and stuff and that's really fun to do and it teaches you a lot because like those people did have skills and like they know what they're doing so it's like kind of a fun way to like teach yourself to draw mm -hmm. yeah that's mm -hmm. it that's cool. Yeah, and I remember what I wanted to say about the comparing, uh, which is like, I feel like it's smarter to compare yourselves to like yourself and your past drawings than to anyone else. I feel like if it comes to other artists, it's more like, oh, this is really cool. I should try this or like, you know, this thing that they are um, doing in their art, like the way they're drawing noses or something. Um, instead of oh i could never do this i am garbage i hate myself you know so yeah yeah like yeah because personal yeah personal style is something that people are always like i want my own style but that develops as you draw and like everyone kind of takes from each other when it comes to style you see things that other people do and you're just like i want that and then you do it um so it's like everyone kind of takes from each other um which is kind of why there's a joke that you can tell what people were in what fandom based <laughs> on how they draw because it's like somewhat true yeah because sometimes like you take from the big artist of the fandom and then it's like oh so you were this person <laughs> That's so it's interesting. Kind of like thinking about it, I never like actually like thought about it, but thinking about it now, that's true. Mm -hmm. It's oh, kind cool. of funny. So. <laughs> uh okay. Uh, Pomo, what do you um want to say to new artists, or what tips do you have? Um. Well, in relations to my injuries, stretch. Please, for the love of God, stretch. Exercise. Don't think that you're just like a weak nerd who can just sit around in a video game all day. Don't do that. Your body will thank you. 
if you take this <laughs> advice seriously. Like, even if it's just a little jog in the morning and, like, a little stretch afterwards, that's fine. If it's yoga, that's fine, you know? But don't risk your body. Don't risk your sleeping hours. That's the most important thing. I've had friends who told me that they stay up until, like, 5 a.m. to do something. It's gonna wreck you in the future. That's not good for you. Please do not do that. Um... <laughs> The other thing, I guess, is um, don't if you want to comment on artists' works, don't use self-deprecation as a form of flattery. We we don't like that. I think not a lot of people because we all start from somewhere, and I think that just because you you want to tell somebody how great they are or like how you want to be like them doesn't mean it gives you the privilege uh, or like just gives you the ability to like be like <laughs> my art sucks uh, you know i can only draw stick and no that it, it's uncomfortable for us because we will not know how to respond to that mm -hmm. um and lastly um kind of like well let's see i i'm trying to put it into words because i'm a little bit mean about it but <laughs> Especially if you're planning to go into animation just be because you want to animate, know that it's labor intensive, specifically. The American Storyboarding and Animation Society is very, very exploitative, and you're going to be expected to work a lot more than you think you are. There are other options and other forms of animation or other parts of the industry that you can go into that can still contribute hey, Nikki, to the story. You look pretty also, today. just Four because you're a good animator three. doesn't mean you're a good storyteller. Straight up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I learned this the hard way. Um, mm -hmm. And take your time to kind of like learn from others and don't just think that simply because your arts are different doesn't mean that one person's work is worse than the others. It just means that there's going to be a difference in views. But at the same time, know that there are some principles that can apply to your art that can that people are allowed to criticize. Uh, I, we, I was talking to another artist friend recently. I'm sorry, I'm having like a bit much. But the, okay. the, the way for you to understand what makes a piece of work... Uh, if I put it to a little callously, not look good, it's because the message that the artist is trying to convey did not go through. And that's why uh, a lot of the works can fail or a lot of movies and, you know, like videos and music fails is that the message is not uh, clear enough. And same thing will go through with your art as well. So that's gonna be my advice. Like, try to be as clear with your work as possible. Be as truthful as possible. Uh, don't hide i think that's also important as well but yeah that's all i got <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah i'm um, i get that i mean art has always been about like expressing yourself and also about like telling a story and everything so you know i feel like it's a part of yourself and you work on it for hours on end so you know mm -hmm. I, I get that you know we want to see Oh, sorry, I just clicked something. People want to see the like you and and what you have to show, and your art. So I get that. Yeah, it does feel like a personal attack sometimes when something you work really hard on uh, gets criticized. But you know, you can pick and choose the criticism. That's another thing. Mm -hmm. Like not not everything has to be a hundred percent follow through because then you will lose your art completely. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. <laughs> Cool. Uh, Ghostly, what about you? Do you have any tips or anything you want to tell new artists? Yeah, so not to reiterate what everybody said, but don't compare yourself to others. It's It can be really damaging because, you know, we've seen very talented artists who are like very young. Like recently, it's like 14 year olds have amazing art, and I have to fight the urge. Hope you and Chat are wow. doing lovely Nihachu they, they love. They're so good, I can never get to their level. But that's not a good mentality to have because everybody's art journey is different. And instead of being jealous or like, you know, sit back and be like, 
I'll never be as good, it's better to look at it and think, oh wow, I need to practice and continue practicing. Trying to better yourself without really seeing it as a competition because art is not a competition. Art is just art. You, you're supposed to do what makes you happy. And yeah, and uh, I think Soap was the one that said about references. References are really good and like, yeah, never post some like, gosh, I'm having a hard time with words. Um, <laughs> it's all good. Take your time. Like, tracing is not bad as long as you're not actually stealing someone else's work. Because, you know, you can, f you can trace something to figure it out, but you cannot claim it as your own art because it's not. And it will help you get better, but you need to also step back and see your art differently. And in general, also, don't measure your talent based on like likes and stuff, because I know I like posting my art online, and a lot of people do too. And sometimes you think a drawing is bad just because it didn't get as many likes or not many people saw it, but that's not a way to measure how good your art is. And it's a bad mentality, so don't worry about likes and stuff. <laughs> Very true. It's also not just about art, everyone. Don't measure yourself on how many likes or followers or how much online attention. It's yeah. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. It's just numbers on a screen. Yeah, social media is fake. <laughs> exactly. Cool. Yeah, that's. Uh oh, sorry. No, no, that's it. Um, those are all the questions I have. Do you guys, you artists, have any questions for each other? Cool! <laughs> <laughs> I have a question, hold on. Okay. Guys, it's fine, it's not otherwise. This is something I struggle with, kind of, but... How, how do you guys, like, um... Just... Sorry, my words are failing me as well, but I do have a question. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. You guys can take your time. Um, you're doing great. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to help, but you're doing great. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but um, how do you guys fight the... Not really fight, but come to terms with the fact that you might have so many art styles and then you can't really have like a consistent one? Because I don't always have a consistent art style and that kind of sucks but at the same time i understand that's okay but at the same time i'm like gosh i wish i had a consistent art style so how do you guys do the whole art style thing um i think it's just like sometimes it's like my my style is like semi-consistent from what i would say but then like sometimes it just goes off the rails and it's just like accepting that it's like you do you like you don't have to be consistent with everything because like it's gonna change mm -hmm. from time to time so it's like do whatever makes you happy in the moment <laughs> yeah consistency is a sham <laughs> nobody can be consistent yeah it, even your art is evolving all the time so there is no reason to worry about like drawing the same thing over and over again because that's not how art works. I, I think I have a lot of art styles as well. Um, I'm just gonna pull out this one on the oh, side wow. so you know. <laughs> but yeah, like um, like just just be enjoy the moment. I think and like be proud that you have a lot of art styles because I think that's a point. Of like a lot of artists being wanting to have as many styles as you do uh yeah but if you're worried about like having a signature style you can just pick the one that's like most popular among the audience <laughs> that's a little shallow but that's how i usually work when it comes to commissions <laughs> is that something that's very recognizable is gonna be like your main but don't forget that you also have other options thank yeah. you I I need I needed that. 
<laughs> Thank you, friends. Cool. Oh. Any other questions? Oh, I have one. What's it like being like in art school? Cause like I'm not, I didn't do art school because I didn't want to go down that path. But like, I've heard horror stories from it. So, how is it? Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, I graduated, so I guess we can stay. Uh, it's a fun time if you know how to navigate it. But if not, it can be very rigorous. I think that uh, the mentality of you having to go through art school to be able to be successful is a load of bull. Uh, I think that there are many artists who are equally as successful, if not more so, just because they get um, experiences IRL. Um, art school is very demanding. Uh, it's basically training for you to fit in with the, the way that corporate world views art. I think that's kind of painful to say it, but a lot of schools are like that. So it's just preparing for, <laughs> mentally preparing for it. That's what I would say. <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't mean it's not fun. You, you get to meet a lot of artsy-fartsy people and just things that you will never see outside of art school. Uh, so I think that it's still, it's like, e if you have the op opportunity to even tour one, like, feel free to do so. <laughs> you know, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Does it, has anyone else... Uh, been to art school or done went to share their opinion? Uh, can I, can I say something real quick? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yes, please. Okay, so I didn't go to art school in specific. I studied interior design for a year and then left because my mental health just plummeted because of that. Um, I guess know what you're know what you're getting into is something that you should really take note of because i did not take note of what i was getting into when i joined uh when i enrolled in visual de in uh interior design and i suffered because of that so um yeah just know what you're getting into because if you don't you could really regret it mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's fair. Alright. Quick thing. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry. No, Becky. no, no. I, no, uh, I was sorry. just going to say anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, another advice for kids who want to go to art school. Take community college before. If you can afford it, go to community college. Get all of your... Uh, kind of like general studies out, so like maths, English, literature out. Because art school is going to make you do the same thing, but you're going to be paying a lot more just because it's art school. So take community college first, get all that out, get your credits, and then go to art school if you can still afford it. <laughs> okay. I didn't know that they made you take other uh, subjects as well. Uh, does anyone else have any other questions? Cool. Um, Nihachi I would love. say we could move into inv individual calls now then. If you guys don't have anything else in the group. How does that sound? That sounds good. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good as well. Okay, um, mm -hmm. the, the thing was Tiki, Soap, uh, Pomo, and then Ghost, right? Oh, yeah, easy. It was just the way that we had it in Discord. Cool, perfect, that's great. Okay, Tiki, um, I'm gonna quickly uh, thank all my subs and everything, and then I'll call you individually, alright? Okay, go ahead. Alright, I'll see you all soon. See you. Yeah. There we go. All right, chat. Let me quickly go.
go ahead and thank all the subs because I definitely missed some of you guys. Uh, this is the most wholesome thing I've seen in a long time, Nihachu Love. I'm glad, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, so, Edanger, thank you so much for the nine, nine months. Guys, thank you for the four months. Uh, and, Mis and Mr. Pixel, thank you for the three months. Uh, Euphoria Cyber, thank you for the one. Uh, Killzart, thank you for the seven months. Uh, Pizza Cupcake, thank you for the 14 months. Oh my god. Um, uh, uh, TX Club, thank you for the tier one. I appreciate it, everyone. I hope you're all doing great. Um, let's go ahead and call Kiki. Where are they? Go. Um. About Very that. talented people. We were kind people. of freaking out in call. Oh, <laughs> why? We were just freaking out in call. It's okay. I'm sorry. I was late. No, <laughs> don't worry about it. That's, that's all good. Are you doing? Are you? Are you doing okay? Is everything fine? I am okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing well. Um, kind of shaky oh. since this is kind of new to me <laughs> but it's it's so so pog um being with such cool artists and being with with you with chat it's it's so cool it's so cool <laughs> glad. i'm glad as well well um oh. <laughs> again thank you so much for taking your time by the way i really appreciate it oh no it's fine don't worry <laughs> Thank um, you so for inviting me. Of course, of course. Um, I'm glad you're still doing good. Um, I, you, you've seen the art streams you, uh, before, so you know what's what's going on. Chat will be able to ask you questions, but before that, I would like for you to tell me more about your art and, you know, where you come from, and maybe show off some of your artworks. I. This is what I prepared for. <laughs> okay, We're ready. I'm just gonna close this real quick and then put my screen over here and then I will change my screen to... Oh, oops, oops, oops sorry, oh, oh, sorry. That's all good. I just leaked your dog. I hope that's okay. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Okay, I share... <laughs> it's just my dog. It's just Juba. Juba. Juba the Beloved. But yes, Very true. Uh, where is it? Over here. Okay, so... One thing I really wanted to showcase, actually, is my um, progress from when I was, you know, kind of starting out with art. So this is my art in 2014 when mm -hmm. I started taking art more seriously. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Um, and then another 2014. This is 2015, where I oh, wow. started um, trying stuff with um, pencil colors. And then this was 2017. So wow. two years after this, I, I tried joining Inktober, which is a month where you just draw with ink. Um... And at the time, I was super proud of this, but now I'm like, I see bits and pieces where I'm like, I could do better. But it's, I'm also like, it's okay. Since, you know, I was, I was still, I'm a learning artist. You never really stop learning. Mm -hmm. And I was just kind of starting out. Um, so it's okay. But at the same time, I'm like, I wish I did this and this instead of this. And then we have 2017 uh, wow. again, which is thank you. <laughs> this is um, art from Over the Garden Wall, art of Over the Garden Wall. So um, I tried mixing watercolors with my ink work, and this is what came out. And I was super happy with this, and I still am. I think it looks cute. I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Thank you. And then here we have cats. <laughs> Aww, oh my god. Wait, at first I didn't see that fluffy one. That's so cute. 
Yeah, the cats are... Th that big cat is stuck in the house. The other one's just vibing. <laughs> and then we have 2017 again. This one's for Heathers. And then we have my pencil art for 2018. It's kind of vent art, but at the same time, it's it's still pretty, you mm -hmm. know? I, it's still pretty, in my opinion. But the reason why I wanted to show this is because I wanted to show the progress and how long it took me to get to where I am. Mm -hmm. This is 2014. So 2014, 2015, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21. Like, eight years. And I'm... I'm still a developing artist. There are so many things I have yet to learn that I am learning right now. Mm -hmm. That, you know, it's just... It's it's just a, a continuous learning process that I... I am so glad I learned about it as, as early as I did. Because before that, I was so frustrated with myself at like how slow I was with how I used to draw things mm -hmm. but now I'm like okay I'm, I'm kind of proud where I am but you know as I said a while ago you don't stop me. and then I'll just showcase some of my first digital di 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 digital art this is the first digital drawing I made in 2015 Aww. so it's uh, Frisk and Kara from Undertale and as you can see it it has a lot of room for improvement and I was using my finger on a a tablet attached to a telephone oh, um, oh my god <laughs> <laughs> but I yeah, mean even the I... lines are already quite good like the coloring obviously like has a lot of like improvement but i think the lines are already like you already knew what you were doing kind of oh thank you i was mainly proud of the art the line work as well back then more the, the coloring because i saw the airbrush tool and i was like oh, i have to use that that's my tool <laughs> i feel like everyone did that though like oh yeah you definitely. Know? every like i think one of the artists and like one of my first artist streams even said that they said Guys, for the people who are new to digital art, stay away from the airbrush tool. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, but at the same time, once you... Okay, here's my little rule for myself with the airbrush tool. If you want to use the airbrush tool, keep it to small sections. Mm -hmm. Or like, um, specific sections. Mm -hmm. Unless it's like your art style to use an airbrush tool. You know what fair. I mean? Yeah. Because like, at least with small sections, it won't be obvious it's the airbrush tool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, um, and then we have... This is my second one, second digital art. Wow. Um, I upgraded from my finger to those soft, uh, soft padded, um, styluses. Woo six and months. I hope you are doing was, well, Nikki was, Smiley it Face. It was a thing. <laughs> I I went through a lot of pastel phases that I never really got out of. But Fair. I, like pastels are so pretty, you know? <laughs> exactly. They're the best thing ever. You don't have they to grow are. out of it. They're great. We love pastel True. things. Yes we do. Yes we do. And then this is when I discovered that I like drawing galaxy stuff. So a lot of my work works around this time were galaxy themed. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it, it was me just going like, oh, this is something I'm good at. So I'm just going to keep doing this forever. Or this is something I genuinely enjoy. So I'm just going to keep doing this. But it, it, was a, it was a colorful phase. It was mm -hmm. definitely a colorful phase. And then here's my first character sheet. Um, well, first digital character sheet because I used to make some in pencil. Mm -hmm. And um, I started liking character design at around this time, 2018. Well, actually before that, but taking it seriously, 2018. So um, I have the front view, the back view, and then under the the little jacket thing and 
there's just a lot of color details and stuff like that and it's even lacking in some areas if you see like not all the colors are present and i use um straight gray which is something i don't advise um artists to do unless it's your style and it's your choice but my advice is do not use straight up gray because it makes the art piece look dull sometimes depending on how you use it mm -hmm. yeah those are my early works and then now we have my current ones yay, yay! <laughs> how much time so this... are between those then oh um so this one was 2018 and then this one actually was a, like a few weeks ago mm -hmm. um and this one took me i'd say like a few hours <laughs> i'm still slow as an artist but but i like taking my time so yes That's progress fair, you know? <laughs> you're allowed to take as long as you want on a piece yeah, true, true. And it's like, you gotta pace yourself as well. You Hi, know? Nikki. As you look so pretty and I love your hair. Thank you for making my day better. And we have some other work. I had a lot of MCYT art, mm -hmm. mainly Dream SMP, because, oh my god, the, the, the hole that I fell into. <laughs> I can imagine. It was a deep hole because it was so interesting with all the lore you guys do and the storytelling you guys are able to produce it's so cool and i got really i got dragged into that by someone who's not in the fandom anymore so i can't talk to her about the things that i used to talk to her about which is kind of sad but i'm rambling anyway sorry that's okay you can ramble as much as you want don't worry <laughs> you have an hour so you know you can fill that with with whatever you want uh thank you <laughs> If I get too rambly, just go like ticky, ticky, focus, focus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I will. Okay, and then this is me exploring some of um, my character designs. So I wanted something simple, and since my whole brand thing is like I am a fox person, eight per months se, already. Hope you have a good I stream, to, Ily. Like, less have, than three. Like, a blizzard form. So I was like, okay, let's make something like simple but with ruffles and fluff. Mm -hmm. so this is what i mean and also the tail this tail can i just say oh my goodness Ooh, <laughs> that's actually quite cool it reminds me of do you know league of legends oh my god it are you gonna say of, Ari? yes it reminds me of yeah. Ari's tail. <laughs> like i think ooh, i got really inspired from yeah in one of the skins like star guardian i think she has like like diamonds as or, or something like that as her tail I don't remember. I remember the KDA skin and she had like a crystal tail. Oh, it could be like, KDA. I, it could be. It is KDA, and I was like, Star I, Guardian. Oh yeah. I don't really know a lot about uh, League. I'm so sorry. No, no, don't <laughs> worry. But I, it reminded me of that and that's really cool. Yeah, look at that chat. Uh, Wait, I'll show chat. Do you want me to zoom in on the tail? Oh wait, sorry. Oh sorry. <laughs> oh good. Wait, you can. There, there you go. You can compare chat. Exactly. There, that's really cool. There you can see again, like you kind of get inspired by other people's, you know, by other people's or other other artworks. Yeah, that's true. And there's a thing that's like, um, there's no such thing as fully original art because your art will always be inspired from the art of someone else mm -hmm. and as much as people would like to go like no no you have to be fully original when you draw when you create your art style when you learn and all that stuff you need to be completely hi nikki nah, hi chat nah, hi no, artist that's, that's bs don't believe in them nah mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to be inspired by someone else go ahead but just don't copy and paste what they do because that would be a bad thing to do but getting inspiration is something really important as an artist so yeah that's my bad and then oh oops i'm sorry uh trigger warning i guess for um clingy duo angst <laughs> so yes we have sad 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 a little bit of sad Aww. and the reason why i wanted to show this was because i like you see the fireflies around them mm-hmm 
in some cultures and in mine as well here in the Philippines, um, having fireflies around someone or somewhere could mean the loss of someone or something important or the death of something or someone. And I wanted to symbolize um, something like the the end of an era Aww. where people were feeling safe, where people were feeling happy. And I wanted to showcase that that sort of sadness in other ways than the posture or the pose or the expression. I wanted to show it with the fireflies as well. And then we have a happier moment Aww. in the past. So yes, um, happy, happy boys. <laughs> I like the designs of them too. Did you come up they, with those? Um, kind of. It's like I saw the designs online and I was like, ooh, mm -hmm. pick this from this and this and that and this and that. And then I mix them into this one. I really like this one as well. Yeah, um, I like how Tabo's uh, horns, like back then they were a lot smaller and now they're like big and there's one, like the way they changed basically. Yeah, I like showing hints of stories through stuff like character design. So I really like the idea of Tabo's horn being broken and um, obviously much bigger than they were before. Mm -hmm. It's growth. And then, oh, this is my first, um, the first drawing I made on my new tablet. So I wasn't used to things just yet, but it turned out okay, mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> um, and then we have Goggy, <laughs> because Goggy. <laughs> and I really like the lighting of this one, I think. Um, mm -hmm. It's bright in there. But not too bright, you know, just enough brightness. And then we have my my character. They're an Elytrian, uh, Ranbu and Tobo. And then, oh, this one. This is kind of uh, this brings back a lot of good memories for me because um I don't know if you were there when it became a trend to make um subtweet academies, um. And I was part of the brave, uh, brave part of Rivals Twit Academy, mm -hmm. and this is my persona. And I met so many wonderful friends through this little, this little community, and we're still friends until this day. And I'm just really grateful because they're so cool. They're so cog. Oh, yeah. I'm glad. That's really nice. And it is. This is my regular persona. Yes, they are a fox. I am the little critter. <laughs> Aww. I love the way you draw eyes. Thank you. Yeah, it's really I love cute. the way I draw eyes. <laughs> Thank you. It's one of the things that I really like about my about my art style is just eyes. I I love eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is when I was exploring my art style a bit more. So I mixed my more chibi style with a bit more less chibi and painted a bit and i couldn't really decide what to put here so i just put stuff like ha 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 sussy baka <laughs> time <laughs> oh whoa um <laughs> Aww. so yes guys if you can't think of what to add in your art sometimes doodling is okay swag. let's go laughing face <laughs> So yeah. yes, oh, also I added a little, a little note here at the side. Hello, nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. Take care always, please. Aww, nice. that's sweet. Chat, you better take care of yourselves, okay? <laughs> Ooh. And then more character design because I can't get enough of it. <laughs> this is another persona of mine. Um. I made this persona for me and my best friend. So we have a little story going on with this character and their character. And it's just really cool making these stories and building these worlds with someone who you can share these with. So actually, you know what? Chat and uh, Nikki, mm -hmm. if you have the 
if you ever want to make characters, like, I, like, make characters with other people as well. Because it's so fun. It is so fun, you know? So, like, like, like how? How would that work? Like, making characters and then thinking of how they would interact, how they would talk to each other, how they would react to something the other did. It's so fun! It's so fun, mm. As, and it's like you can't always predict how the other character will react or do anything. So it's like a game of, huh, what will this character do? <laughs> that's yeah. cool. Um, so yes, that is my little slideshow. Not really a slideshow, but yes. <laughs> huh? That's so cool. Uh, all right, chat. Now that you have seen some of Tiki's art and heard some of their story you guys have any questions and when yes if yes write them we want to hear how did you come up with your character design that's a good Ooh. question okay character design it's a little mix of what i find cool and also like what would make sense in the situation mm -hmm. um so it's a bit of like mixing story with just aesthetic. So mm -hmm. for example here, I... It, it wasn't really a big thing at that time to have Tommy wear... Well, see Tommy wear... Um, Ghostbird's uh, yellow sweater. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to symbolize... for I wanted to show that he's he felt some sort of attachment to Ghostbird. Because, you know, Wilbur... Um, and then there's blue because, you know, you want some blue, mm -hmm. and then, um, his little, the little, uh, hair tie in his hair has the colors of Franbu and Tommy and Tubbo, and it's just little detail, you know, and also stuff like his skin being a bit more ghastly or pale because of all the things he went through. But he's still smiling because he's with his friend and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on um, what makes sense, but also what looks nice. It's nice to have a balance between the two. Mm -hmm. And if you can't find a good balance between the two, just experiment, honestly. Sketch out as many as you want. And then you don't have to decide right then and there that this sketch looks nice so i'm gonna go with this um you can mix and match so take a bit from this sketch take a bit from that sketch and you'll find something that you like or you're comfortable with so yeah mm -hmm. nice um oh pe yeah people are asking what you use for draw to draw so like what programs and um i guess like what tablet oh okay um so i use clip studio paint pro i think and then for my tablet i have a wacom cintiq the 13 inch one so it's not that big but it's it's been a lifesaver honestly because i used to draw on a <laughs> on a very um run down ipad and let's just say buttons don't really work anymore <laughs> so yes and also by the way if it's okay if you don't have like the best tablet out there any medium you have you can use to make art so be it digital be it um traditional anything you have around you if you have the will <laughs> to use what you have to make art go ahead mm -hmm. art is whatever you make of it so yeah Ooh. um let's see you can if you if you find any interesting questions by the way also just point them out um Oh, I think someone asked if you draw lighting or shadows first. Ooh, okay. So I like, um... Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to remember my process when it comes to painting. 
For painting, I like drawing the shadows first. Um, because I like to see how how much I can add in terms of darkness before I move on to the lightness. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that's mainly because um when I use lighter colors for lighting um i also use it to blend so if it's a bit too dark in some areas i would blend with the lighter so yeah that's how i that's what i do in terms of shading and light okay um i think i also saw someone ask how you draw feet and shoes oh gosh shoes okay shoes is a mixy thing for me. I'm not the best at drawing shoes, but references are always good to have. Um, references can be and will be a lifesaver for you, so if you don't know how to draw something, just search up how. But for me personally, um, shoes, I just draw the types of shoes that I used to wear, that I do wear, or I wish I wore. Mm -hmm. I'm not really into drawing shoes that I don't really find interest in. So which is why <laughs> Ranbu shoes uh, are just dress shoes because I never really wore dress shoes. But I saw Ranbu's character as a guy who'd wear dress shoes, you mm -hmm. know? So um, I'm not the best at it. Um, you can probably ask the other artists the same question. Oh, yeah. They can give you better answer yeah so. chat feel free to like if you find a question interesting and you would like to ask different artists to just ask the questions again for sure for sure um yeah. oh i saw one earlier but I, for I, I forgot it now oh yeah art block uh there's a few people asking how you deal with art block oh gosh art block okay so i I don't give the best advice when it comes to art block because um, the way I deal with art block is I just I just let it happen because if I try to fight the art block I will get even more frustrated with myself so if I'm experiencing art block my go-to method of dealing with it is to just let it go through with me mm -hmm. you know because it's like if I force myself to do something that I genuinely don't feel comfortable doing or feel like I can't at the moment, it's only going to get 18 worse. months W Nikki and Wee. That's These okay. artists are all so you know, talented. It's like taking a Love break. you Nikki and Chad. It's like yeah. having less burnout. than three. Yeah. And both are valid. All of that is valid. So yeah. Exactly. That's the thing again of like taking breaks. It's important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tips on learning human anatomy, someone asked. Oh, okay. This one is an interesting one because it was actually a fun experience I had in high school. Um, we had... I was in art club. Um, and we would sometimes have these meetings where we pull up this website which gives you um, people in various poses. And you can set the timer to certain amounts of like seconds or minutes and we'd speed run through as many poses as we could like we would go to like 30 seconds of sketching to like 15 seconds of sketching and then the next pose will pop up mm -hmm. and it seems like it seems hard but you learn with having fun mm -hmm. is something that i learned um the more you find ways to have fun with something, the easier it is to remember how to do the thing you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. So, when it comes to learning anatomy, um, try those websites that showcase people in various poses and then set the timer. And then don't stress yourself out too much because you are you are going to be at the skill level that you are at and that's totally okay you don't have to be you know like a god at doing anatomy 
because that comes later on and getting better is just learning how to do things over and over again so just practice anatomy use the websites that would help you and have fun with it that's fair um really quick hello everyone who just joined from uh tommy's stream i, I believe tommy just ended and a few people are coming over if you don't know what the artist streams are uh what we're doing right now basically i'm taking a few artists from the community and let them talk about their experience with art art in general and everything you know they want to talk about you guys are right now very very encouraged to ask questions uh, so if you have any questions to Tiki here, uh, just let us know. Also, Tiki, if you have anything, if you want to like show anything, like how to draw something, just like open your art program and you can show us. Maybe that's easier okay. than explaining it. Um, but yeah, um, that is that. So if you guys have any questions, let us know. Guys, you know what you should do? You should subscribe to Nikki Nia. <laughs> Guys, just subscribe or prime, you know? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I was actually... Oh, Kim! There we go. I'm gonna, by the Happy way... Year, Nikki. Um, Hope you're I'm just doing quickly good. going to do this because there's a faith. few people who joined. Uh, for the people who are subscribing, I'm going to read out all the subscriptions when, once we have a quick break because I don't want to interrupt the artists while they're talking. But I appreciate you guys and I'm still reading chat and I'm still reading all your donations and your subs uh, and I'm going to thank them at the end of the section just so you guys know. Tiki, I have a question for you. Um, someone else yes. said that before and I was also very interested in it, which is how do you draw the folds in the clothes? I think they look very interesting on your art. I wanna okay. know. <laughs> um, folds and clothes, I suggest using shapes. So triangles mainly for creases. 13 months, Nikki. And for bigger Much parts, love, less than 33. Um, Sometimes I do oblong or just um, rounded off triangles. Triangles can three. be your best friend when it comes to folds. I will put uh, I will pull up Clip Studio real quick so I can show what I mean. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Uh, oh 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 oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> All good. If you want me to quickly go to, just let me know once you. Oh, there you go. There we I'm go. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, what I mean is this. So let's say. Oh, that's the wrong. That's an airbrush. To what did I say about using airbrush? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I betrayed myself. No. But yes, okay, so we have like a pant leg here and there are creases, right? Mm -hmm. So my best friend is triangles, just like angles. And then you soften that up with... I'm just gonna use this, this color since it blends in. Oh, that's okay. No, that's fine. I just soften it in the inner areas. And then after that, I color pick the color that mixed together and um, paint under that. So it has like this little area over here that's like bumping out mm -hmm. and this area here that's like bumping in. So it's like a crease. That's, that's my, how I do my things. Mm -hmm. Just triangles and shapes. <laughs> yes nice do you did you would learn that through references too or how mm. did you like learn doing the creases because a lot of the times what i feel like with like beginner artists is that the creases a lot of the times look very randomly pl placed so it could can oh. look like very out of hand like you know um is it out of hand like it can look like very um confusing you know, I feel like it's important to place the creases in the right directions and in the right places. Yeah, that's true as well. Um, so, okay, I'll go back to pant leg. Don't mind how crappy it looks. Um, so, I use the web um, idea wherein everything goes from crease 
too outward but at the same time i have to make note that if i put one here it's best not to put one here unless i want to make it look extra creasy mm -hmm. i don't know if that's a word it's probably not a word but it's fine <laughs> it makes sense <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um and then also note to like not put too many creases because putting too many could make it look like your clothing is way too loose and always remember um creasing is it's it's confusing but it's you can learn it by just experimenting example i have a shirt and then oh that's wow okay i am suddenly not an artist why won't my pen draw uh oh Oh no. Did you press something oh. on the pen? Oh oh no, it's fine. I got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a shirt. The parts where I will mainly put a crease are on the armpits, since that's where the two areas meet. Mm -hmm. And so and that's an area where there's a lot of um bending and closing off your arms and all that stuff so i would put two triangles but if i wanted to make it look like the shirt was tight mm -hmm. i add more crease so the more creases you add the more tight or the more loose it can look depending on where you put the creases so if i put a crease over here it would make it look like there's a lot of flow going on mm -hmm. but if i put it here per se it'll make it look like it's it's a tight shirt mm -hmm. so know where to place your creases is one of my biggest tip because if you don't um it makes it sound like a threat. I'm not threatening anyone, I swear. <laughs> if you but don't, yeah. Tiki will find you and no. take away your drawing equipment and say, you, you need to learn a lot more. <laughs> no, no, bad crease, bad crease. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it probably would be quite useful to just have someone next to you be like, this is not correct. This does not look correct. It would be very intimidating, and I probably wouldn't be able to work under that pressure at all, but, you know... You definitely oh, know what you're doing. Don't work. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and also, again, I'll say this over and over again, but... References are your best friend. Don't feel shame in using references, because references are... PogChamp. <laughs> True. Oh no. Uh oh. Do you, are you not finding the layer? <laughs> oh, it's fine. I got this. I okay. got this. I have. Okay, okay. Yes. I'll look for some questions in the meantime. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, people are asking about hands. Hands? Okay. This is the question that you're supposed to ask the other mm. artists. And I, I will, and I will. Yes. Crazy less than yeah, three. Yeah, I just BS my way through hands. I'm like... <laughs> I use the ye old-fashioned um, triangle for the palm, and circles for the joints, and then... I'm looking at my hand, by the way. I'm trying to remember what shapes my hand has. And rectangles for the fingers. Um, yeah. I'm not the best person to ask for hands. That's fair. I just do I just do what looks pretty. <laughs> <laughs> if it looks wonky, I will try a different pose. And oh, and another thing, okay, here's my my tip for drawing hands. Actually, I figured one out. Fingers aren't um fingers aren't like this. They're not like this. They're sometimes depending on the finger it can be a bit more like this on sideways or hold on i why why is my oh because i'm using the wrong pen depending on it sometimes it can look like a knife 
Sometimes it can look with a nail like that. So it it just experiment with your with your types of fingers. <laughs> there. In Jack Manifold's case, in Jack Manifold's case, it just looks all Oh wait, no. Shriveled. We don't talk about Jack Manifold. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so true. We don't talk about Jack Manifold. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see. Oh, I'm, I'm interested in your colors. How did you, like, figure out what kind of color, color palettes you would go with? Because you said you, you like to draw unique kinds of colors, right? And unique, like, combinations of colors. Yes. Um, okay. It's easier if I show you through drawing so i'm gonna do that right now mm -hmm. um so let's say i'm drawing i'm coloring skin so let's say i have this as the base color um one thing i don't recommend doing is getting this color and just going darker mm -hmm. for shading because that'll make it look muddy um what you want to do, at least for me, is color pick the color, go a bit to the um, left or right in the color wheel, and then I usually go to the left, mm -hmm. and then pick an, a nice vibrant but not too vibrant color and blend that in. So my point here is don't just use black and white to add um, lightness or darkness to your colors, especially for shading, because it can get muddy or it can get, um, if you add just straight up white, it can look a bit bland or um, not muddy. I'd say mm, a bit like sickly mm -hmm. so instead of white for skin i like using um sometimes a nice yellow so it's a bit bright but not too bright you mm -hmm. know and then blend that in so yeah just pick your colors wisely in the sense that um sometimes dark doesn't mean that you have to use straight up black sometimes dark can mean you can use a purple or an indigo or a blue those are my usual go-to shades for adding shade uh yeah for shading mm -hmm. and then for lighting it's usually limes or yellows or bright oranges mm -hmm. so. nice and um, also for a, give oh, me, sorry one sec i don't want to interrupt you but i just got a raid um so alan thank Ooh. you so much for the raid i'm so sorry i just i didn't want to interrupt you but i also want to acknowledge <laughs> that so thank you so much alan and then my love i see you on twitter all the time you are so hot <laughs> alan, wow. Al alan like works out a lot and she has like a really great body um like it's very impressive and um i hope you had a good stream hello everyone I hope you're all well. We're doing artist streams right now. Tiki is currently showing us their art and giving us some tips and answering some questions. So if you guys have any questions, you are very encouraged to ask them. Very cool. <laughs> guys, you should subscribe. You know? <laughs> I'm just gonna keep doing thank this, you. Nikki, by the way. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, um, I didn't mean to interrupt you, so... What was it? Oh no, don't worry, it's okay. I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I have really bad memory. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I do too, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I see a lot of hair. Like, a lot of hair. people are asking about how you draw your hair. Oh, hair. I like hair. Okay, I will show how hair. Okay. Wait, I lost my way of English for a <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It happens, trust me. It happens to me too. Okay. So, again, with shapes. I like using, for hair, depending on the type of hair, I like using triangles sometimes. So you'll see... Oh, 
Where did my color go? It is here. Try a uh, triangle. Triangle. And a bit of a wonky uh, trapezoid. I don't know what it's called. But I like using shapes because um, sometimes adding too much detail makes your drawing. Blah, blah, blah. My accent went it's out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> makes the drawing look a bit um, chaotic depending on your art style. So for me, since I like using um, flat colors sometimes depending on the piece, um, I like utilizing shapes for hair. Mainly because, example, if I were to add like... Um, if I were to add more detail on the hair per se, like... I mean, this works because... Wait, no, this actually is pretty shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh no, I huh. lost my point. Oh no, oh, I no. got distracted. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. But yes, use shapes because shapes are... What's another word for cool? <laughs> poggers. Shapes... Yes, shapes are poggers. <laughs> and also... Another thing that's like important to note is when you're drawing, sometimes the overall form or the silhouette of your of the character is what you're after. So even if you put a lot of detail on the hair, sometimes people only glance at the overall form mm -hmm. or overall silhouette of your character. And if it if the form is eye catching, that's pretty good and if you're satisfied with the silhouette you can add detail if you want to or you can not add detail but the important bit is if you can show your character and give them a i'm losing my english it's no. okay Oh Take god, time, this is what I get worry. for not sleeping. <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, it's so late for you, right? I'm so sorry. Oh, it's fine, Dusty. You fine. better go to bed after this. <laughs> I will not. Get rest. <laughs> we were just I talking will. about rest. Oh true, okay, I will rest. I will not be a hypocrite. Good, But good. yes, um... Where was I? Shapes. Uh, shapes, yeah. Yes. Um... As long as you give your character a good form, in the sense that the silhouette is recognizable, that's pretty good. So, that goes for hair, that goes for outfits, that goes for poses. You can show your per your character's personality through poses as well. So that's the thing. Shapes. And silhouette. Silhouettes are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Do you draw your silhouettes um, through shapes too? Um, kind of, like, it's a lot of, actually, you know what, yeah, shapes. Mm, shapes. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, yeah, just shapes in general. I love using shapes and drawings. Mm -hmm. Someone asked about the mesh and see-through clothing, and that actually caught my eye too. Um, you know, Ooh. like the little, like, the bands she has on her arms. Those are really uh -huh. interesting. How do you, especially how do you color them? Okay, so this one in particular, I actually painted these instead of um, doing what I did here. So, mm -hmm. <coughs> sorry. Um, let's say this is a, that's a band. Yes. And then I'll just get the skin tone, I'll get the paint brush, and then I will paint on top of that. So it looks see-through, but it also like leaves the color in there. Ah. So it's a it's a blend. Yeah, so you do you do it on the same like layer and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. It makes for a nice illusion of sorts. Mm -hmm. And it admittedly if done right looks pretty cool i'm still learning how to do it but yeah it looks oh and cool, also yeah. thank you and also adding some shading to it as well is important so don't just add the skin tone 
add as well some shading so it's like there's dimension to it mm -hmm. Ooh, another raid. Oh my god, we're getting so many raids. I'm so sorry. Deserve, <laughs> I'm, I'm deserve, being I'm please. being such a streamer. <laughs> Mooberries, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it a lot. Welcome everyone. Hello, hello. Guys, subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing artist streams right now, which is we're taking artists, different artists from the community, and let them talk about their art, about art in general, about their where they come from um and if you have any questions you are very much encouraged to ask them very cool this is tiki tiki you can introduce yourself actually i i think you didn't introduce yourself before so introduce yourself to the new viewers <laughs> oh okay um shoot i forgot my own name <laughs> <laughs> hello hello friends i am tiki timely i am a gender queer 22 year old Old, um artist from the philippines and i do art thing and i am where was i going with that i don't oh my god i am a mess <laughs> i mean it is 5 a.m for you right so you it's almost 5 a.m oh yeah my god. oh my god um it's okay <laughs> do you want to tell us or show us how you draw your eyes i really Ooh, like okay those. they're so cool Thank you. Okay, eyes. Ooh, this is something I can definitely do. <laughs> so, <laughs> depend. Okay. Um, first of all, um, decide what kind of eye shape that you want to do. So let's say, oh, that's a skin color. Let's say a bit on the angular side, or. A bit on the rounder side mm -hmm. and then I myself I like to add lashes so that's a thing I like doing bottom lashes as well are important to me and then um, what I do for the um, are they pupils I think they're pupils are they pupils the color thing in the eye yeah, um, yeah. I think so. Uh, <laughs> iris? Peoples? I, are they iris? I don't I don't know. <laughs> English, 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 English. <laughs> I'm not sure. Iris. Okay, people are saying iris, yes. Iris, okay. So I like using a soft um edged watercolor brush for the iris because for me at least, using hard edges makes the eye look less organic i guess you could say mm -hmm. and then for shading i just apply what i did earlier which is i get like a nice blue or indigo or whichever color would look nice with the color that you chose for the base and then you go to the um opposite side and a bit to the left so you can have a nice shine and then that's mainly how i do eyes mm -hmm. so the important bit for eyes is there are so many different types of eye shapes utilize that to, to um express like character um personalities or um yeah actually it's mainly personalities for character design mm -hmm. And then, where is the layer? Okay, here. And then I, while I have that there, I will make the eyelashes thicker. I'm losing my words. I'm losing my mind. Oh, it's um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nikki. I'm sorry, sorry I'm chat. keeping you up so long. <laughs> no, it's fine. I was working on my thesis. Don't worry too much about it. Oh, oh my god. I kept you from work. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. No worries. Okay. <laughs> but yes, um, eye shapes can show personality, and then the colors. Try for me. I like using vibrant colors for the eyes. Mm -hmm. And then I like having fun shapes in the middle. The 
instead of using because usually for like real humans we have like the black what do you call it? those are the pupils i think yeah okay pupils i like having white pupils instead so it's a bit more um fantasy looking it's more interesting to look at rather than having it just this color i mean if you want the character to look crazy sometimes people draw them with like pinprick like that mm -hmm. so yes <laughs> oh my I'm god because that looks creepy yeah <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Thank you. Mm. Oh, I see something. Um, how did you feel changing between different art styles over the years? Do you have an Do you have a style that you prefer over the others? You grow this thing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay, so for growth and art style, um, this is something I had to come in terms to. Um, it would have been useful to realize this sooner than later, but I learned it later than sooner. <laughs> so this is me trying to tell you guys that your art style won't always be the same. Your art style will always be changing. There will always be some inconsistencies with your art style, and that's totally okay. You know, because um, you learn as you keep drawing. And sometimes you might not like what the growth looks like because you're unused to it, but it's easier to accept it rather than fight it off. Mm hmm. And then for my own growth, um, honestly, I just, I just saw my art and I was like, okay, this is how it looks now for this, this time. And then another time it's going to look something else like that Ranbu drawing I drew. Um, the art style there is completely different from what you see here. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I can stop on screen. Here. Yeah, this is completely different mm -hmm. to this one. <laughs> and um it's confusing. It's like I as I said a while ago, I wish I had a more consistent art style, but you know, I'm slowly come to coming to terms that it's okay to have changing art styles, that nothing is consistent and that's okay. Because growth is always, and growth is pog. True, and growth is not linear. True, that as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I think we're about to reach our one hour mark. So I just want to say, chat, if you have like a last question or something, and also Tiki, if you have a last thing you want to say, feel free to do so. Um, subscribe to Nikki Beach. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I use my last moments on stream Aww, with. <laughs> you're so sweet. Nah, you deserve the subs. No, I appreciate it. We appreciate you. Aww. Um, well, and also, I guess one more thing I kind of want to say while I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Um, Going back to what I said a while ago, but um, there are a lot of new people here, so um, don't criticize yourself too harshly. Remember that it's okay to learn and that it's okay to not be the best at what you want to do at the moment because you can learn to do better later on. And it's important to know the difference between crit uh, constructive criticism and harmful criticism and what and which one you apply to yourself because constructive ones help and the other one just hurts you and pushes you down into a hole that you do not want to be in. So yeah, just 
take your time in learning and honestly have fun with your art because art is more than just oh i want to be good at art to make pretty things it has to be pretty art is about expression it's about um learning it's about so many things and it's about it's about growth yes true very tr very true cool um do you want to shout yourself out oh um <laughs> Sure. Um, <laughs> I didn't think this through. Oh no. It's okay. okay. <laughs> um, so my Twitter is at Picky Time, and then I I also have uh I have Twitch. If you guys wanna check that out, I stream art sometimes. Sometimes I do Minecraft. It depends on the mood. Um, but yes, it's Timely. T I M E L I E E. It's a bit weird in the spelling, but that's what I'm stuck with. Um, <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. So yes, that's that's what I got for my main art stuff. Cool. I, I thank you as well, guys. This art for is so being adorable, so nice. Nihachi. Thank you, Love Nikki, Tiki for, is amazing. For, for inviting me. Of course. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you get enough rest now. You'll see. <laughs> I will see. But I appreciate you being here so much, and I appreciate you taking your time of the day. Thank you as well, and it's no problem. Well, uh, I'll talk to you later then. I hope you have a good rest Thank of your you. night. You too. Take bye care, bye. chat. Take care, Nikki. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. Aw, so sweet. So sweet. Okay. I saw Marisa say hi Marisa, I hope you're well. Let me quickly shout out some of the subs, uh, which are Kirian, thank you for the six months, um, and Krito, thank you for the five months. The rest isn't loading for some reason. Um, I might have to just quickly do this. I hope this works now. There we go. Um, where, where were we? Uh, Piper Well, thank you so much, Buggy. Thank you so much for the 14 months. Space uh, Junk Rose, thank you for the 18 months. Oh my god, so many long subs. I appreciate it. Kim Poodle, thank you for the 6 months. Uh, Liberu, thank you for the Prime. Mur, thank you for the 13 months. Milo, thank you for the 4 months. Uh, Noxu, thank you for the 24 months. Oh my god, 2 years? <gasps> thank you, Noxu. That's crazy. No, I'm not leaving. Chat. I, except if you're saying bye to Tiki. Um, but yeah, those are the subs. Because we're now moving on. Thank Love you, Simply you. Riley. <laughs> Thank you for the three months. I appreciate it. We're moving on to um, the next artist, which I believe is Soap. That's how I have it written it down. Um, b -b 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 -b. Oh my god, I added the wrong person. That's embarrassing. Um, yes, it's up. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'll just I'll just message him privately. Um, are you I'm so glad the artist streams are back. It's very interesting learning about each artist's different art styles. I agree. I'm glad they're back too. The artists are always so lovely. I love I love meeting them and I love hearing about their stories and about everything yep all right let's call soap hello hi how are you doing good i'm glad i'm glad yes all right have you seen the artist rooms before too do you know what yeah. we, sh we shall yeah. do <laughs> yes <laughs> okay very cool um, so, do you want to share some of your art, or do you want to yeah. go right to questions? Okay, cool. Then I can I can share art. I have a little Perfect. folder. I organized. Ooh, let's go. I none of my old art, not all of it. Okay, there's some older art, but mainly it's new art because like that's the stuff I'm proud of. That's okay. You know, it's where the style comes in. <laughs> none of them are. All of them are untitled because who has time for that? True. Um, so organized. 
Sorry, having chat open and my friend is bullying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Twig's here! Hi, Twig! <laughs> Twig! Shush. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go with old art, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is like not one of my first digital pieces, but this is something I did for my art was for my class and stuff. I don't know. I like painting faces. It's That's fun. That's really pretty. Yeah, I like the color blue a lot. I used to use a lot of blue. Mm -hmm. Most of this is fan art, but like, you can see how my style has changed a lot from like this snifferish art. Mm hmm. To this one. Oh wow. Oh yeah. And this one is a master study, so I had like a reference, but like it's still like I. There's like I didn't I obviously don't paint like John Waterhouse, so mm -hmm. it's like still me, but it's like, oh my god. How long Art. are these like apart? Uh this one let's see. Canvas information. Actually this is a duplicate, so I don't mm, know. I see. This is like what year did I start high school? Oh no. <laughs> Time moves so quickly. I have to use a, I have to use a calculator. That's okay. <laughs> yes. Uh okay. Uh like 2017. So this would be around 2018 mm -hmm. whenever I did this one. And then this was last week. So like there's a huge gap. Oh. But it's like It's like a it's a, yeah. Art. Wow. Yeah. And like, you can tell my style has changed, like, while I've been drawing MCYT and stuff. Because, mm -hmm. like, this is like a doodle page of mine. And it's very different from, like, anything else. Like, this is technically a doodle page also that I just colored. Wow. It's like, I, I started painting more. So it's like something definitely changed within the couple of months mm -hmm. that I've been doing fan art and stuff, which is really cool. Did you do that like um, consciously? Where did you say like, "Oh, I want to start painting more"? Yeah, I think so. I I remember I did some painting on this one. You can see like where I painted over the lines and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and with the background, there's less lines involved. Mm -hmm. um, and then with this one, I remember this is a new brush I was using, which really changed my art style because I went from having like a gel pen to this textured uh, kind of brush, which really changed like how I used texture in my art versus just a still line. Mm -hmm. And then this painting this one actually i paint this was the first time i painted over and this is tubbo art mm -hmm. and it was bright colors which i don't remember why i used this palette i However, like it it looks yeah. great yeah it's like i i used it once and then i used it again for this one and yeah. then people were like holy shit <laughs> it's just like one of the times where I painted over and I think that's like whenever I started fully painting over um you can see it in other work mm -hmm. where it's like this one where like even if there are still lines it's still like I went over them and stuff as I was painting mm -hmm. so yeah that's cool I want to see, I'm sorry, I'm very interested in seeing the second one from the top. Is that Sniff or Techno? That this one? one? Yeah. Yeah, it's Sniff. Mm -hmm. That is cool. I like that one. That's yeah. painted again I... then. Yes. It was more kind of me getting like backgrounds and lighting. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't do a lot of backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So it was like me exploring that. And Take I drew care, the Nikki cats. And the artist's laughing face. I drew all of Sniff's cats. Ooh, wait, how many cats does Sniff have? 
three. Oh, ah. However, however, if you notice something about the cats, they're all the same. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really bad at drawing animals, so I drew, I drew this cat, which mm -hmm. I think is Yuki. Um. And then I just copy and paste it in <laughs> all the others. And I changed like the body position and stuff mm -hmm. um, for that one. So, but it's like all the same face because I have a hard time drawing cat faces. That's fair though. I feel like, especially like from like this far, it's hard to yeah. like, capture the face if you don't want it to be like yeah. the main focus. Yeah, it's just like. Oh. <laughs> It's cute though, I like them. Yeah, I love cats. Mm. Actually, I'm a very allergic to cats. Oh no, that's so sad. It's weird. I want I want one, but like I don't know how to deal with them. Yeah. I mean there so are hypoallergic like... ones, depending on how allergic yeah. you are. Yeah. I was thinking of getting one, um, the Devon Rex, because I know they're like less allergy like mm -hmm. but it's just like i don't know how to deal with cats i don't know what to do with them because mm -hmm. i've had dogs i have three dogs they're all like in yeah dog oh. person that's cute though all right um is there anything else you want to like show or talk about or shall we go into questions uh, do i I know I said the hands. Yes, we do need to see oh, the we hands. Can, we, can do, we can do the hands. I need to not screen size. That's the wrong kids. I don't do in screen size. Ah. Uh, square. Okay. This is the this is the official soap app hand hand uh, tutorial. Okay. I've done this before. I did this I did this on stream once in the middle of art. Um but pretty much, hands for me are really easy to like crack the code of hands. Um, they all, the palm is the shape. It's just like a pentagon type thing. Mm -hmm. um, and like once you kind of figured this out, like how the hands kind of move, so you have to do hand studies. Mm -hmm. It like gets easier. And so for me, I don't ever start from... So whenever I first was doing hands more, I started from this shape to get used to it. But then like... And then I would... Let me move this it's really far up. And then I would like draw like the fingers and like stuff. So like that and then like the thumb. And then like the like kind of like meaty palm part. It's like really easy to do once you kind of like know it which is like really hard for me to say because like i know how to do it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, of course so now whenever i do them um i don't start with the palm um i also look at my own hands when drawing mm -hmm. uh so like that helps a lot is using yourself as a reference uh but whenever i draw hands I start from the thumb. Because okay. it's because like that's the main that's like a big part of the palm is the thumb. And where the thumb kind of like, like goes down and is yeah. connected. Yeah. And like that's a big part of the palm area. And it kind of decides like how the hand will be mm -hmm. and stuff. So then like if I was going to draw the same hand, I would draw the thumb. And I always draw, like, the thumb is not, like... Because, like, here I drew the fingers as, like, kind of blocks. But with the thumb, I drew the, like, the the pad part. The proportions? Mm -hmm. Correct. How do you get the proportions correct? Okay. That is something you kind of figure out. Um, normally, the palm and the fingers are around the same size. Uh, so you just kind of go based on that. And then like with digital art, you can always like erase and move stuff around, which really helps. So then like, if I was going to draw this more, I'd like connect the thumb part 
And like, there's that little divot where your wrist meets the thing. And I always draw that. Don't know why. I just always have. Mm -hmm. This looks a bit janky because I'm like holding my hand up next to it. <laughs> it's okay. So <laughs> it's like. It's kind of weird. I don't know how to explain it now that I have it figured out, but it's like kind of shapes help. Mm -hmm. um, hands are very square. At least mine are. So it's like you can like if you know how shapes work and you can draw shapes in relation to other shapes, you're good. Because like for these, it's a pentagon and then rectangles. Mm -hmm. It's great. Also, Group the fingers together because they will. It's so much easier to draw hands if you group the fingers together. I know, like, there was this one dude who was saying, never group the fingers together, but they naturally sometimes group together, so it's just easier to draw it as a block, like what I did here, mm -hmm. and then separate it out later. Or you do little gap spaces in between yeah i feel like especially like depending on what art style you have a lot of the times mm -hmm. it can look very crowded if you just like draw the fingers separated yeah and it's like and since i paint now it's a lot easier for me to go in and define hands later so i don't have to do so much work mm -hmm. whenever i'm doing the sketch or line art and then like even if I'm doing it in like, I wasn't on the eraser brush. Uh, even if I'm doing it in like other positions, like if whatever part of the hand I see the most for this like position and what I'm going for is what I'll draw first. So sometimes I start just from like the fingers or the thumb. Mm -hmm. And then like, this is actually a hand I drew earlier for another piece. So it's like, that it's just the hand kind of closed and you're viewing it from the back mm -hmm. and stuff and like it's pretty it's like hands are just shapes they're not that scary um shapes are something that every artist <laughs> can <laughs> know pretty easily um it's also this idea of knowing how to draw from life and draw from drawing from what you see and not drawing detailed at all. None of these hands are detailed. They are just shapes. Don't draw hands detailed when you're figuring out your sketch. Because that's not what matters. It just, you need to get the shapes down. Mm -hmm. um, and especially when you're doing studies of hands. Shapes. It's, it's all shapes. Just draw the shapes. Draw the little rectangles. Draw the pentagons for the hand, for the palm area. And then, like, once you do all of that and you figure out, like, how to do them by yourself, then it comes easier. Mm -hmm. Which is how I draw hands. Nice. So, yeah. I found it very interesting with the other um, direction that you drew the hand with, like, from the back. Um, <laughs> You drew like the f the biggest bit first. Do you do that always? Do you just draw like the biggest bit? Yeah, first? yeah. It's normally the biggest bit because like if I'm that's also why I do the thumb thing is because mm -hmm. sometimes it's the biggest part of the hand that you can see. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's easier if you draw the biggest part first, mm -hmm. and then go to the smaller details because like that's how. You do art. What brushes do I use? I use 6B pencil and then other brushes I have downloaded. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's like, once you... Hands are something you're gonna have to catch up on and like work a lot on. Um, so then, like, naturally over time, they'll get easier. Like, anything in art gets easier the more you do it. But people are really scared of hands, so they tend to not work on them. Work on hands. Trust me, it pays off. I was so confused. Sorry, this is completely a different subject. But I was so confused where you got the messages from chat. 
because I didn't see them in my chat. But it was because I was scrolled like way further up and I was like, wait, what? Where are people <laughs> asking those things? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's good. I'm glad you're taking questions from chat too. You, you were very, yeah, yeah. very much encouraged to do so. Yes. Chat. That's good though. That's that was a good tutorial. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Could you draw a quick peace sign? Yeah. I'll do, okay, I'll do that, and I'll do the peace sign. Not answer this person's question about the shading and lightning. Okay, um, sounds good. For a peace sign, okay. Honestly, thumb. Do do do. I'm doing this really quickly, but it's like I'm gonna move this down again. <laughs> And then do then you kind of draw. That was not the finger. Ah. Peace sign. Woo! Wow. I like peace signs. I draw them a lot. That's so cool though. At first yeah. I didn't even know like where something was because I couldn't quite make it out. But that's so cool. Yeah. In the end, it all comes together. <laughs> and then, like, the coloring thing. Yeah. I don't know where I got this palette. I'm gonna be honest. I was drawing something. There's another piece of art I did, and I made this palette. I have so many. Um, oh, do you just make them? Yeah. Um, I kind of just big palettes and then i just i like cycle through them for art and stuff um depending on what i need but like if i need a bright color one uh, this is kind of what i use mm -hmm. um so i don't know exactly how i got it but it's like i was using the idea of how like um there's different skin tone. There's different colors on the face. It's not just all one face. Uh, like one skin tone. But mm -hmm. I just made that super dramatic. So like the yellow and the red and the pink and then like the blues and stuff. There's like other pieces where I do it. Wait. Oh, on this one? Uh, it's not super out because it's not supposed to be. But they're... There's this color. I'm gonna put it in there. So there's this color, and then in the same area, there's this one that's more warm and stuff. Because mm -hmm. this one's more pink, this one's more yellow. And then this one's like on the pinker side. And it's kind of, they're all the same value, just different shades. Because it gives more depth to the face and stuff. Um, so, because, like, the humid face isn't just one flat color. It has multiple different tones. So, on, like, higher points, I put the yellow. And then on, like, lower points, so, like, around the mouth or where there's shadows, I'm going to put more of the pink. Did you learn that through um, references again? Or? I... Yes. And there was an artist I really liked who did it. Um... And that's kind of where I got it from. Mm -hmm. For like at least the yellow part. And then the uh, pink part is something I did on my own. Because like I remembered there's like I used to do oil painting. And because I really like drawing people I would always draw like faces. So then to make it look more realistic there would be like. Kind of like different tones and stuff so i just started putting that into my digital art and stuff mm -hmm. as i painted more i see i see so yeah that's like pretty much it chat for noses i just kind of draw lines <laughs> there so yeah. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking about noses. Yeah. Um, I just kind of, if I want to draw a nose, I, let me go back to this color. I, I just do 
that. Mm -hmm. Um, that's that's the nose. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that kind of feels like um, like a like a like an animal nose, you know, like the yeah. Yeah. It's, I I don't remember how I started doing it. Um, I think it's because I used to draw noses like that, and then like I kind of just. I don't remember what I did. <laughs> you need to change. <laughs> yeah, I was just like... <laughs> or sometimes I avoid drawing noses. Like on this one. Every time I draw Rampu, it's like kind of like a weird... Um, without the mask especially. Mm, it's because yeah. um, if I was doing Gen Lost Art like this, I drew like the hands covering the face because it's like... It's still kind of like how he has a mask and stuff, so it's mm -hmm. like a little bit like respectful or right, and stuff mm -hmm. of the fact that he wears the mask and everything. So it's just like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, blood generation <laughs> lost. Yeehaw! <laughs> generation lost artist. Insane. How do you draw eyes the same? Copy and paste it. I'm not even oh, gonna Oh, really? Lie. Do you copy and paste your <laughs> yeah. eyes? That's yeah. fair! Yeah! I'm, I am so bad at them. I am so bad at eyes. It's not even funny. Um, or even on, like, ones... Like, this one. These eyes are copy and pasted. I just, like, rotate it. And then I just draw over it to make it look like I drew it. <laughs> but I, I didn't. I didn't. It's a copy and paste. We're hearing all the secrets here. Yeah. This is Lord <laughs> of the Rings fan art that I never finished. But it's Aww. like, this one I drew the separate eye, I think. Maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> or you draw stuff over it, like the glasses. Uh, yeah. Tabos. Yeah. Yeah. Or are those like, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, this is based <laughs> off um, Origins, actually, and the fact that he's a bee. Um, because I like etymology or whatever it's called where you like pin the bugs to mm -hmm, think mm -hmm. and i bought a blue bumblebee and oh. i was like huh i could draw tumbo as a blue bumblebee because every everyone draws him with yellow and i was like be cool if i could draw him with gold oh that's really sweet yeah i didn't even know there were blue bumblebees <laughs> I know, me neither. And then I was on Etsy and I was scrolling through the bugs and I found it. Wow. So it's just like, oh, that was, that was cool. Bees. Yeah. Art. Yeah, copy and paste eyes. I think I copy and pasted for this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Shout out to when I used to have the grid on my digital art i don't remember when i took this off Ooh, why did you do that um i don't remember why i think it was because um i think it was because i used to draw a lot of stuff on one like canvas like this mm -hmm. and i think it was because i was super caught up in making everything fit perfectly in the grid and be super symmetrical that it was like limiting what I was doing so mm -hmm. I just stopped using it and also because there's no grid lines on paper and I never drew grid lines like you're technically supposed to when doing art so <laughs> I see you know. yeah well, someone so asked how long you work on a piece oh that is very complicated because <laughs> there are times where it takes like this took like an hour um this one if this is not 11 hours and 34 minutes wow yeah so very different yeah um, this one did have a lot more to it. There's a lot more detail and stuff. Yeah. So it's like... Ah. So you can see there's more detail. So that's why it took longer. But then... This one took like... Eight hours. Mm -hmm. So like... Everything's like normally over... Hour... Like... 
five hours if mm -hmm. it's not like a doodle. What app do you use? I use Procreate. You draw and on how do... a tablet, right? Yeah, I yeah, I use an iPad um and stuff. Uh curly hair, how do I draw it? Um I I have curly hair, so I kinda just I ca I kinda just like um I don't know. I just do it. I just draw it. I like I don't know how to draw straight hair actually. That's my problem. I don't um so it's just like yeah. Which piece are you most proud of? This one, definitely. Uh so that is not yeah, it's based on- it's a master study of Soul of the Rose by John Waterhouse. And it's really pretty. Um, it- I actually DM'd Snoop and was like, what's- and asked what their favorite art piece was, and then- Ah, no, you know what? It does look familiar. Yeah, Waterhouse, Waterhouse, like, I didn't realize, like, how many pieces of his art were around, like, whenever I was growing up. Because, mm -hmm. like, what's your go-to character to doodle when you're bored? Phil's a Minecraft. Ooh. Yeah. What piece did you take the least amount of time on? Uh, I think... I think it was this one, which was about an hour. Like most of the, most of the time, there's stuff. Actually, there's a, there's a piece of art I did, and it was a doodle that took me like maybe thirty minutes, and it was from Rambo's like security breach stream, mm -hmm. and I it got twenty k on Twitter, and I was just really upset. <laughs> Because no. it was like this 30 minute doodle oh. that like it was my first like like from Rambu also and I was like you've got to be kidding me right now <laughs> of all things I was like oh my god and the next day I posted this which I was like insanely more proud of and it was just like no oh no I was like this is tutorial on the roses I don't know how to draw Three flowers. months. Why a a y y y time sure goes on fast. So, love your streams, Nihachu. Yeah, love, Nihachu. Love. Oh, that's so sad. But that's again like how how it shows like that likes don't really like matter. Like yeah. you can post like crap and get likes, and then you post something you spent like 12, 14, 20 hours on, and it you won't. And there's no like no real reason for that yeah uh, here's like this cowboy one because i was drawing western stuff earlier Aww. also because i i'm from texas and i grew up in a cattle town mm -hmm. so it's like kind of surrounded by this like kind of like western art western like like fashion stuff growing up so i enjoy drawing it oh nice <laughs> What? Okay, I don't know if I want to ask because you have not acknowledged it yet, but what are fiddies? <laughs> I'm really hoping you wouldn't notice. Okay, so I feel like I don't want to be the one explaining this to you. Okay. But <laughs> fiddies are, okay, so there is this one art someone did of Phil's of Minecraft Minecraft character like the MC like the Minecraft skin and it has no clothes on and then Wolfie who is one of Phil's like main artists and like mods drew like made this like bet on stream saying if chat got to like 24k subs or whatever uh -huh. that they would draw fiddies and oh. chat did, so... <laughs> so they... wait. So they drew Finneys, but then... When Phil played Breath of the Wild, um... 
he didn't wear any of the clothes. So it was just Link in like just shorts and like no top. So his titties were out. And so then people were drawing, were just making joke art of like the fitties. Oh, see. And I, I didn't have the strength to do that because I could not. Yeah, that's fair. I could not. I, I could not. I was like, I, I'm not strong enough <laughs> to do this. <laughs> I was like, I can't. So um, there's a part of Breath of the Wild where Link goes into Gerudo and he has to dress as a woman because they don't like men there. And so I just drew that outfit and then people were like fitties. And so uh... my friends in chat want me to show that, but I don't want to. I see. I see. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting what 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 people get up to. <laughs> so it's like it's just become this like joke now. Um if it is explained, yeah. Interesting. You can yeah. So yeah. We love. <laughs> Someone asked how do you do your poses? And I think especially uh, like, is it the one in the green outfit? That one looks really interesting to me on the bottom. This one? Uh, no. Um, the wait. Um, oh, this one. one. Yeah. Yeah. This. Um. So this is actually a redraw. Um, of a music video. Ah. Um. It's called "It's Heart Attack" by Luna. Because I was into K-pop and stuff before MCYT, and my uh, Tubbo like mentioned that he liked the song, and I was like, "Oh, this would be cool." So I just kind of took a scene from the music video and just drew it. Um, so references is really how I get a lot of poses because sometimes it's hard to think of them, sometimes it's not. Mm -hmm. Um, so. References help a lot, and because like my like uh, art teacher for years like kind of drilled into us. Well, like the one year we did like we did a lot of anatomy studies, um, and uh, he like drilled into us drawing from our eyes and stuff. So that's how I get a lot of poses and references and stuff. Mm. Yeah. So or like if it's some though. yeah. Or if it's like stuff like this, I would just draw the cape. I don't know where any of the proportions <laughs> are. It's just cape. Life hack. Draw capes over everything. <laughs> or like this one, it's um an original character that's a selkie. So I just drew this really big coat. That's really cute. I like that. And then just drew the coat. Yeah. I like selkies. So they're really cool. How do you draw slide profiles, dog? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're really hard. They're really hard. Um, they're really scary, also. Um, terrifying. I'm scared of them. I, I don't like what, doing them. What, like, for me would be probably cr uh, scary with side profiles is, like, not to fall into that, like, stereotypical, like, pretty... Like, con like conventionally yeah. pretty side profile, you know, like having yeah. different noses and different cheeks mm -hmm. and different chin. I feel like that like, would be Yeah, like for if I'm drawing someone, it's like kind of hard if I don't know what their side profile looks like. So like for the sniff one, I kind of just guessed mm -hmm. and stuff to like because I have no idea and I couldn't find a photo. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I like, somewhat guessed based off of what Smith's, like, three-fourth profile was. And just shot in the dark, just threw it and was like, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. It looks mm -hmm. nice. I think it, I yeah. think you can see it's Smith. Yeah, I like it. I like this piece a lot. Yeah, it took a while, but it was fun. It didn't. It didn't feel like it took that long because normally, whenever I draw, I can somewhat draw 
like I have to draw like an hour at a time. Mm -hmm. Like this this took like a week to do because I only drew for like an hour at a time. Oh, I see. Um, why is that? Like, why do you like out, just out of um, curiosity? Because we like, you heart S P A M. This is like a really dumb answer. But sometimes I just really hate drawing. <laughs> Like, I can sketch all the time. It's just, I sometimes really hate rendering art. So I just have, like, I have so many just unfinished drawings. Because I just do, I just do, like, the sketch. Five months and then I just leave it. Because I'm like, I don't want to continue this. That's <laughs> So fair. it's like, it's like not even, like, a break thing. It's just, like, I'm just lazy. <laughs> so... Yeah. yeah. That's valid, you know? Yeah, I was just that's wondering. Hard. About, uh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's valid. This one, though, like, took 11 hours, but, like, I was... I just, like, did it all in, like, one or two sittings. Oh, wow. Like, I like I don't know why, but, like, I guess, okay, I streamed it also, which really helps. Because, mm -hmm. like, it kind of forces you to stay on task mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, so it's just like... Ooh. And I guess it also kind of, like, distracts you. You're not just, yeah. like, completely focused on yeah. painting, but you also have chat. Yeah. Yeah. What brushes do you use? I... Okay. I use 6B Pencil now. Um... I use a scrunky brush, which is someone else's brush. I didn't make it. Um, and then this brush was made by my friend. And I just use a bunch of either edited brushes or like added in that I found. Yeah. So that's my brushes. <laughs> so, But 6B pencil is what I use now. A lot. Are you currently planning or slash attending art school? I am not an art student. Fun fact. Um, I'm a history student. Oh. So I did not choose art school, so Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my that was my that was my decision was to spend hours writing papers. Instead of to write. Instead of, yeah. Oh. And I feel like with history, like, it's not even, like, creative work because everything was already written for you, you know? Yeah. I, really like, think stuff to it's, it. it's a fun topic. I'm not gonna lie. Um, especially, I don't know what I want to do with it yet. Um... But it's just like, well, that's a lie. I want to work in museums, but I don't know how far I want to take, like, the school for it. Mm -hmm. Because originally I was like, I'm going to go get my PhD. I'm going to work in museums. I might be a professor, like, stuff like that. But then I got to the college and I got to uni and I was, like, doing my work. And I was like, I really hate this. Because <laughs> um, I like learning. And it's... For most of my life, I've been a history person. Um, and then, like, I... Because, like, I always learn outside of whatever I'm doing in class. So, like, that's how I just like what I'm doing and the areas I'm studying in and stuff. Because mm -hmm. I just, like, out of my own curiosity, like, read this book about this, like, submarine from the Civil War which is super cool. And then like, but I get to school and I have to write these papers and I'm like, I hate writing papers. Aww. So it's just like, uh. Yeah. It's just like, I'm also really bad at writing papers. So it's just like, do I want to spend the rest of my life doing this? And cause like history is like super writing intensive. It's just like, uh. Working I mean, in someone asked maybe art museum. But you probably also have to write in an art museum, obviously. It's like yeah, history. so I, uh, the field that I'm doing right now, one of the classes, is called public history. So that's like museums and stuff, mm -hmm. um, and everything. And 
it's super fun. Uh, but like, it's also weird because like, art is kind of a weird topic for historians to talk about. A lot of them think it's a pointless thing. Or like, the institutions of art museums are really bad. Interesting. Um, and I had, I, we had this huge talk on it in class one day. And I literally, I like, sat down and I was like, I defended art museums. I was like, I'm not gonna let them slander it like this. Of course. Because so like, like, I get, because like, their main issue with it was that it's like, a bunch of like, rich people's donations mm -hmm. and stuff. And the way it's displayed is sometimes an issue where it's like all these collections mm -hmm. and stuff. But the thing I was like, it's still nice to go into because you're seeing this work in person. And it's just a different experience for artists than normal people. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So they're talking about like the modern art museums more than about like stuff like Picasso's work and like... They were, they were talking they were talking about like everything in general and like oh. there are some works of modern art where i absolutely despise them as like a thing um i think the one i can think of which is the only piece of art that i genuinely say i hate is blue panel number two it's just a it's i don't Canvas, it's it? just blue yeah it's just a blue canvas and it's in the met and it like i was walking through i was walking through because i used to live near new york and i went and i was super excited because i was like oh my god all these art museums like i was like art this is gonna be so cool and then i go in and i see like the colors of movement where it's like um, how artists use color and stuff and use like single colors and stuff and it was really cool because some of them had like different brush strokes they had different like values the opacities were different but then I got I turned the corner and I just see this giant canvas that's just color drop blue <laughs> and it angered me I was like why is this why yeah I, I was can like imagine. what is this I was like, what is this? Because everything around it was so cool. And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, th I, I do agree with it to a certain degree, too. That it's yeah. like, there is certain artworks that don't necessarily belong into a museum. But obviously, art is history. And we yeah. have, have had art in every single, like, face throughout history like even mm -hmm. like cavemen did art so i think it's very important that we display that and show that yeah and like art history is super cool mm. like it's a very interesting topic um and like i did i took an art history class mm -hmm. like last semester because it was fun i'm like that's cool and stuff and like i love some modern artists like rothko like Pollock, I like their stuff because I think it was very interesting at the time. Like it was super different from what the traditional like art values were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. It's just like now I feel like it's somewhat repetitive to look at because a lot of it's just like the same, like different color squares. And I'm like, mm. this is fun, but also <laughs> that's true. I wonder if it mm. will ever change and swap over again. yeah yeah i think it is especially with like art now yeah. and like fan art and stuff i mm. think there's like a huge change in what art actually is mm -hmm. and how it's not just a luck like it still is like a luxury item because it's not something like especially if you're commissioning it you're gonna have to pay artists and it's like it's a luxury item because it's not something needed to survive mm -hmm. it's like something you buy out of just general want and stuff mm -hmm. but because people are producing art like uh, for free and like producing great art for free and like posting it art is becoming it's like becoming less of just a single like group of people who are incredibly rich controlling the art scene it's like 
more people now having the freedom to express themselves, and it's super cool. Mm -hmm. True. I, li I really like it. I like it too. And I've, I'm always so interested in like, especially with like the internet and the modern world, like how mm -hmm. it will be in like 10 years, 20 years, yeah. 50 years, you know? So it's, it's very cool. Yeah, it's really exciting because like people are becoming, like there's more people becoming artists and going to art schools and exploring creativity. Mm -hmm. um, but just something that I feel like everyone needs to do because I really hate that like a lot of times now it's kind of the same loop of you go to school for like business and then you leave and then you go into banking it's like really boring and then like there's a lot of artists who like started doing art later in life and they're the greats of art and stuff mm -hmm. and like I like that it's a better it's like more accessible for people and people want to explore this creative uh like medium more mm -hmm. uh, the person talking do you have a touch count yes i do soapapp underscore that's me everywhere <laughs> same user i'm really consistent that's good that's very good mm -hmm. I wish I could have my same user everywhere, but people took it. Yeah, I think I think mine is mine is a really <laughs> like comes from like a nickname and stuff. Mm. So it's like there's not a lot of people who go by soap app anyways. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's so, like it's a cute username, yeah. soap up. Yeah, it it comes from Sopapias, the dessert of so Aww. yeah all right chat do you have any more questions we, yes. we've been kind of rambling about art and yeah. history now mm -hmm. how do you do shades shades um i <laughs> uh it's okay um uh i took this from twig actually um, and using values and using the grayscale to kind of go over. I do, I do this to double check just to make sure everything isn't isn't the same and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but then normally, if I'm choosing like for like the shading color, I take the skin color. I go down and I go over. I make it more red, and then sometimes I desaturate it depending on like what I see it. You got Polish family. I do. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. My family. My family's Polish. <laughs> oh no. They know everything now. Yeah. Shit. They know. <laughs> Careful. Oh god. Oh god. They're coming. Yeah. Polish. Polish people. How do you deal with art block? I cry. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I I I draw until something hits me. Uh, which tubbo art would you like to see again? Someone asked to see I the tubbo art. Yeah, I, I don't know which tubbo art. <laughs> Maybe the time is very close to end. Uh, I uh. Finishing pieces is kind of hard for me because sometimes I just don't like to do it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but sometimes I'm just like, I think of the people of Twitter. <laughs> I'm just like, Twitter wants art. This is how I will do this. I mean, like, it's kind of bad to be like, oh, people want this art for me. But it's also like how I motivate myself because it's like, I'm really bad at finishing things, so I kind of just force myself. Mm -hmm. I kind of like force myself to do stuff by saying, oh, other people want me to do this. Mm, I see. Imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is real. And it's really hard to deal with. I don't even know how to deal with it, really. Um, and like... I'm not that big of a creator, so it's like not 
a super big problem i think right now for me but i know in the future it might be uh, but it's just like you gotta i like for me at least it's like i'm actively going out and pushing and creating art and doing this uh so it's like i like even though i am like oh the people want art for me it's still like i shouldn't hold myself to their standards and stuff and like they're following me for a reason and everything so it's like they have to like me so it's like they have to be i have to be somewhat deserving of it yeah so, exactly and you yeah. put so much work into it like as you said you put hours and hours of work into it so yeah you should at least allow yourself to you know receive a little bit of that praise and yeah you know the likes <laughs> yeah i would show the ribu security breach doodle but i don't know where it is on my ipad because <laughs> i kind Twitter? of uh yes it is it should be yeah well it is because i um i posted it but like uh i can try and find it if you want me to quickly like hide your screen uh, yeah, because I can just go through and stuff. There. Uh, where is it? I should be more organized, but I'm not, <laughs> so. No, I get it. Whenever, whenever I say I'm organized, okay, I found it pretty quickly. Oh. oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, let me know when I can there. show again. Okay, here it is. There it is, chat. The 30 minute doodle. <laughs> because I was like semi watching and like everyone calls yeah. Freddy Fazbear like the father figure. And I thought it was really funny how like in the game they would just show up with the different part. Like you would have to get the different parts of the different animatronics and you just show up to Freddy. <laughs> and then he would just be kind of, he would just be like, um. Where do you have those from? Yeah, and I was like, this would be really funny if he was, like, realized it was from, like, <laughs> his friends, and this just, like, toddler is walking up to you and be like, I have eyes, they're definitely not from your friend, <laughs> like, 100%. They're not, f I didn't kill a person. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> I found them. He's <laughs> like, I found them in the lost and found, trust me. <laughs> Yeah, it's cute though. I do like it. Yeah, it's like of all things though. Twitter, Twitter is a weird place. <laughs> oh yeah, the algorithm is an interesting thing. The, uh, the algorithm. I still don't understand the algorithm. I don't either. Trust. Me. Yeah. Just put it like... out there and hope it works. That's yeah, I, I like. I post. Sometimes I'll post things and I'll just like wake up. And I'll just be like, and I'll send it to like group chats I'm in, mm -hmm. and and then I and then like sometimes I, like my friends like help boost it and stuff. But it's just like sometimes things just go, and you never know what. Yeah. And that's again ooh, where we go back to don't hold your value on likes. Yeah. It it can be completely random. One day yeah, they was... decide, oh, this is cool, and another day they might not even see it. Yeah, it was really weird because like I posted this and it got 20k, and it got like the like from Rambo, which is like super big for me because getting content creator notices like as fan artists is super validating for us. Mm -hmm. um, like even if it is one like, like. First piece of fan art I did for MCYT that was like big and stuff was November 16th art whenever it happened. Mm -hmm. And Phil liked it. And I just remember that happening and it was like the biggest thing for me. And I was like, I'm gonna post some more art now. And like that's like kind of how I got where I am today and like posting art like on the internet was because of this one like like from some content creator. And it was just insane. And then it's like... Oh. And then like, this doing super well. And then like, the art that I spent hours on. Like, 
getting less likes on this was just insane. Uh-huh. Yeah. Really nice. Because, like, yeah. Because, like, this is my first... This is my, like, most liked piece. And the second one is actually Art of You. Oh, really? Which is funny. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't expect that either. And then my sibling told my parents that I had a piece of art that got 15k on Twitter. And they were like, what? And I was like, why did you tell? Why did you tell my parents? Like, why did you tell mom and dad, please? They're like, oh, now you can make a li living out of it. You can move out. Yeah, it's you, like, can, you, you can I, pay our rent. <laughs> Those 15k. Like, I, I don't let them near my Twitter. I, I have like, I talked to my dad about and like showed him my art. But I have like gone in and scribbled out like in like the iPhone like editing my like in my like Twitter Aww. handle <laughs> in the corner because I don't want them knowing it or like oh like whenever I first hit 1k I showed it to my dad and I cropped out anything where you could see my like user I was like look and he was like oh wow that's so cool and I was like look at it I was like uh. yeah. I, I definitely do not make any money from this one. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I mean, how would you make money from Twitter? <laughs> Twitter Twitter should pay me, I believe. I am such a big influencer on Twitter. Hashtag influencer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, are, where, I, is, where is the money, Twitter? You I gotta am, call them out. I, I am the most popular Twitter account. <laughs> so, so true. So true. Twitter is me. I'm Twitter. Super follow. Yeah, Twitter does do the, oh, like, yeah. like, the subscribe thing now, which is kind of funny. Yeah, that's a bit weird. I have never met anyone who has super follows on or who super follows yeah. people. I know, I know people have, like, the dono thing now. Like, I've seen people who have that. But it's mm. just, like... Why would you super follow on Twitter? Like, yeah. that's just what a Patreon is. Like, or Ko-Fi. Like, yeah. like, what? Interesting, though. Yeah, we love Twitter. True. Okay, I think that we are nearing the hour, so... Yeah. If chat has, an, like, one more question, or if you have anything else to say, um, feel free to do so. I don't. Chat, do you have another question? We can take like the last question. Yeah. I think I think after this I'll finish the art. Do you have <laughs> any tips on drawing? How long have you been drawing? Um I've been drawing since the sixth grade. Uh so a couple years. I don't know how many years that is. Thoughts on Willow Twig. Um, who is that person? <laughs> I, I really don't know who Willow Twig is. Wait, you don't do you watch Nikki Nietzsche artist streams? I can't believe uh, it. Wow. They were just here. Do you have a DeviantArt or Instagram? Uh, <laughs> I have an Instagram. So, who's your favorite Twitch mod? Um, Blods. <laughs> nice. All of my, I can see like all of my mods. It's just, it's Aww. really funny. Hello, soap mods. The soap mods. Do you regret sending history? No, I do not. I love it so much. I love history, but like I kind of hate university, and that's the only thing. Mm, that's fair. How long do you still have left? If I may ask, you don't have to answer if you don't want to. I'm in my second semester. Ooh. <laughs> So still a while. So I have I have a couple. Who's your favorite Dream of some Cream Monster? I can't answer that. <laughs> actually, it's probably it's actually Nikki. I do really like your Dream of some Cream character. Aww. Like so much. Thank I, you. Oh, I wish I I, I wish she got like more like space to like you know. I know. Be a I character. was like, yeah. I wish I wish there was more like. I wish there was more chance for, like, your character to be involved in, like, the big lore and yeah. stuff. And, like, I really enjoyed, like, the stuff you did for, like, the prison break and stuff. It was super cool. Yeah, and, like, you. the burning down the burning of the tree. Oh, my God. Thank 
cute. Huge moment. Huge moment. That's sweet. I appreciate it. Yes. Cool. I think um, that's it for now then. Yeah. Uh, do you want to shout yourself out? Um, uh, say your goodbyes. Yes. Um, so, but are you going to pay your mom? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 please please uh, we'll talk about that later um uh anyways uh i'm soapapp underscore on everything uh i'm mainly active on twitter and twitch and i will be going live after this if you guys want to join later so hey. so please i want food i will give you guys some food <laughs> Yeah, so cool. that's who I am. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking your time out today. I appreciate it. I'm sorry again uh, that it took so long and that it had to be postponed so much. I no, 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 you did. <laughs> yeah, I've been. It was really fun, and I really enjoyed doing this. Oh um, God. I was. I was at home. I got lucky because like the first weekend we were gonna do it, I was going home. And then like now it's spring break, so oh, I'm okay. at my house. So I have I have the good Wi-Fi. <laughs> I have the not university dorm Wi-Fi. So that's good. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, I'll talk yeah. to you later then. Um, I yes. hope you enjoy your stream later. <laughs> I will. Yeah. Well, cool. Yep. Thank you again for being here. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I will. Thank you. Bye -bye. It was nice talking to you. Yeah, to you too. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So sweet. God, every time I talk to the artists, they're just so sweet. Um, Chad, I need to quickly take a bathroom break. So I... Ooh, that rhymed. Oh my god, I'm a rhyme pro. Did you hear that? I need to take a bathroom break. What can I say? Before that, I'm going to quickly read out... Uh, all the new subs that we got which is flora thank you so much for the tier one no for the three months tier one um sat mochi thank you so much for the three months too um alex thank you for the five months and alexi thank you for the gifted sub i appreciate it everyone thank you thank you again thank you for everyone for being here and watching and subbing and supporting and writing stuff in chat and even just lurking i appreciate it a lot i'm gonna quickly take a break uh well i'm gonna i'll be right back i'll be back in like two minutes um so i'll make the music a little louder th louder though so you have some music i'll put on this one and then i'll be right back Someday we'll have our last conversation and drink our last cup of coffee
Hello, I'm back. Um, cool. Next person is going to be Pomo, who we are going to call. Um, blah, blah, blah. um thank you, one thing. Nihachu, love. For the sub, I appreciate. Quickly pull everything up again. I always have to like put it down, put it up. Um, yeah, one of them. Thank you so much for the nine months. I appreciate it. Okay. Um. How are you chat doing? Are you well? I hope you're all well. I hope you're all enjoying the stream. All right, Pomo said that they're ready. You're good. I'm glad. Rizzy, thank you for the sub too. Less five than three. Months. All right. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Hi, Nikki. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Okay. I I have had a, I'm, I've just been talking to the other artists on call and it's been very very fun. Ah, oh, I'm glad. That's that 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 really makes me happy. Mhm. Mm yeah, everyone seems so lovely. Yes. Corey is such an am amazing person. Oh my god, <laughs> has such a good time talking to him. <laughs> Corey is so funny. I love Corey. Yeah. All right. Should I uh, should I send you my screen, or should we wait for a minute first? Um, you can you can share your screen for sure. All right. I'm gonna do that. Let's see. Very nice. Hello. Hi, chat. All right. What? So, how shall we do this? Do you want to answer some questions first? Do you want to show your art first? I don't know. Show your progress if you have something yes uh i think i can show my art first and then we can have questions coming in cool sounds good so i have some variety of uh styles here today the first one is one of my favorite pieces uh it's from friday night funkin the game mm -hmm. uh this is i base this off of uh cg 5 song about it i think that like that really pumped me up to do it um, yeah, this is one of definitely the more stylized pieces I've got. It looks and, really uh, cool. I like it. Thank you so much. Uh, I think it, it. I don't know if I can replicate this art style again. You can never draw the same drawing twice, mm. which is a shame. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then actually, let's start from like way earlier on because. Um, if you don't know, I've been on the internet and drawing for myself since 2010, 2011. Mm -hmm. And uh, most of my work before was just a thick, like, like I said, I drew it on a trackpad. So stuff are very muddied and low in resolution. Ooh, okay. So something like this is done on like uh ms paint or something mm -hmm. and i was just like you can see that the smudges are just finger <laughs> smudging on the trackpad uh it was really early on and i didn't have a really good grasp on uh color i think uh this is like also one of the pieces i did not know how to crop uh <laughs> it, it was just it was just very like cutesy um uh, like not very well done because i didn't have the programs i didn't have the utilities to go with my work uh and then i think towards and this is when i celebrate my first 100 followers Aww. on social media and it was um like in 2012 2013 and <laughs> This is done entirely using a trackpad, <laughs> like on the, wow, the that's, on your that's laptop. That's really impressive, actually. I I did a lot of work, actually. If I can pull it up, I have a another piece that I've done from way back, uh, and it's for the movie Rise of the Guardians. <laughs> it was very big back in the day, and. Uh, super old art like i have a folder that's like old art and there's a folder it's like super old art 
Let me pull it up if I can. That's fine. Organized though. I I am a very organized person. Mm -hmm. uh, I like everything saved in folders. Even my there are some artists who like would do like unlabeled uh, layers and like hundreds and hundreds of layers. I, I cannot do that. I don't have the mental capacity to handle Ooh, everything. So you like label your layers. I label my layers. I love labeling my layers. That's impressive. <laughs> you spent I the label... extra time to label it? Wow. I, I label every single one of them. Okay, here it is. I, I, I found it. This is done entirely on trackpad as well. Wow. that Those are <laughs> still really impressive for the fact that they are on trackpad. That's crazy. Yeah, it was on MS Paint, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was using like the the brush tools, like the low opacity ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then um, I think once I received a, uh, I finally received a, a, a tablet. It was a tiny tablet, as a tiny whack of tablet. Mm -hmm. And that's when I finally started doing more work. And putting in a lot more effort into my work so if i can pull it up uh let's pull up the one time i got to 2000k <laughs> it's a big chump Aww. but uh one thing i noticed when i was looking back at these is that i i definitely struggled a bit with coloring i use a lot of primary colors mm -hmm. yeah, to be honest i didn't really use that so artists usually they have like a gradient tool mm -hmm. to like help with like overlaying their images you know such stuff like that i didn't know that such a tool existed so all the gradients i do are just like colored by hand <laughs> oh wow because i am i am a big dummy <laughs> Uh, and I didn't really know how to make things work. So like, here, this is like some of my older works too. And I was working with 72 DPI because nobody ever taught me to do anything else. Aww. <laughs> Until uh, I had to print out my portfolio for a class. And the print came out really, small. really... It was so small, and the, the guy who was printing was like, hey, what's your DPI? And I was like, what's DPI? And he was like, the, <laughs> the quality of your picture. You should be working at 300 instead of 72. And uh, yeah, so from then on, I, I tried my best. But like for a picture like this, you can see that it's still using a lot of primary colors. And I was painting in the gradients because I did not know like i said that gradient tools existed mm -hmm. <laughs> um and then let me pull up some what is this oopsie yeah so like as so here are some of my more recent works from then on i have this is when i was in college i drew this mm -hmm. and then it was just two guys dancing from like a show that i really like Mm -hmm. uh, and this is when I started really being very careful with playing with proportions. I struggled for a while because uh, my work was pretty realistic before then. And it was also like a little bit anime. And what happened was when you apply to a college, usually they don't want you to have uh, anime influence art style. Mm -hmm. it, it, like, of course, I think that things have kind of loosened up since then. Mm -hmm. But I was very much like bent out of shape and I kind of forced myself to go for a more realistic approach. Yeah. Uh, and let me pull up one that's more like it, where the proportions are just kind of like this. This is old. Oh, excuse the language. This is this is an oh, OC, um, but yeah. So like stuff like this, where the faces and the proportions are actually pretty stiff, because I was forcing myself to go for a, a more, like I said, a more realistic approach that would appease the professors and the people who were viewing my portfolio, because they would they usually back then they would think that. Uh, 
uh, cartoony art styles are not something that people would look for, mm -hmm. uh, which is false. Uh, as I grew up, I kind of noticed that. Uh, and so I worked myself into being able to do cartoony stuff. And as time goes by, I kind of like, I cleaned this up. This is one of my favorite pictures. I clean it up, and here is an art comparison. Ooh. This was done in 2019, and just like a couple weeks ago, I redrew it uh, to become like what my art style is now. Is I think I'm I'm very proud of this piece because it's kind of like cumulative of what I've learned mm -hmm. throughout the years. Uh, the proportions are very nice. Uh, the, it's still very cartoony, but I there's just you, more detail into Hachi it. You love. I, I learned how to draw and emphasize movement using clothing without adding too many unnecessary details. This is one of the things that I learned mm -hmm. in school. Is uh, One of my professors taught us that you're usually, and when it comes to realistic art, the way that shirts and clothing wrinkle can be very excessive. Mm -hmm. But for animation, it's needed. To, uh, it, things needed to be a little bit more uh, simplified in order for movements to convey through. So even in this old, old picture that you see have like a very clean style already, there's still a lot of excessive, uh, like unnecessary lines mm -hmm. and wrinkles on the clothes. And uh, that's why when I finally drew this, you can see I took a lot of the lines out. Like I actually added in like some sleeves hanging off too. Added in jagged edges on the jeans. I added in the details of the shoes. But overall, it seems a lot cleaner somehow. I don't know why. I think that this is one of the pieces I'm very proud of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I mean, you should be. Mm -hmm. Especially going from like then when you like did just mm. the just sketch basically and then you yeah painted it now thinking about how it would be animated yes um uh, it proportions too i learned a lot about anatomy mm -hmm. and how the how the body would move and i really i really uh enjoyed that mm -hmm. so bringing back to this piece um like this is a drawing that I was drawing, Didn't doing you the just entire stream. Start that. I, I I finished it. I actually posted it on Twitter. Oh wow! <laughs> to, in the middle of the stream, I was like, I'm done with this piece. I'm gonna post it on Twitter now. Um. Nice. So when I was reading in the with the other artists, I was actually drawing. Uh, this is called line of action, mm -hmm. like gestures, where with a single curved line you show off the movement of the body and the anatomy like the anatomy does not have to ne necessarily be correct it's just need to be able to emphasize the movement in the gesture as the body is going through motion so like stuff like this it, it, this is really good practice too when you're going into animation or any sort of kind of like cartoony illustrative works is you need to be able to convey the dynamic uh, like the of the body the way that the hips swivel the way that the shoulders move mm -hmm. to kind of like emphasize the personality of the character even when it's just simple gestures it's like it's kind of like a caricature so it, i i i'm very influenced by Franco Belgian comic books. Nikki, did you read those before? No. It's uh stuff like let me pull up reference images. Mm -hmm. Um if you need me to hide the screen, let me know. No, no, it's fine. I can okay. just like copy and paste. Ah, yeah, true. Uh from like Google and uh I, I think that these are very popular in Europe and it influenced my country too, because <laughs> I was my country was colonized by the French. Oh, uh, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, yay, colonialism. <laughs> uh, uh, but 
It's uh, like stuff like this. If I can pull up images, copy, create new, like Lucky Luke ah, and yeah, of course. Oh, so, <gasps> I love Asterix. I love the Asterix comics. I actually yes. do know those. <laughs> <laughs> so you can actually see some the way that I draw how it how it's influenced by this mm -hmm. uh, a little bit, especially in like uh, this picture, the, the way that the nose is done, especially, mm -hmm. or like the little eyes. They, I, I love these comic books so much. And because French comic book artists really use silhouette and gestures to their full potential. Mm -hmm. So I think that it's like a really, this is like a big part of my childhood being inspired by these people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I'm just going to exit out. And uh, let's see, let's pull up some other stuff. Uh, beside the the more like cartoony stuff you've seen from me, uh, I also have uh, let's this. I think you've probably seen this too. I have. This one is so cute. <laughs> yeah, it it is. It's so. It's still like Cheshire like. It's not comp It's very like chibi in a way. But I I enjoy being able to do very dynamic poses. Mm -hmm. They're fun, and uh, yeah, like this one is inspired by Calvin and Hobbes comic books oh. in uh, in America. Have you seen that, Nikki? Before I think so. The faces look very very familiar. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a huge comic book nerd. I I love. I love being able to kind of capture the characteristic of hey, a person Nikki, I'm so and happy just to be here for over a year. shrink them down to like such a cutesy design. Mm -hmm. One thing that I tend to worry about is that uh, there are artists who can do very illustrative works, very beautiful digital paintings. Mm -hmm. And I'm here, I'm not really, I would say that I don't have a lot of time to work on those aspects. Mm -hmm. So what I do instead is I produce stuff like this, which is actually uh, not for me, at least it's very efficient when it comes to producing fan art. Like <laughs> it's a little dark to put it that way, but it does save time to be able to draw something that I want to draw, but also cut costs when it comes to maybe like, I don't have to paint as much. I don't have to put in as much time doing renderings mm -hmm. and such like that. You know, I mean um, that's fair though. You know, mm -hmm. and it's just like I I really like these kinds of styles. Like I love the li like really big and like as you said like illust illustrative. I can't say that word. Oh, like, like comic book like. <laughs> yeah, like I like those. I like the I like I like the ones that you do. And then you know I feel like both of like the the kinds of drawings i guess are like on mm -hmm. on a scale you know and they're they're both really good and in their own way yeah yeah i i do agree and I you think also that put a lot of work into it and you've al already put <laughs> a lot of work into learning how to draw like this thank you very much <laughs> of course <laughs> i don't think you need to feel bad i i no, it's not necessarily bad, it's just there's a, a want to be able to do more than I have right now. Mm -hmm. It's just there is very little time, I guess. Mm -hmm. And this fandom is filled with extremely creative people. And sometimes I, I do want to, I do get myself a little swept up. Uh, <laughs> people are saying like, don't compare yourself to other artists, but exactly. you do lose it. You do lose it a bit sometimes from time to time. It, it's not... It's fine to feel a little jealous as long as you learn from it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm. So it, it drives you rather than shuts you down. Mm -hmm. um, here's another big piece. <laughs> Just moving on. Uh, from MCC. So we got the yellow yaks. I think this is when I did a full shift from one art style to another. So the previous one, I think a lot of people knew me by was this very kind of bobble-headed design. Thank you for being amazing, Nikki. Where Less than three. it's uh, stuff like this would be shown more, I suppose. Where, and Ooh, then yes. I did 
Yeah, so this is a very iconic design. This is what I was talking about when it comes to having an iconic art style mm -hmm. that people can look at and search for. And then uh, towards, I think, at the beginning of, or maybe like towards the end of last year, I started to get really tired of it. it it's fine when you get... I think artists should know that it's okay to feel bored or tired of the same thing, the, the things that you've been drawing and you want to do more. It's okay to experience negative feelings as long as you utilize them successfully in order to learn something new. Mm -hmm. So I did I 180, like I, like from this to that, you know, it's it, it's fun. It's fun to like use, it's still sort of the same the way that maybe I draw the eyes or maybe I draw the heads, but it, at the same time, it's a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. Mm -hmm. I, I, this is one of my favorite pieces, just because the hands I drew in this one are so good. I just they want to are. Pull them <laughs> uh, I call them. Uh, my friends call them French fry fingers because they're all kind of squared off at the end. <laughs> it's kind of like French fries. <laughs> True, actually. Uh, yeah, but it, it, it's 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 fun. I think that being able to discover new ways to draw the same things it, it, it adds like a, a refreshing level to what you already have mm -hmm. um it, i i i like to push my own boundaries i like to draw things that i don't usually draw it's one of my favorite things to do is to be able to um experiment with art styles from before and after so there, here are some more pieces that would not fit anywhere else because i these are fun but they're very hard to replicate i think that's the that's the main problem <laughs> um let me see i can pull some i really stuff like up. this one though i like how you use different just different shades of yellow i like the way you color thank you so much yeah. It, it's yeah it's a a little bit flat yeah but it it makes it so easy to look at i think that's the reason why yeah let's see if i can pull up some more stuff because i have stuff that you've probably seen and stuff you probably have not seen <laughs> uh like uh this like so these are gonna be the mainstays i'd say when it comes to art diversity and like having different styles to what you have so this is uh, an older piece from long ago. <laughs> long uh, ago. And it's a long ago piece. But, uh, and then, you know, I would move on to this one, Aww. which is a completely different work. It, it Using completely different brushes and techniques. This one is also fun. I'd uh -huh. like to do it again. Sometimes I would just go back to my art and be like, man, maybe I should have gone with this direction. <laughs> for my career. <laughs> um, this one was uh, a tribute piece, I think, at the end of Dream SNP season. I don't know what it wishes say you burning the Laman trees, the end of season one or season two. Is there even seasons? <laughs> I don't even know. That's a good question. I think maybe season two because Will was already a ghost. If we uh, go after yeah. seasons, I don't think there's mm -hmm. like official seasons, but I think, yeah. Yeah. Um, somebody asked in the chat, was that Ninjago? And I say, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite shows. Oh. <laughs> you must have been so happy when, when Jack mentioned it on the Origin That's the reason stream. why. <laughs> that's the reason why I drew it for him. I was like, he said it. Now I have to draw it. It has to be done. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's one of my favorite shows. It's just like, I embrace being able to look back at my childhood and be like, "Hey, that's that's a really cool thing," and I think people should talk more about it. Mm -hmm. It goes with Let me, me just being in, uh, animation, in the animation industry too. Is that yes, there are many things that would discourage you from continuing, but so many amazing shows have been done because people genuinely love doing the things they do, mm -hmm. and it's very worth it. To keep going, you know? And, and here's an, another completely different art style. Which... This is uh, when Dream got put in prison. Uh, 
So there's that. Ooh. I actually referenced this actually, Nikki. If you're looking to kind of like learn gesture works, mm -hmm. there's an entire Twitter that has just 3D models to reference from. Oh. So I think uh, let me pull out the actual uh, file of this so I can take out the layers because there's a they do it in different angles. So there there are two people hugging and they would be hugging like from a top down view from like a uh, worm's eye view, from behind, from the side. What is you know. what is the Twitter name called? Uh, the handle? It's a it's a Japanese account. I need to find mm. it because like it, I followed it for a while, but that will take me some time digging through mm. to mm, to fair. really see it. Uh, but yeah, let me pull this up. This is just me playing with the <laughs> yeah. So here's the ref of this. Uh, so this is actually the ref. Oh. And it's okay using refs. This is what I want you to know is that it's important for you to actually reference. And a lot of people like don't feel shy about referencing words mm -hmm. as long as you credit them properly. Mm -hmm. So this is what I use and this is what came out of it, you know? Like, it's not completely 100% true to mm -hmm. the work. I did add some flair to it, but it's still, like, it's still something that you shouldn't feel shy about doing. So, there's that. And, uh, yeah. And see if I can pull out. So, uh... I think, oh, here's a cute one. I never Aww. posted this. I should have posted this. I yes. just view everybody in different styles. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah, in, in like different fashion senses. I think that I I had a lot of fun with this one too. It's been a long time. Oh, here's a fun one, Nikki. It's a ghost. Oh, <laughs> a ghost. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. This is. Do you know like those pictures of people like getting their pictures taken in a haunted house? Yeah. Mid screen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think that like I've always wanted to have like, a, maybe a video idea of like seeing everybody go ghost hunting mm -hmm. at a haunted place. I know that Jack tried to do it with uh Tubbo. Tubbo, yeah. 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 And was it Scott who was with them too? So yeah, that was fun. They were not scared. I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to see them scream. You know, I have a, I have an uh, an unedited uh, footage of going ghost hunting in one of the most haunted hotels in the UK with the girls. <gasps> Never posted it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. That would be Maybe so one cool. day. <laughs> Maybe one day. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. <laughs> I think cool, I. I, I I'm the type of person who enjoys ghost hunting as a theory, but will never practice it. Mm. <laughs> I love this picture. Can you send this to me? I want to show this to Jack. Yes, I, yeah, I, I'll send you the link if that's all right. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, I can. Let's see, because the file itself is actually really large. I have a smaller version that I posted on my Twitter from like way, like way long ago. Uh. I'm just scrolling forever. I gotta I'm post just... it. Chat! <laughs> <sighs> I might. I have to rework on it though, because I wasn't happy with the edit. Chat. Aww. Uh, who did you go with, if you don't um, mind spoiling? I went with G, Lexi, and Rihanna. Ooh. Yeah, we were supposed to also go with Puffy, with Kara, but she didn't have time, sadly. Aww. But I want to do those things more. It actually was quite fun. So maybe you'll see Nikki ghost hunt vlogs. Soon. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you the type to get scared often, like easily? Yes. I because <laughs> but, but, but only only because I put myself into this too much. Like I, I I it's the same with films. The reason why I cry in films is because I'm I like put myself into this too much. Cause I'm not scared of ghosts usually. Like I'm like mm -hmm. if they exist okay good for them but leave me alone you know but yeah. when i'm there and when i know oh this could be haunted i get so scared thank yeah. you yeah yeah i sent you the the file so there's that 
So, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm the type of person. Uh, there is a when my friends and I did a Halloween movie marathon. They had like a stack of DVDs from least scary to scariest, Ooh. and the least scary is Coraline, the movie. And I watched that one, and then I played Stardew Valley for the rest of the marathon. <laughs> oh, I don't get scared with horror movies. That's a that's one good thing. Mm. I love horror movies actually, but like in real life, no, thank you. Or like video yeah, games, I... no, thank you. <laughs> it's because you're like actually experiencing it exactly. from your point of view. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I'm I'm a total scaredy cat. Like <laughs> I don't mess with spirits and ghosts, but I like to hear it from people. I'm that type of person who listens to those things. Um, here's another one that I'm very proud of. This is for Vault Hunters. Uh, it's uh, it, this is a vault god. So, uh, there's a, a four vault gods, and this is one of them. I had an entire series. Of this, and this is actually the first time I drew fabric like this, because mm -hmm. usually it, I don't draw things as detailed and like as sheared, mm -hmm. as sheer fabric as this. So, it's it in uh, I. This is like probably one of my favorite pieces in terms of complexity, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Very uh, nice. I like the colors. The pearl, the pearly, the pearly fabric. I'm just a big fan of that. I don't know if I can replicate it. <laughs> it's so hard to do. <laughs> There's a lot of things that you do and you get it done once and people are like, yeah, now do it again. And you're like, no, uh, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't, that's impossible. Um, if this is probably like one of the picture, like the, uh, the pieces of work that have the most amount of layers. Mm -hmm. on it because each layer of the dress as you can see right here is its own layer and uh i of course i labeled every single one of them because oh, I'm a i can't see those actually <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> uh if i can pull out uh, uh pull up this file i also have like all my files saved like with each other Damn. like it's i mean all it's smart stuff. it's actually good you know <laughs> so i'm not like oh that's crazy because it's smart this is how it should be <laughs> this is how it should be but a lot of people don't do it i feel like sometimes i feel like i'm the odd one out for doing <laughs> that <laughs> uh but yeah like if you can see right here so like i have like a vintage book effect i got like the text oh yeah this is like the layering on the text and this is the text itself so i take out and you can see like a very hint of like overlay on top uh -huh. of it and like line color stars highlights <laughs> sparkles <Wow. laughs> shadow noise lace dress dress five dress four dress three dress two <laughs> dress one wow that's so <laughs> crazy i mean it's cool yeah. cool crazy go crazy <laughs> and the colors like and text halo details velar the, the sketches itself so everything is labeled it keeps me organized i will not be able to survive if not for organizing my layers it would take me so much mm. to do and i yeah. think um i think the final pieces that i want to show uh Let's see. Uh, here is, where is it? So this is another piece of early work that I'm doing using this as a comparison, mm -hmm. because this is when I st first kind of started going into a more cartoony style, and the proportions here, when you look at it at a glance, it's fine, mm -hmm. but for me, I can spot so many mistakes from. Yeah, I name the layers. <laughs> I do, but uh, uh, from the from like the elbows right here. So usually, when you press your elbows against yourself, they should land around your rib cage, and then your arms would hang around the like over the crotch area. So this, the elbows are too low, and if I were to straighten his arm out, 
it would hang too low from his body. Oh yeah. Which is which would not work well, you know. So um, this is something that comes after this. So this is like a year or so afterwards, and how much my progress has gone Aww. compared to before. So like it, it, you can see it's the same style, especially if I were to compare these two, which mm -hmm. has mostly the main, the same body types. Mm -hmm. Then you can see like the progress that I've made when it comes to designing the characters, the proportions, taking out unnecessary lines uh, to simplify the gestures and making the silhouettes work a lot more. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, this is probably... I peaked at this point and it's all <laughs> downhill from here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Real quick, I yeah. just got a raid. So, hello, Raiders! Mm -hmm. I don't know who it is, so name Hi, your Raiders. streamer. Chat, name your streamer. And welcome to the stream. We're doing art streams currently with Pomo. Pomo is showing us their art. And then you are very welcome to ask questions. Um, yes. Very nice. Yeah. I Tuki, think, Tuki, uh, thank you. This is, like, this is the last piece that I show. Uh, so it's just, this is what I was talking about, gestures and proportions. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a fun tip. If you ever want to draw two people hugging, mm -hmm. the proximity of their shoulders is the same as the proximity of their affection and relationship. So Ooh. the closer your shoulders are to one another when it comes to hugging, the more affection and the closeness shows so this is just like straight up like oh my gosh i cannot believe you survive yeah sort of sort of affection you know and it, it goes the same too with kissing and like any kind of gestures that show affection the closeness at the shoulders really highlights the distance in the relationship Wow, um, that is so cool. I never heard that. But it's like something that it. I learned online. It's yeah. true, though. <laughs> is it? Yeah. So, uh, uh, here's one that I really like that I never got to finish. It's just like this really cute piece of, uh, you can see like my progress when mm -hmm. it comes to making it. So, I actually have a ref here, which is actually very fun. So, here's the reference image, mm -hmm. you know, right here. And then I did a sketch on top. So this is the sketch. So I kind of narrowed it down to more simpler proportions that would fit the character designs. Mm -hmm. And then I would just uh, do my line art over it. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, you can see it's very fun to like be able to do these things. Yeah. Aw, that is so cute. I keep saying that I don't have anything else to show, but then I keep pulling out. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You, you 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 do whatever you want, whatever you feel like. Yeah, yeah. I just have so many things. Like I, 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 because I have an entire folder that's labeled old art, and then inside that folder is older art. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> and let's see. I actually have that. Uh, yeah, super old art. I'm not gonna pull that up because that's just filled with things that I will never show to the light of day. Um, and yeah, uh, Nikki, would you like to see some animation? I would love to see some animation. <laughs> so in order to not completely DOS myself, uh, I will show some stuff that is not completely shown on my portfolio online. Um, let's see. So I said that I was a... Uh, I uh, animator and I graduated and I went to school and everything. I'm gonna close the stream for you and then I'm gonna open it in another one. All right, I can just let me know when mm -hmm. to show the screen again. Yes, uh, I'm just pulling things up. Let's see. Yeah, chat. Pomo's oh, animations my... are very yes. cool. Yes. No, Thank I, you I very see, much. Yeah. Uh, let's see. This is very loud. I'm gonna switch up. And then, gosh, this is a little bit fiddly because, uh, let's see, movies and TV. 
Uh, I'm gonna share my screen with you. I need to pick the app. Uh, screens. Probably this one. So I'm just gonna share my screen. Mm. Can you see it? Can you see the character um, on the screen? Yes. Okay. So this is lip syncing. Uh, I think that Chris in the last time did talks briefly about it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna also kind of gloss over a lot of the details and animation and people attention. So this is from school. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing that people would tend to forget is the emotion that goes along with the lip sync. Mm -hmm. And how the how the word is enunciated and how the mouth would so like for here's a tip for sounds that are when your lips are touching like f's and m's and mm -hmm. s's hold for two for twice as long as the other sound because you need to be able to see those mm -hmm. i don't know why it's a rule but i think that it's usually applied just so that um uh, people can really understand what the word is and how it's being enunciated. Mm -hmm. And also, don't forget, like, put some personality in that mouth because it's your character. I you very know? much appreciate have fun with you it. Don't just have something hard. that's very standard. I understand that it takes a lot of time to be able to, like, you know, like, that. this is, like, a very sarcastic gesture that you see right here mm. he looks like you know like mm -hmm. in like in like children's or teen shows like mm -hmm. the the i guess not villain but like the the snobby guy yeah, yeah like know? the snobby rich kid yeah yeah, yeah. you know like have the tongue stick out don't don't like feel feel free to be able to like kind of like Play go with the gestures and the movement. Like, go all out. That's the thing. Uh, let me pull out some other stuff. So, that's um, that. But I also have, like, my animation folders. I have so many things. Oh, here's one. I think, Nikki, have you seen this one? <laughs> I have not. I want to see it, though. Made H-bomb. Hello. Oh, my God. Hell yeah! <laughs> My favorite character on the Dream SMP. I, I want him to come by so much. Me too. Everyone else who used my favorite Dream SMP person, it's made H bomb. It's made H bomb. <laughs> um, let's see. I have uh, here's the Burning Hill, which is your animation. <gasps> oh, I love that one. I. I I actually did like I run I grabbed your skin and I actually like shaded them wow. in online just so that I can get the palette right so like pictures like this would exist. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was very fun working on this one. Oh, here's the one where like you and H bomb are sitting. We're sitting. So like I did like I have that yeah. as my not current phone background, but for my old phone that's still my Aww. background. Thank mm. you. And um I think this is like one of my. This is for uh, a reanimated project mm -hmm. that I did. So this is uh, Ninjago reanimated. It's still my favorite thing. Uh, this is the original scene. Wait, does it? Is it DMCA to show a scene of the movie? Uh, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't hear the audio anyways. Okay. So... Oh, you cannot hear the audio. No. Oh. I darn. thought that was. I thought that was wanted. Oh, uh, no, that you can show the audio like I the because it, it's probably not DMCA. So mm -hmm. the, the things I'm showing right yeah, now are not. Fine. Yeah, but here is me doing a lip sync over the rough animation. Oh, is that how you start with it? Yes. So I do gesture. So like I it's like an animatic at first. Uh, a lot of people mistake animation for animatics. Animatics is the preliminary stage before animation, which contains key poses and keyframes. 
but not necessarily the animation itself. Animation is when you actually add in the frames. So, like, this is when I cleaned up the, the syncing of the mouth with the rest of the animation. And then uh, here is the final result that you can see. Uh, so these are actually very simple character designs mm -hmm. for a reason is that I don't have the time. This is when I was working at the same time as I was animating. But uh, it's okay. Like Sometimes it's good to cut corners to be able to get a product out fast. Mm -hmm. So this is actually, this is the second version. The first version took me so long to do. And it was because it was, um, I was hand animating it. The thing about Toon Boom, as, an, uh, as a, a program, is that the lines are vector art. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to repeat. Them. Yeah, I can just move them. Versus this, which is completely hand animated on Clip Studio Paint. Ooh, so like every frame you have to like just individually redraw, redraw it. Wow. Yeah. It hurts. <laughs> I believe that. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, you you have to have a lot of stamina as um as an animator, and this is why I usually when people say that they want to go into animation, I want them to understand the risks they're taking in doing so, and like they understand what they have to do mm -hmm. to 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 like you know do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Uh. Yeah, but that's all I want to show. I'm going to turn off my screen oh. now so that you can, uh, uh, you know, like if anybody wants to ask questions, I can pull other things up for you. All right, chat, does anyone have any questions? Let's see. Program, which programs do you use? Uh, which, I use um... Clip Studio Paint. Uh, and Toon Boom. Clip Studio Paint for my art. Uh, it's EX, so it actually has an animation function. I can sh actually show you the screen for that. If you don't mind me, I'm just pulling things in and out. Uh, so for Clip Studio Paint, if you get the EX version, which is, I think, twice as expensive as the Pro, mm -hmm. it comes with animation. So if I were to have new... I can actually go to this function that's pop out. I don't think that you can see it, but no. it actually is uh, like a pop-up window that shows an animation screen, and I can customize the uh, the size of the animation too. So this is what it's going to look like. I go to mm -hmm. window, and I pull out timeline, and it gives me oh. animation cells that I can work with. I see right here. Uh, and the fun thing about Clip Studio is if I, so this, each layer is its own self, mm -hmm. but that means that if you were to add another layer on top of it, so for example, to shade or to add color, mm -hmm. it will be treated as another cell rather than its own thing. So if anybody wants to animate on Clip Studio, the most important thing is to turn this layer right here oh we can't you see go those. yeah you, you you can just create folder and insert layer when you right click and it will insert it will turn that layer into a folder instead and this is where you can stack images and have the sketch be you know like all on one frame mm -hmm. you know and then like, maybe i would add like something like this on mm -hmm. <laughs> and then like down here I can add a new animation cell, and that's another frame. And uh, let's see, this is onion skin. So like, I can like be like, whoa, on one layer and like on this one, and it would actually go in between. So like, oh, oh, okay, okay, that's cool. The only uh, drawback for using this program is uh, it does have you can add in audio but the exporting audio is very difficult 
Mm -hmm. uh, along with the animation. But I've done some animation using this program before. Uh, uh, I've done the anima animatics. I've done like just like simple gifts. I think are the best best suited for this program. Mm -hmm. y if you want to do anything that's bigger, you're definitely going to need like an actual animation program to work, work with, not just uh, like this. This is very useful. I'd say if anybody wants to start out, definitely go for Clip Studio. Is the best where you can do. Here, this is a... Yeah, because you can also just mm -hmm. easily just draw on it only. Yeah. So this is uh, a little animation that I did just using Clip Studio. Mm -hmm. So if I scroll down here, I can you can see the, uh, the way that I spaced out. The, oh. uh, the little gestures. And it's re it's really fun. You can add in like this is the foreground layer too, so it blocks things out. It, it's fun because you have all the brushes of the of the program at your disposal mm -hmm. compared to something like Toon Boom, where you cannot import brushes from any other programs. Cosio can also import Photoshop Let's brushes, do. so that's a plus on me. <laughs> plus for me. Uh, but yeah, this is the program that I work the most with. Aww. Oh, sorry. I'm still this little character is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Every time I see cute things, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Um, but that's cool. What uh tablet do you use? I use a company issued tablet. So it's a Wacom mm -hmm. twenty two inches. To, uh, screen, so it's more like a screen than it is a, uh, a tablet. And it's Toon Boom, so cartoon and boom as in the sound effect. Mm -hmm. Extremely expensive program because it's being used by um, like all sorts of studios. Mm -hmm. If you cannot invest in it, please do not. But I, the program that I use is being paid for by my company. And same thing with the util like the screen that I have right now. So if I were to quit this job, they will take away all of my oh, no. stuff. <laughs> oh no. I keep on keeping on. Um, <laughs> that's that's like whenever you think about quitting your job, you're like, oh, but my, my programs, what do I do without them? They the, My job is paying for my animation programs. They're paying for my Adobe Suite. And I'm very thankful that they're doing mm. that because I do not have to lift a single finger. Uh, but... Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's very fun. Yeah. Aww. Is there a what was the question? <laughs> uh, it was about the program you use. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there any other question? Um, right now we have an unofficial fill raid. So hello, 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 fill raiders. Um, I hope hello, fill stream raiders. With Phil. Uh, we're doing artist streams right now, which means I take artists from the community and I ask them questions and I let them show off their art and talk about art and I let you guys ask questions so if you guys have any questions mm -hmm. feel free to send them in since it's Phil Raiders I'm gonna pull up the the only piece of Phil's of fan art I have on my <laughs> <laughs> Aww. hello Phil's art Phil's chat <laughs> let's see huh. mm -hmm. Oh, they want to see the animation with audio. Um, I think the way that we we, we would need you to only stream the animation instead of your w window or like your, mm. your screen. I think I will have to pull up VLC then, if that's oh, the case. I can okay. do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, quickly yes. go. I was just know. using a, uh, a Windows program, so it will not show, but I can actually load in a bunch of videos that we can grab all right yeah let me do that for you did you guys have a good stream yeah. with phil everyone yes um yeah good 
Okay, I'm gonna show my screen for that instead. Let's see. Change windows. So I'm gonna show VLC. Should be good now. Is it showing? Yep. Let me quickly turn off the mic. There we go. So this is the lip sync. Uh, at first. Look, this is serious. If we don't turn big so that we can use the spinjitsu, we don't stand a chance against the Grundle. Well, what about me? I know spinjitsu. Look, this is serious. If we don't turn big so, oh, sorry, so this that is, we can use the spinjitsu, it just like goes all in yeah. one. Stand a chance That's cool, against though. The yeah. Look, this is and serious. You can see if we don't the turn progress. big so that we can use the spinjitsu, we don't stand a chance against the Grundle. Look, this is serious. If we don't turn big so that we can use our spinjitsu, and then I start we don't stand a chance characters. against the Grundle. And then uh, the final, the final one I'm gonna show is the finalized piece. Look, okay. this is serious. If we don't turn big so that we can use our spinjitsu, we don't stand a chance against the Grundle. Well, what about me? I know spinjitsu. Aww. So you can see the audio. The audio is also like a lot. A lot crisper. It's because I have to export it. Toon Boom is not really good at exporting audio, right? So you export the video and then you graph the audio in using uh, Adobe After Effects or other programs to mm -hmm. work with. But yeah, that's uh, that's my stuff. Ooh, that's cool. Mm hmm. Sorry, I'm reading chat. I'm seeing if there's <laughs> anything. Among Us floor. Somebody spotted it. Somebody spotted Wait, the Among Us Wait, there was an Among Us floor? I didn't spot that. Look, Wait. this is serious. If we don't I'm gonna turn pause it. so that we can use the okay, okay, okay. we don't stand a chance against the Grundle. <gasps> oh, yeah! Wait, that is so cool. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, my God. I love that. The Among Us floor. <laughs> the Among Us floor. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the floor vented, so true chat. <laughs> uh, somebody asked for the hand movement frame by frame. Ooh. So here, I'm going to pull it up for you. So the hand peeks out from the left side of the screen. Pauses. Points. So you can see like there's a big skip. Don't be afraid of such a distance. The more, the closer the hands are, the closer the frames are to each other, the slower it will be. So that's another tip for animation. For big gestures, you want to be able to kind of like uh, show like you don't, you're not afraid to use smear frames and stuff. Mm -hmm. So this one is just the hand itself repeating the same frames. Which is fine. Uh, people do that all the time. Being able to reuse fame is very important. Mm -hmm. Here is, so this is very fun. Do you see the tip of the finger right here? Yeah. I I kind of make it so that it kind of presses against the air before it goes forwards. So it adds like a little bit more of a motion. Mm -hmm. And then as you pull it back, you see that the, the tip of the finger is the last one to leave. So mm -hmm. as we're right here, and then the fist pulls back first and then the finger goes mm -hmm. along with it and then the finger rests so as a when you play it it would uh let me mute this do you see it, it has like a really yeah. nice follow through motion There we go. Oh, that's cute. That's good. With it, when it like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, it feels really good. Yeah, yeah. And then fist. Here's a little smear. You see right here. Mm -hmm. And then a little more smear, like. The thing is, smear frames can only be used, can only be seen once on screen. You don't hold a smear frame for too long because then, because then, it would be too obvious. Right. Smear frames should only be used, like, not they should not be used liberally. They should only be used when there's like a, a really quick, quick movement. movement. Yeah. Yeah. And 
and uh, the video kind of pauses, which is kind of weird. But it's supposed to kind of... There, there you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. So this is in full without the voice to distract you from. Mm -hmm. So you see how everything works together. There you go. Wow. How long does this take you? Um... Honestly, I cannot remember because I was working on this over in little pieces over uh, like a long period of time because I was working on other projects. And I, like I said, I do have a, a, like a full time job IRL. Mm -hmm. So it take, it eats up a lot of my time to be able to do projects like this. This is probably like one of the biggest one I've done mm -hmm. in a while. Fair, fair. Yeah, that's good, though. I really mm -hmm. like it. I'm always yeah. very impressed by just the movement in animations. I know Sadist, she does like mm -hmm. really, really good movement too. Yeah, Sadist is uh, honestly super inspiring. Uh, I think that Nihachu when love Nihachu we had that uh, stream where Sadist is one of the is one of people there. Mm -hmm. There's uh, people who are asking about if she's thinking about going into the industry. Yeah, and I think that I think that she definitely would make like have a spotlight in the industry because already so many animators in the industry are like looking at her and mm -hmm. like scouting her and like you know like being like hey what you're doing is absolutely awesome even if it's just for fandom mm -hmm. i think that it's unfortunate that um the movie industry is so far removed from what fandom culture is it's still for us fandom culture still comes with a kind of distaste in your mouth and i understand why it's due to there's a lot of um toxic behaviors that are very apparent in fandom culture but that doesn't discount the many creatives that were working and doing all these amazing work for free by the way Saturn is doing this stuff for free yeah so like <laughs> true Go and support her. In the latest video, there's a link to a donation to help with flooding in her country. Like, you guys should support artists no matter what. I think that it's very important to do so. Um, mm -hmm. I'm in the position where I have a full-time job. I'm being paid well. I, I don't really need that. But if there's any artists, especially if you guys can afford this, this is very important. If there are artists you, th you think are doing commissions and they're undercharging themselves, always give them a tip. That's very important. It will make their day. Mm -hmm. I promise you. Very true. <laughs> I make a point of giving people tips. Well, it's usually mm -hmm. like, how much do you want for this? They're like, if they give me an uneven number or if it's like, mm -hmm. if I if I think it's like for more, I always either round up or I give like, yeah, money on it. Because, yeah. Yeah. Because these people, you know, I couldn't do this. Yeah, it, it it's very important. Uh, there's like so much when it comes to commission etiquette that I think uh, both non-artists and artists should know for each other. Mm -hmm. uh, for streamers and content creators too, I think that there is like there should be boundary established for them to, when it comes to commissioning artists. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard horror stories, and I I do not wish it upon anyone mm -hmm. to kind of like having to be wait for so long or like you know mm -hmm. like being forced to do things i don't really want to do mm -hmm. and yes i'm still taking questions i'm just the type to ramble i'm sorry yeah let us know <laughs> thank for you. questions i think we're thank you like... for your patience of course i think we are yeah we are already on our hour mark though mm -hmm. so i'd say like one or two yeah. more questions if chat has maybe any. one more yeah Hmm. I'm just seeing. I I don't know which to pick from these. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, uh, I can maybe tips on learning human anatomy. Ooh, I guess I can answer that. Yeah. So, tips. Okay, I'm gonna pull out like. No, I'm just gonna say it straight up. Okay. When it comes to human anatomy, the most important thing is to do what, like, draw what you know, and also actually follow through with the principles they teach in school, because those are actually very important. 
being able to understand how lighting works on the curvature of the human body, knowing how your skeleton works, you need to be able to learn those. And it's okay to be like, oh, but those are too hard and we can do it later. I, I, I didn't really learn about skeleton structure until I was in college. But referencing actual real life things versus animation is most important the most important thing you cannot just reference from other people's art and call it a day you actually have to see people in real life and know how it feels because uh it's like a caricature of a caricature you cannot just caricaturize something that's already caricature you know you, you gotta mm -hmm. start from the source mm -hmm. that's very important i don't have because we're brushing a bit uh i cannot give you any more tips I think that simplification and exaggeration is the two things that you gotta do when it comes to art. That's one thing that I learned in school, is to simplify and exaggerate what you draw if you're looking for a very specific art style. For me, my cartoony art is very much a definition of simplification and exaggeration. But other than that, um, draw from, drawing from real life is very important. And also, don't just draw humans draw animals draw aliens draw monsters like like do whatever you want play with the proportions learn how to draw cars there's a huge industry of people being t paid tons of money because they can draw cars very well and Ooh. since everybody is learning how to draw humans not a lot of people are learning how to draw cars and cars are really really hard to draw buildings also it like pushing the boundaries and not just humans, but other things as well. It, it it makes it a lot more fun and, and it makes your works very diverse. And people usually look for those people. Interesting. Yeah. I never yeah. thought about that because, yeah, I mean, most things you see are people or places. You see a lot of like, mm -hmm. uh, like envir environments. Mm hmm. But, yeah. Uh, there's a huge like I'm, I'm also with that group where um all of us want to be character artists but mm -hmm. there's not a lot of spots for character artists in the industry if you're gonna go for that so try to branch out and learn something new maybe you'll find something that you really enjoy and it doesn't have to be necessarily human so there's that have you found anything that you like enjoy um Lately, I, I've been doing a lot of user interface design, mm -hmm. and I realized that I do have a knack for drawing backgrounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Surprisingly, I do. Uh, I, I, when you see a lot of my art, they don't feature backgrounds, but that's also because of time constraint. But at work, I do, do, I do draw a lot of backgrounds. I enjoy that immensely. Oh, nice. I just cannot show it to you. Mm -hmm. That's fair. <laughs> that's, yeah, of course, work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think that's a wrap. Yeah, I think so. Do you want to shout yourself out? Say your last word. No, last words. That sounds so bad. <laughs> My last words. <laughs> your last words. Any last I words? This work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, follow me on Pomodoko on Twitter and Tumblr if you have any. I am also on Instagram. So there's that. I don't post a lot on it, but I do exist. Uh, and. Ninjago is a very fun series. Watch it if you have the time. <laughs> nice. Um, a shout out to Nikki too for hosting such an amazing, amazing series. I really Thank love being able to catch for, for your streams your like time. this. Yeah. And shout out for the chat for being very patient with me and with all of us. I thank mean, you. thank you guys for being patient with me, honestly, for, for <laughs> delaying it so much. <laughs> It's completely fine. I, I, I'm having such a great time talking to everyone else as well. I'm glad. So, yeah. Cool. Well, I hope you have a good rest of your... I believe it's evening for you too now? Yes. Yes. All right. I hope you have a good rest of your evening. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later, Nikki. Bye. Have a great night. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Cool! Alright, next one and last one is going to be Ghost. I'm going to um, call you in a sec. Uh, I'm first going to, however, read out our last messages, our last 
um subs chat how are you doing i'm checking up on you guys uh tsuki thank you for the two months uh hazard thank you for the prime um Elgir, thank you for the two months uh non-binary thank you for the prime um expert pi thank you for the two months i really appreciate it thank you thank you everyone and obviously everyone who was here from phil who decided to click on my stream Seven i months. really appreciate Love it you, thank Nikki. you mooney i appreciate it thank you for the seven months um I really appreciate it. Um, all right. Oh, I accidentally opened the wrong thing. Uh, I only I'm used to having three monitors now, and I only have two monitors here at Marisa's. So I sometimes get confused and I click things that I don't actually click. Uh, so if I get like if I'm like, whoo, that's just because I clicked the wrong thing. Don't worry. Um, just got here. I'm not ending. I'm not ending. Chat. Chat always thinks I'm ending once artists leave. I'm not ending. Uh, we still have another artist. We still have another artist chat. Allergies are killing you, but you're doing well. Not ending? No. <laughs> cool. So, next one is going to be Ghostly. Ghostly Kuma. I'm going to actually call them right now. Um, let's go. Ooh, you're very quiet for me. I am? Yeah. Um, I could probably just make my Discord louder. I mean... Wait. Can I make my Discord louder? Can you speak really quickly? Oh, hello? Oh, now I can't hear you at all. Uh, maybe like this? Oh, there we go. Uh, that's a little better, yeah. So, hello. <laughs> hello! How have you been? I'm good, I'm good. I hope everybody enjoyed all the other artists. Glad. I'm, 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 I think they did. They've been, they've been great. Chat has been great today. Chat, you've been great today. Chat is always nice. True, that's actually. Cool. Um, all right. So, shall we do? How shall we do this? Do you want to share some of your art? Do you want to go into questions right away? What uh, would you well, like to I do? I can show some of my art first, <laughs> and then we can hop on questions. Sounds good. So, I mostly right now draw. Well, I try to draw my original characters because mm -hmm. I. I need to stop drawing fan art. <laughs> not that Aww. not that it's bad, but I want to do more stuff for myself. Mm -hmm. So I've been working on this big piece for no reason because I just did it difficult for me. Of all my original characters, it's nowhere near done, but it's here. <laughs> yeet yeet. And I have, for example, this one of two of my original characters. I have neon fan art because <laughs> I really like Valorant. Nice. <laughs> and she reminded me of Sonic. So I just drew her in Sonic's pose. True, actually. I never thought about that, but that's actually true. She kind of yeah, is like Sonic. Yeah, like electricity and blue. Yeah. Sonic. She runs fast. Yeah, basically. <laughs> I also have just. Mostly characters and stuff. Mm -hmm. This is just some of it. Are those all your so, OCs? Yeah, this one is uh, actually because I am trying to become a VTuber. So mm -hmm. this is my character design for my character. Aww. And I made a whole backstory because I love making stories. Ooh, what's the story? So, oh, it's like, it's interesting because it's like, she lived with uh with bears because i love bears they're my favorite animal mm -hmm. so i was like okay i love adventure time how about a kind of human hybrid with a uh, animal friend so she has a bear friend oh which is i think it's here yeah Aww. so and they just go around trading stuff because 
trading is fun. <laughs> it's like very complicated and I don't want to bore people with it because it's like very specific. OMG hi. But I also How is Germany? forced my friends into it. Like my best friend, I forced them into having lore with me. Mm -hmm. So I made characters for their lore. <laughs> Ooh. That's so, cool. Ten months smiley face. I yeah, hope I you have an amazing them. day, like, Nikki, and you look have beautiful as always, now. heart heart. They're like, why? I'm like, I don't know. Here, have characters. <laughs> they just gave them a full cast. Aww. But yeah, I guess that's all I can- I'll show. But, I mean, I still have like- I don't know if I like- I wanted to show some old art, or- It's fine if you- stuff. if you don't. You can show whatever you want and feel comfortable with. Okay, okay. I also really want to show- because I go to art school, mm -hmm. and sometimes art school is weird. Mm -hmm. And one of my projects that I got a like a A plus on is this. Oh, <laughs> which is so weird to me because it's like I we were supposed to do a uh, like a poster for a convention. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do random characters. And mm -hmm. my professor loved this, Aww. which is so interesting to me. I mean, it is cute, and also like. The way you drew all of the characters, it's really good. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even yeah. see the, the FNAF, uh, the, the spring drop. Oh yeah, he's there. And I also drew an Among, <laughs> an Among Us Oh, I didn't see him. I, I'm so bad with like, like seeing all of these things. God. I did make it small and like on purpose because like we were, I, I was just like, I'll do villains. And then I was like, I'll just do a little, <laughs> little Among Us beam Aww. in there. That's so cool. But yeah, art school makes you do weird things sometimes. Mm -hmm. For example, this collage of random villains. Damn. But it's good. I like it. Yeah. It's cool. Thank you. But yeah, that's... I guess we can get with questions. Yeah! Yes. Chat! I don't know what else. <laughs> what questions do you guys have? We had less question time with Pomo, so we have more question time with Ghostly now. Easy. Easy. This is adding up perfectly. Um comfort thing to draw. Ooh. Yeah, what's your what do you like to draw like the most? Uh this is gonna be a little self centered, but I draw my character a little too much. Oh it's, it's cute. I though. just really doodling her. Or like Two of my OCs, these two, I draw like all the time. Mm -hmm. They make me so happy, so I, it's what I draw the most. Aww. But also, I oops, I love um, a, an, a manga called uh, Chainsaw Man. So I tend to draw one of the characters a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> her name's Power, so I just draw her a lot in like all of them all the time. Mm -hmm. So. That's also another comfort thing to do Aww. for me. Ooh, what's your preferred style to draw? Because, yeah, I saw you have, like, a few different styles. Oh, yeah. I'm currently just deciding what to do with my style because I'm kind of trying to develop it. Mm -hmm. So I tend to go for mostly anime-ish kind of style, but I'm trying to move away from it. Mm -hmm. Like, the latest piece that I did was this. Ooh. Excuse the boobs. <laughs> That's <but> okay. <laughs> you know, boobs are yeah. allowed on this channel. We, you know, we don't discriminate <laughs> against big or small titties. <laughs> but I've been trying to experiment with art because, like, I, when I said in the questions, I'm, like, really struggling a little so i'm trying different things mm -hmm. so i don't how's really that have, been like, going style. like um i think that would be really interesting for a chat too obviously who would like are in this thing of like i don't know like my style i don't know what i want to do so like how how has like how's how's that going how's like experimenting and everything it's kind of frustrating but oh, at really? the same time it's a little rewarding because i'll be like Oh, I like the way I did this. I'll mm -hmm. continue doing this. But sometimes it's the oh, I hate this. Why did I try this? Mm -hmm. So, like, I've been experimenting a lot with uh, 
I think it's this. No, it's not this one. Uh, there's one over here somewhere. Wow. That I've been working on for so long because I can't seem to wrap my head around what I want to do with it. Mm -hmm. This one. Because it's either the I want it super rendered or I want it to be super blocky. So it's like I've been going back and forth in this one. I so see. It's frustrating. But also... What if you funny. took the, um, like the, just the line art and you tried both? Or like you, you copied this one now and you just draw over like, in the, in like both ways and then figure out Ooh. like, you know? Which one I like better. Yeah. And if you yeah, like both, I... then that's fine too, you know? Yeah, honestly, I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a suggestion. I've been on this piece for like a month trying to figure out what I'm doing. So mm -hmm. I feel like if you like constantly go back and forth, you know, it's just going to be layer over layer over layer yeah. over layer. And then it just looks like a mess at some point. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it. Ooh, we reached the sub goal. Hey! thank you everyone for reaching the sub goal i appreciate it and thank you for everyone for watching i like doing long streams but i'm always scared that you know chat gets boring a uh, board and a boring board but i'm glad you guys are enjoying it thank you everyone sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you <laughs> no, no it's fine completely fine yeah i get that it can be frustrating though obviously like i feel like trying out new things in general can always be frustrating especially yeah. because we are so used to what we know and what we can do so yeah yeah get that but i'm sure you you will get there and you've been doing great art so i'm very confident thank you thank you mm -hmm. How do you deal with with art block? Oh, <laughs> that's a great question. Ask like, tell me, add me on Twitter when you find the answer, <laughs> please. Fair, fair. Because I go through a lot of art block, and I sometimes do get through it, but sometimes it takes me a long time. Mm -hmm. That I'm just like, I won't be drawing, but. I, I feel like it's mostly just looking around, finding inspiration in whatever is in your daily life. I love going, for example, uh, on mm. Pinterest. I just go through Pinterest mm. and I find stuff that I like. And that's a good way to find stuff that you can be inspired by. But Yeah, Pinterest I find is good with that. Yeah, so if anybody finds the real answer, please add me on Twitter. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> mm. Someone asked you what inspired you to start drawing, but I want to change that and ask what, like, kind of art. You said Adventure Time, obviously, that's what inspired mm -hmm. you. Um, but, like, what inspires you, like, today? Like, what do you see and we were like wow like this is cool art i want to do something like this mostly i think it's just um online artists i feel like there's so many talented people out there that i just look at and i'm like i want to do that that is so cool mm -hmm. so it's like pushing me to do it more still also the media that i consume because for example i play a lot of video games specifically like Valorant and stuff and I love the art style that Riot has oh yeah it's one of those things that I'm like I want to do that mm -hmm. so like the Valorant art style is one of the things that I'm like I want to do that so I'm trying to copy it but also not because because I'm like I want it but also I don't know how to do it <laughs> I mean one thing with the Valorant thing is like or like Riot in general is in like a lot of artists work on it so like mm -hmm. You know, it's either like one artist works on one splash art or like one artist or multiple artists work on one splash art. So um, I don't know. I feel like, oh, no, one thing I'm, I, I just remembered is there are a lot of riot artists who do speed paints. 
oh yeah I've i think seen yeah i think so those cool those are really good for like figuring out how do they do this because you just see the finished project product product and i'm always like how did this start where did this start what <laughs> yeah it happens to me all the time like i find the like artist for something on like art station and i'm like wow i don't know how they did this but this is good mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you find a speed run and you're like oh that's <laughs> That okay, that's not that hard. Yeah, you're like, oh, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> Someone asked, so do you draw lights or shadows first? Oh, I, I drew, I draw mostly lights first, but it's like, I ha I'm horrible at coloring right now because I, I, I'm so used to doing like blockings of shadows so mm -hmm. i need to get better at like thinking where the lighting is coming from so i tend to now do first the lighting and then figure the rest out mm -hmm. like i think it was this one when i was working on it first if i take everything off the first thing i did was just do this like you can barely see it mm -hmm. but it's this Ooh, <laughs> that's the first yeah. thing i did i was like i need to figure out where the light is coming from because mm -hmm. that helps me with the shadows so i do mostly that first but it depends on how i'm feeling honestly that's fair yeah and obviously probably also like how the drawing's going yeah like what direction and stuff what is something you don't like drawing Ooh, like like body part or something w w what do you not like to draw I don't like to draw hands and legs. Mm. Those things always like and and hands because hands are hard, but that's mm. just something that I have to get through. <laughs> this one I've been I've been just procrastinating on drawing hands. Oh my god! Yeah, I can I'm see. <laughs> I'm like, like I was doing the line art and I was like, I'll do the hands later, and I just went to the other side of the, of the drawing. So it's like I need to do that. <laughs> maybe soap can help you with that <laughs> yeah they drew s such amazing hands and it's like how yeah true you know what i i was thinking i really want if i can continue doing these artist streams like next year and stuff i want to have you back next year and see like i i guess like your confidence because because oh. i feel like right now you're you, you're not confident in your art and you should be your that's art's true. amazing like this image Thank you're you. showing right now that's amazing that's so cool and I think you're just not confident enough. And I don't like that. I want to see you in a year. And I want to see how, you know, how you, how you progressed. I am 100% down. <laughs> Hell yeah. I know my, I know my confidence is a little on the floor. So Which is fine. You know, there's, yeah. I, and, and, you know, that's fine. Completely fine. Um, everyone has that. And, uh, you know, I, I wake up sometimes and I'm like, oh my god i'm horrible i hate this i cannot do this um and i have these you know i have these phases for weeks and months and 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 so on but i feel like remembering what you've achieved and where you've come from is really important yeah. um and so that's why i want to have you back I, like I, i'm still I'm, you're still gonna stare here and i'm gonna ask you all these questions but i was just <laughs> thinking that like i want to have you back in a year and i want to see like what you know how much changed and if you if you found what you're looking for right now or if you maybe didn't and you found something else you know that is very sweet Thank yeah you. definitely i think it will be inspiring for chat too to see like you know yeah. but yeah that um chat asked how you oh do you draw animals they asked what your favorite animal is to draw Oh god, I I need to draw animals more cuz I rarely draw animals. I I think the only piece I have right now, at least up here, is probably this one cuz I guess it counts like mm -hmm. Jeffrey counts as an animal. Mm -hmm. His name is Jeffrey. Aww. Um 
or maybe the bad yeah he's so cute (laughs) thank you i've drawn him like a couple times after this but i don't have them up because i tend to just put my art away and i'm like i'll see it another year Mm -hmm. so i have them like all saved up in like a google drive Mm -hmm. somewhere because i just keep losing everything but i need to get to drawing more because especially bears because i you know it's part of my character's like story so it's like i need to get better Mm -hmm. i do have for a school project we did drew animals Mm -hmm. and i decided to do bears because i like bears Mm -hmm. but this one is a little different because it is it, it was done in illustrator which it is very different from like just drawing if i can find it i think it's this one well this is oh the they're so cute i think i have the finished one though. i just need Aww. to find it but this was my original sketch because i these are my favorite bears mm-hmm. so i was like i want to draw these bears <laughs> Oh, the moon bear! Yeah, the moon bear's cute. The sloth bear. The sloth bear is so funny looking. (laughs) All these bears are very funny looking. Aww. If I can maybe find the finished one, that would be. Because I have it. I had it open. I just closed it by accident earlier. And I was like, I'll look for it later. That's all good. And Don't I worry. I, t- I just realized that I draw a lot of bears because I just found a-, a school project that I did that has bears. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so bears. cool. <gasps> Thank you. Uh, is that the story of like the girl eating the bear's food? Yeah, I, s- I switched it around because our teacher wanted to do like a fairy tale reinvented. Mm-hmm. So I was like, they captured her and now she's their maid. Oh, I love that. But she's a little scared. Yeah, I would be. <laughs> yeah, me too. If I can... I just, I really want to share the bears because it was very mm-hmm. cute. I just can't find it. That's okay. Oh, and also, this bear one, I actually switched it up after and I just made it like this. Ooh. For no reason, because it was a, like... We were supposed to do this as a physical piece, like a traditional piece. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I just want to do it in digital for no reason, even though it was not asked of me to do it that that way. It's practice. I guess, yeah. It's cool, though. I really like it. I never finished it, but it's there. (laughs) Oh, I found the bears. There we go. That's how they ended. Oh, my God. They're so cute! It's very low quality, but it's there. <laughs> I love them. They're so cute. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's old art. I was gonna show some old art. Mm-hmm. And I have this open. This is one of my fi- my first digital pieces. Ooh. Which is such a big change in my opinion. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. So, yeah. Wow, but that was already good too. You did traditional before, right? Yeah, I used to do mostly traditional with like, uh, like markers and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, no, I want to do digital. So I switched. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is completely unrelated, but I'm drinking Jack's energy drink right now because he didn't finish it. And it smells so hard, like his perfume. I don't even know what this boy did. If he like sprayed (laughs) it on the can or what, but it's really hard to drink this. (laughs) (laughs) And already energy drinks have a strong smell. Mm. True, but this just smells like him. Not that he smells bad, but... You know, it's a strong smell. Yeah, it's a strong smell. 
Anyways, chat, let us know questions. Keep them coming. Yeah. How long do you take? Uh, how, how much time do you take for a drawing? Like, usually? Oh, it depends. Because, like I said before, with like this one, I've been at it for like a month. For mm -hmm. no reason, too. Because I keep forgetting I, I'm doing it. And. <laughs> The other ones, I'm like, oh, I should probably continue this. And then a week passes by and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, but for example, the this one, I finished it in like six, seven hours. Mm -hmm. And that's with me taking breaks, of course. Mm -hmm. You should be taking breaks and doing art. But it depends on the piece, depends on how much I really want to work on something because if i'm very inspired i can finish it very quickly mm -hmm. i used to when i was young like i used to post on instagram my art like every day every day there was a new piece there wow so it was it was kind of <laughs> kind of intense for me i got a lot of burnout because of it but i used to draw so much like in like two hours i would have finished drawings and i would just schedule them for like the next week it was Ooh. too much. That's quite <laughs> smart, actually. I completely forgot to renew yeah, this to ages ago. Them, WTH. Like, for like the next day, because I'll be like, I'm not posting three things one day. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting it out. But of course, a lot of burnout happened. I can imagine. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. What are your what are your question? I think chat's tired too at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long day. Yeah. Are you have you been okay though? Yeah, yeah, completely. Good, good. The VC was very comfy while we waited for everyone's turn. I'm glad. That's good. Did Cory keep you good good company? Yes. Good. Very good company. <laughs> I'm glad. Um How do you draw eyes? Chad has been very interested in eyes today. I'm also going through it with the eyes. Because oh. <laughs> I really want to get away from doing anime eyes. Because, hmm? you know, people meme it a lot. And most art schools don't really care for it. Mm -hmm. They're like, draw better. But I really like drawing anime eyes. Because it's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. So it depends on what I'm doing if I want to do something different, but most of the time I just kind of eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's yeah. all I really do. Simple eyes. Nice. That's what happens when you grow up with anime. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, did I ask you what your favorite thing was to draw? I don't ask yeah. your least favorite. Um, I, th I think the least favorite was the one you asked me. Right. And then I've asked you the favorite animal. What's your favorite mm -hmm. thing to draw in general? I would say I like girls. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cause, yeah, because pretty girls are nice to draw, honestly. Like most of my drawings tend to be girls. Mm -hmm. Not only because it is for me a little easier because drawing men is weird. <laughs> but you also, I also really like doing cutesy things, so I tend to do more female presenting stuff mm -hmm. and more cutesy pinkish kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. Girls. <laughs> Girls. Oh, do you find it easier to draw traditional, traditionally or digitally? I think it's a mix of both, because... When I think of tr my traditional art, I like it the way it looks. Like I love drawing something on paper and being like, that's a good drawing. Mm -hmm. Cause sometimes sketching on my, on digital is kind of hard for me. So I'm like, I love it. And then I look at it again and I'm like, it's kind of bad. So actually let me do it digitally. And I love how it looks digitally. So it's like, mm. <laughs> but I never really finish pieces traditionally. So. It's mostly digital what I do, so that's why I, I like the most. 
Yeah, actually, I know a lot of artists that sketch traditionally because they enjoy like the movement and like doing it with pencil and stuff. And then they scan it in and then they finish it um, digitally because the colors are easier or or just like simpler, I guess, but, uh, yeah. traditionally, uh, digitally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been trying to do that, but I keep forgetting my sketchbook everywhere. So I <laughs> oh no, do it that much. <laughs> oh. I lose sketchbooks pretty easy, so. Oh no, it's fine. That that means people around you will be best will be blessed with your sketches. <laughs> they will be yeah, blessed by your will art. Find it. <laughs> um, how do you do your body structure? Oh God. Um, so, I do struggle with anatomy a lot and it's something that thanks to school i'm getting better at because mm -hmm. i do take figure classes i've taken at least three semesters of figure and i would 110 percent recommend to anybody who wants to get better at anatomy to draw figure even if it's a class or it's just you looking at pictures of people and challenge you challenge you yourself i feel like it helps you so much because like when I was young, I used to just do like, well, that's not a good color for that. That's why it's not working. Okay. I would just be like, that's, that's a body. Yes. Which there's nothing wrong with it if it's stylized. Mm -hmm. But to stylize something better, you do have to like, learn to draw the structure of an actual human and then stylize that. So my, I normally just kind of go with like, line of action and then little little balls mm -hmm. <laughs> and like the head and stuff i do very sketchy stuff first before anything and i l try to keep it very loose at first mm -hmm. of course i would have a <laughs> kind of like something in mind because right now i'm just kind of like doodling but it is kind of seeing everything with rhythm a little because i have the problem where i do very straight lines mm -hmm. but it helps a lot to just keep it kind of loose you know references i mostly look at references when i'm drawing like a full body or anything yeah but that's basically how i started just very messy structures <laughs> oh that's nice though but yeah That's basically it. <laughs> Not me trying to find where I was. <laughs> I was trying to find which layer I was drawing it in. Do you see Pomo like um, naming all of their layers? Oh, they name all their layers? Pomo names all their layers. Oh, I wish I was that disciplined. <laughs> I know, I, right? I, all my layers are called layer one, two, and three. <laughs> like, they just go <laughs> up until whatever number there is. Yeah. That I is, feel like that's for most so people. Good. Yeah, even my professors are like, you need to name everything. And then they're doing a demo and they don't name anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> well, when did you start to enjoy drawing? Ooh. Ooh, I guess when I was like 12, I was like, I really like this. I'm very much enjoying what I'm doing because mm -hmm. I used to draw the same thing over and over again. So I was like, I really like this. This mm -hmm. is so fun. This is so fun. So I just kept going at it. That's yeah. When I was like 12, I was like, I draw. <laughs> I draw now. I'm the art kid now. That's nice. I'm the art kid now. You were the one yeah. who like drew in class and everyone was like, can you draw me, please? Yes. Can you draw my it's cat? It's so annoying. <laughs> it's I can so imagine. bad. Like where I'm from, it's like even like weirder to have art kids. And there was, well, at least in my high school, there was only two art kids, me and a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And we were in the same class. So we could never be together because everybody was like, we need one of the art kids please help us mm -hmm. with oh. projects oh yeah you know what i had that too though um 
when I when I was in school like every time we did projects I had to like draw the the port like the like presenting the present presentations there we go mm -hmm. and everything yeah yeah it's it's kind of a pain to be the art kid sometimes <laughs> oh my god we're getting a raid again hello James Maybe their chat is a little more awake. Nothing against my chat. It's fine that you're sleepy. But hello, I hope you had a good stream. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, hello, Lovely. hello. We are doing artist streams right now, which is I take different art artists from this community and I uh, let them talk about their art, let them talk about art in general, ask them some questions, have chat ask some questions. So chat, if you have questions, um, this is Ghostly. Ghostly is very oh. nice. And you are very nice. Just ask, ask her some. Uh, are you? Oh my God! I forgot your pronouns. Uh, I use she they pronouns. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but chat. If you have any questions, um, if you want to show like your art again, so they have like an idea of your art style. Oh sure, sure. This is one. Then, oops. There's unfinished art. <laughs> What have you guys been up to, by the way? I hope you had a good stream. Uh, I gotta leave it on the... On <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Roasting haircuts. Oh my god. Ooh, talk about haircuts. How do you draw hair? Oh, great question. <laughs> <laughs> I also struggle with hair a lot, especially oh. coloring it, but... I do like drawing hair, it's just the coloring and making it look okay is my downfall. I see. But a good way of like looking at hair is just, let me see, probably this one. So where does the hair like come from mm -hmm. is good to like see where the hair goes because I've had the issue of making the hair way too like, or like bangs way too like like their forehead is just huge <laughs> so it's like you need to really look at this structure of the head to figure out the hair mm -hmm. and hair can be very different because you know there's people with different types of hair and different textures because mm -hmm. i think there's one here is it this one yes like i have like original characters that have more straight hair mm -hmm. but i also have different textures of hair and I try to like make it look like it's a different texture, mm -hmm. so it's mostly just trying to figure it out if it works or not on whatever character you're doing. There. So yeah. What's your favorite body part to draw? Someone asked. I think probably eyes. I think eyes and like the face tends to be my favorite. Mm -hmm. Though I am going through a nose era. I hate every nose I do. So. <laughs> oh. So I was gonna ask through. you like, cause chat has been asking all night how to draw noses. That's a great question. <laughs> I'm I wish I knew the answer to it. I'm currently just trying different noses to see what sticks with me. That's fair. I think that's the best thing. Just like in the in the drawing where you have all your characters, just like give every character a different nose and figure yeah, out which I'm one <laughs> which one you like to doing that. <laughs> I'm very close to just doing that too. <laughs> Cause it's the oh, which one would look better? Let me just do everyone differently. Mm -hmm. Anyone want a tip for noses? Pinterest, someone said. Ooh, that's okay. actually smart. Yeah, it yeah. is. And also, I guess just like fandoms. I feel like as, even in the uh, uh, like NCYT fandom, people draw or have so, so many different styles and everyone yeah. draws stuff differently. Yeah. I like your noses There's though. Like from what I see. Thank you, thank you. I draw mostly very simple noses. Mm -hmm. So 
<laughs> Someone said Pinterest, the savior of artists. Yes. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, what, uh, you use Clip Studio Paint. What, uh, tablet do you use? Oh, so, I got a Wacom tablet from my school. Because I used to draw on my iPad, but when I joined art school, they kind of just gave us a tablet. So that's what I use, a Wacom tablet. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have purchased it for myself, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's very nice and I really appreciated it when they gave it to us. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. From your school, yeah. They're an art school, Trot. Oh, yeah. is an art school. I mean, I guess even then it's like still so cool that they gave it to you yeah i was very surprised when they told us they were gonna give it to us because my year got an upgrade because the the class before us didn't have these mm -hmm. and our school was like new ones for the new generation so oh. a lot of people complained <laughs> but oh. we got the good ones so i'm not going to <laughs> <laughs> that's nice though what has your experience in art school been so far? So far it's been nice. I mean, mostly I've had online classes, so it's been kind of rough on that end. I but, imagine. Yeah, but I've learned a lot. I feel like if you can spare the time and the money, because art school is expensive, it could be worth it, because I do need structure when I do stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's been helping me a lot. I feel like teachers also give such a good perspective like i've had teachers that are like on critique they're like so rough with me that i'm like i will cry but then they oh. say something that is so worth it all the all the all of them saying this is things that you need to change then give us like a new perspective on what you're looking at and i find that very helpful so because you do need some outsider critique from mm -hmm your art because sometimes you just look at yourself and you're like this is good but it could be better mm -hmm. but you don't know how so i think teachers do that how long have you been in art school now if i may ask only if you want to say oh yeah i'm i'm a i'm currently a sophomore okay but i took a like an extra year before so i would be a junior but i'm a sophomore right now mm -hmm. that's nice though Genuine critique is brilliant. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I feel like as long as it is, no, it is, it isn't just like you are trash. Give up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and like I know there's teachers that I just go, "This is trash," mm -hmm. and it's like, "Okay, but tell me why." Mm -hmm. I would rather be told exactly what's wrong, or like to be like told nicely, like you should change that, than not mm -hmm. be told anything. So. Mm. Um, how do you deal with criti criticism about your art? Ooh, I feel like especially in like this state that you're in right now, it would be quite interesting. Oh yeah, it's. I feel like you always have to look at critique from not your point of view as the creator, but like as an outsider. Because mm -hmm. if you're like, oh, but I like the way I did that, you're gonna just put yourself into it a little too much. And you need to step back and see your work from like everybody else. Cause for he from this, for example, this image, no one's gonna know the exact lore of my characters. Mm -hmm. So I need to see it as how can I make this piece be understandable to other people and what other people see. So critique mostly is just someone who doesn't know anything. Mm -hmm. You can just assume they don't know anything about what you're doing so you need to kind of guide them to it and critique is a little bit better if you just think of it from outside and being like that's not my art that's someone else's art mm -hmm. <laughs> how would i make it better and again critique is just it depends on who's giving the critique because sometimes people are just thinking hateful. they're doing critique and they're just hateful yeah yeah but critique is just I feel like you should always take it with a grain of salt because not all critique is good. Mm -hmm. 
but you should be able to consider it without trying to get your feelings hurt because that's the biggest issue mm -hmm. so yeah yeah i don't know if that answered the question but <laughs> yeah no of course um do you give your characters personalities i know i'm sure yes. you do i love uh making characters so i tend to just go all out in backgrounds for no reason mm -hmm. so all of them have very specific kind of archetypes but also not really mm -hmm. so like for example on these two this one who's like her name's faith she's like my favorite thing to draw because she's super cutesy and like super sweet and kind mm -hmm. so i love drawing her like super cutesy and like all that kind of stuff so like, that's my favorite thing to do. Mm -hmm. Just give them personalities that just fit them all the time. <laughs> Aww. That's really nice. Yeah, because you said, like, you wrote, like, your your main, like, characters, like, story, and then those people yeah. in. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. My poor friend who I force to have lore. <laughs> in, in, I literally just created three characters, and I gave them complex backgrounds for no reason. <laughs> Aww. So, yeah, I love doing that. I love giving personalities to stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Chat, do you have any other questions? Ooh, do you make characters inspired by friends? Or people you know, I guess? Uh, yes and no. I guess it depends on... Because I sometimes just go for archetypes mm -hmm. of like, you know, the super sweet one, the mean looking but it's actually really nice, mm -hmm. the bastard. So <laughs> I just kind of go for those. Mm -hmm. But I do find my friends in these sometimes. Mm -hmm. Or even myself in these, because, you know, mm -hmm. art is inspired by everything you are around. Mm -hmm. So, there is characters that are inspired by my friends, mm -hmm. but it's not that noticeable, hopefully. I see. Like, subconsciously. <laughs> yeah. I see, I see. Well, people are asking about brushes. Do you have any specific brushes that you use? Ooh, so, recently I've been doing... I've been using this specific brush. It's called. It, it's called Muda 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 Two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that that's literally the way you can look it up on Clip Studio Paint. Oh, okay. And it's just very sketchy and like nice. It it blends very well. And I've been only doing this brush for a while. Mm -hmm. And a blender called Mira's Blender. But I to go into detail of brushes, it's mostly just what I find because I just find people being like oh look at these brush and I try it and then a couple months later I change brushes <laughs> but so far these are my favorite right now I see because I have a lot of brushes for no reason too I'm mm -hmm. a I'm a brush ho hoarder so <laughs> which don't do please I guess if you like switch them like every other month you you know you need your you need your varit varit oh, I can't say this word. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's such a hard word to say. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like hoarding uh, brushes is okay if you use them. I mm -hmm. just don't. So <laughs> I just have a lot for no reason. So mm -hmm. but that's, that's basically fair. what I use. Do you have any artists that inspire you? Ooh. Yes. But I'm terrible with names. I have the worst memory in the world. I am. And, but there is a lot of specific artists that I, I think of immediately in my head. I just don't remember their names. Mm -hmm. You know what I can but, see with this exact drawing that you're doing right now? Mm -hmm. You know Piccolo? 
the guy who draws like the teen titans oh, yeah, the and teen stuff titans, yeah. i think because he obviously obviously they already have personality but he gives them so much more personality i yeah. think like kind of like leaning this drawing that you're doing right now onto like mm. the way he gives them personality would be really good obviously that's yeah. just you know my opinion but yeah no yeah and actually this one was a little bit inspired by him because oh. i loved his like casual teen titan series mm -hmm. and there was there's one where they're just playing video games on the couch and i was like i want to do something like that but with my characters yeah because that's that's exactly the drawing that i was thinking of wait let me see if i can find a chat for you guys it's um, a very good drawing too oh yeah pico is just some amazing artist yeah I was in love with his um, Icarus and the Sun series. <gasps> me too. That was one of my f like. That's when I first started following him, and I just me too. I fell in love with his art. Do you remember when he wanted to bring out a book? I never knew if he actually yes. did. I think there was a Kickstarter, but yeah. I don't know if anything happened after that. Exactly. I always I like I I, I tried to find it, but I couldn't. Those comics were my favorite thing. Mm. I just found them. They're from 2016. That was so Oh my ago. god. That's crazy. Hmm. I can't find the one on the couch, but I'll I'll show you like one where they're all together. Oh, there's like this one. He is, he is amazing. Yeah, he's an amazing artist. Yeah, you should check him out. Very cool, very cool, very nice. Anyway, sorry, I completely just derailed that. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> it is a piece kind of inspired by him because I, I love that drawing. So mm -hmm. I was like, I really want to do something of like my characters being cozy and Aww. just spending their time together that's so which, nice yeah you half year let's and go chat if you want a little a little tip on backgrounds as someone who hates doing backgrounds um your favorite thing is gonna be your, i mean your your best friend is gonna be pro like programs where you can model stuff mm. i did this background in sims <laughs> oh my god that is I so just, cool <laughs> i re-downloaded the sims just for this drawing because i tend to just play for a week consistent and then forget about it for like two years same so <laughs> i was like i'm re-downloading it again just to make a background oh. and i made and i modeled their whole apartment just for this that's actually so cool yeah, i never thought just... about using the sims I was gonna use a 3D modeling program, but then I was like, that's too complicated. I don't know how to use them that well. So I just have a stinky sim right there. <laughs> just putting oh it in the couch. God. That is so cool. And that's just basically how I decided to do everything. And then, mm -hmm. of course, I just added more stuff on top of it. So mm -hmm. I just started adding people and then. It, it went from there to what it is right now. Mm -hmm. Which I can't find the layers, but you know. I shouldn't name them. But I just don't. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Someone said, how do you feel about hands? I personally hate them. They clearly weren't here when you explained it. <laughs> yeah, I hate them too. <laughs> yeah. Ghostly hasn't drawn the hands of this, uh, like this, yeah, you can yeah. see it. <laughs> I just went around them. I didn't want to do them. Yeah. And I have my references. I just don't, <laughs> don't want to do them. Fair, fair. This is just going to be like a handless, like, painting. Like, you'll yes. have everything done, but they still won't have but any I hands. <laughs> yeah, specifically since like there's like people who are actually using their hands for something. Yeah. Like, they'll just not be doing they anything. They just won't. Yeah. <laughs> like is someone eating? No, the ramen is just flying. <laughs> yes, it's exactly. Just, like, no exactly. <laughs> what is she doing? Is she waving? Hmm, we will never know. <laughs> yeah, no, just see an arm. No hands. <laughs> Uh, 
chat, do you have any more questions? Ooh, someone asked what's the hardest part of drawing well, actually drawing and in terms of mentality Ooh. I guess it comes with my own self-deprecation because mm -hmm. I always have the this drawing is not good mm. so that's trying to get over that and trying to be like but I can make it good it's what's the hardest for me because sometimes I'm like I hate this and mm -hmm. I just drop it completely which I shouldn't do because I, sh I should be trying mm -hmm. so giving up is my biggest like competitor right now mm -hmm. fair I mean I think like maybe that has also to do with again the fact that you just don't know what you're doing right now yeah basically mm -hmm. yeah uh -huh. Also, if you uh, find any questions that you find interesting, just point yeah. them out and you can answer them. Sometimes a little slow with it because for some reason, I don't know what it is. I think it's my recess PC. It just lags my chat. But like sometimes oh. the messages don't go through uh, 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 like instantly. Do you want to draw for your career? I do. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've always like since I was very young, I was like, I want to work in the artist industry, which I'm so thankful for my parents letting me because mm -hmm. you know your kid goes up to you when they're 13 and they're like i want to be an artist when i grow up you're like okay <laughs> sure sure <laughs> <laughs> and then they're 19 trying to get into college and <laughs> and they're like oh they're for real mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i'm very thankful for my parents for letting me and for encouraging me and backing me up mm -hmm. so I, I hope to get some sort of job in the industry. And even though I would love to be a freelancer, I don't think I could. So I really want to work on the industry. Mm -hmm. Do you have like an idea of like which direction? Yes. I really want to do storyboarding because I love animation, but I do not have the patience animating mm -hmm. so much goes into it and i just i it's too much for me mm -hmm. so i really want to do storyboarding because it's not as clean but it's more specific and it goes with the stories and i love stories as i've given every single character i've drawn a very complicated one for no reason mm -hmm. that's fair so, that's really what i want to do but as long as I get to work on something, like a project that like is fun, interesting, and innovative, mm -hmm. I will be so happy. So, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. I think we are once again earring. You, you, wait, 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 once we are. Uh, ha what? My brain. <laughs> one hour oh my god what i don't know what the, what word am i looking for nearing nearing we're nearing we're nearing one hour oh my god Nikki, what the hell? <laughs> um sorry <laughs> so chat if you have like any last questions or if you have like anything else you want to tell chat um yeah i can't speak anymore oh my god i'm sorry <laughs> I'm fine. It's been a long day. <laughs> any final tips? Yeah, do you have any like final tips for chat? I w I would say practice, cause 
practice does in fact make perfect. Anybody can become an artist as long as you put your effort to it. So just work hard, find yourself a goal that you want to do and practice. And like every single artist has said today, just try and like do your references, do everything. So yeah, that's that's basically it. <laughs> nice. Cool. Um yeah, I guess um you can shout yourself out. Okay. So I am on Twitter as 80s Kid K. Um and everywhere else I am ghostly Kuma, so Twitter is the only one that's different. <laughs> Very cool. Um Cool. Um yeah. yeah, I think I think that's it uh for now. Thank you so much for your time. Again, thank I'm I'm sorry for like it being so like flaky. Like, you know. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> but it I appreciate so your time so much. I'm glad. I'm glad. And thank you for inviting me. Of course. And I you know, I'm telling you, I'm writing this down right now. In a year, I'll talk to you again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you, too. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. Um, and for you, it's evening, too, right? Yes. I hope is. you have a good rest of your evening, then. Thank you, and I hope you have a good night. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I'll talk to you Bye -bye. soon. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. Very nice. Oh, they're always so sweet, chat. They're always so sweet. I o I know I say it all the time, but they're always so sweet. Um Anyways, I feel like I'm losing my words and my ability to speak. <laughs> this was a good first stream back, Happy I think nine though. Months. <gasps> thank you, Melissa. Yes, let me read the subs. Uh Blixie, thank you for the 30 months. Oh my god, I appreciate it. Uh Marshman, thank you for the six months. I appreciate it. Uh Quack Rose, thank you for the tier one. And Melissa, thank you so much for the nine months. I appreciate it. Um Bye, Nikki. chat. Hope you have a good rest of your day, Nihachi. You, love. I appreciate it. For the people who have now watched the artist streams and maybe don't know um how to join or or if they want to join. If you guys are subs, if you are subscribed, you can join my sub server, um, my sub Discord server, and in there there is a channel where you can apply for artist streams. If you don't get picked one time, and I'm doing another artist stream because I'm trying to do these every month, um, it doesn't matter because I go up and down and up and down every time that I look for new artists. Um, so don't get discouraged. But if you guys want to be in one of these artist streams, just uh, join the sub server, apply through that just send in your art basically uh i'm kelly Burke. thank you so much for the prime i appreciate it um very cool i'm gonna try and be live again tomorrow chat um i'll try and set up sims if i if i manage to set it up i we'll really enjoyed sims. this artist streams i'm glad like i said earlier i've missed you so much and i am so happy that you're back to streaming oh, i miss you guys i hope too. you have a great rest of your day Nihachi i'm glad to love. be back too I, it's been it's been so long chat it's been so long oh it's been so stressful every time i do something i'm like i could tell this to chat and then i you know <laughs> I, I end up not being able to stream um but yeah this was fun this was a good stream back i think um it was really really fun hanging out with you and hanging out with all the artists um Who do we rate? Oh wait, didn't Soap say that they're streaming? Yes, Soap said that they're streaming, so I'm going to rate Soap. Soap for the people who um, had only joined uh, after they were there. Soap is one of the artists that um, have been on the stream today, so I'm going to rate them. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you for all the rates today. For anyone, if anyone's still in chat who rated me and who is here from the raids i really appreciate that um if, if if you don't know me yet hi i'm nikki um i normally interact more with chat uh just during the artist streams i would feel very disrespectful if i just talked between them um but usually i interact more with chat i talk to you guys all the time um 
I also um, do other things than artist streams. Uh, if you are interested in that, follow tomorrow. For example, I'm gonna try and set up Sims. If not, if not, I'll do something else. I basically just do whatever I feel like. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna raid soap. Did that work? Yes, it worked. Okay, give soap my love. Um, and I hope you all are having a wonderful morning, evening, or day wherever you are. And I hope that you're all getting some rest. It's been a long stream. Uh, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm happy to be back. Thank you so much for a great stream. <laughs>